we're and we're back. back. Sorry, Sorry, we're having a little bit of technical difficulties, but we're doing fine now. now. On this setup over here, here can I get Tini Beholder and Mike Pence on the Tini Beholder? That last match was double six, right? The big thing that I, that I think is important to iterate is that Kentucky is a very underrated double six. Hard agree. Um, like some of the most underrated doubles players in the country, let alone the world. We have Jin, we have Roger. Roger, in my opinion, is the most underrated doubles player, doubles player in the world. Uh, Owensboro, the Owensboro team goes insane. So Jim Roger, Roger goes hard. Super Wilds, Wilds. Super Wilds. Wilds goes hard. Like I was saying, like, like um, Wilds makes doubles Hazio look interesting and like playable. He don't auto turn around, so it's gonna be interesting to see him play later. But that means we even have like underrated people. We're gonna have. We're gonna have. Oh, it's gonna be Goldstone Psycho. Ooh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, I am. I'm, I am here for this. Disconnect your controller. Disconnect your pro controller. Yeah, everybody loses if you go to an event. Disconnect your pro controller. This is why they're oh, oh, actually, we're playing the the rarely played two v two v two. The triples. But yeah, so we got, and so we got Gold Gold uh, Goldstone Psychod versus Mike Pepsi and Zach G. Now this is gonna be really interesting. Uh, a healthy mix of the Pepsi talent and obviously Ohio talent. Psychod oh. recently getting fifth at Gallon today. Um, uh, um, very good uh, player from Miami. And here we go. Back to the feud. Oh no, okay, no. Goldstone playing, we're playing Tommy, and then we have obviously Mike Pepsi and, and, and Zach G. Mike Pepsi being on the Google Mac. Zach G being on the. Oh. On the Something's wrong. And we have a button check. Everybody give it up for the button <laughs> check. <laughs> Love the button check. Check your buttons, everybody. Check your buttons. Yeah. Now I have a little I have a little bit of a hot take. I got a little bit of a spicy take. Okay. Little Mac and doubles. What a cool one. Pretty good. Very, very visceral. Oh uh, dude, like you okay, have so so many opportunities to get off stage. But also, like, Super Armor Super Smash Attacks, all of that, like, you yeah. can yeah. so many opportunities to make some huge damage happen. So I'm really interested to see how, how it comes to play. Mike Pepsi also, natural. Doubles, Doubles is a really, really good, good um, format, format for highlighting uh, uh, lower tier, or lower level so characters. For example, my double partner, partner is Dude. We play, we play DDD, DDD Cannon. DDD Cannon? DDD Cannon? DDD Cannon? DDD Cannon? DDD Cannon? DDD Cannon? One of these days where we're both at an event with doubles, we're gonna pop off. That's I promise. Crazy. All right, we're All right game one, two. Battlefield. Immediately starting it oh. off with an up B. And Psychos just getting to charge limit there. Yeah. That's the big thing you want in this matchup is that Psychos That's is the one a, to limit. Oh, wow. oh, and immediately, he like, takes nothing. it down. Immediately, that, like, uh, Goldstone got the spike, but. Zach G. But did. Zach G said, nah, you're coming with me, buddy. No, yeah, Ike. I mean, Ike. You know, it is. It is not. It is not 29. It is not Genesis 6 anymore. Ike is very much out of the meta, but in doubles, Nair up air has like it's huge. You can you can get half the stage with it. So doubles is just a really good format for heavy characters because the longer you can live, the better you are. Oh, and there we go. And there with it, just a good. Match. So yeah, Mike's Pepsi. Game there's though. another one. Wow. Ooh, the big old KO punch. Again, KO punch has more usage. In it. it covers up a way bigger space because you have more. There's physically more hitboxes. And you've got screen. twice as many characters to hit. Right. Goldstone. Well, technically, three times as many characters to hit, but one of them you don't want to be hitting. Yeah, this is just already way more, like, kind of visceral, and, and the stocks are going quickly. I was going to say, yeah, we are just going. It's already, I mean, we're not, we're like a minute in, and we're already, everybody's down in stock. Oh, and the limit cross slash blocking it. I know we're seeing we're seeing Mike's Pepsi with the pressure. These ups like like just throwing out these smash attacks, holding them just holds so much more pressure when there's so much more happening around. But it looks to be it looks to be super easy so far. And there goes a the stock. Oh wow, and we have blue team is already down to one stock. There goes Goldstone. It is it is really interesting to see kind of the you know, you have two characters. I mean Ike's recovery is okay, but it's very predictable. So like this is a this is the match where a lot of a lot of blood situations will lead to a lot of big kills. Ike with the there big ass there match. Not gonna find anything off of it though. Yeah, just got little max. There we go. And and oh and they're just they're just Oh and here we go with the with the team combos. You are Ike, you do not want to be there. Not gonna find the knee though. Ike's gonna jump out of it. Oh, and there you go. And with the down tilt. Oh. Oh, oh my god! Oh, 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 oh
<laughs> there we go, Goldstone and the Falcon Punch. You already know what's going I on. I wish that we had a stage. Camp. Welcome to Chill Out Two, everybody. I welcome to Chill Out Two, everybody. <laughs> Trooper Drown. I wish that we had a stage Woo! cam that wasn't just a player cam. That was one of the best pop-ups I've seen. Good morning, Kentucky. <laughs> Uh, the tournament may have, the tournament may have started like 45 minutes ago, but that is Tio's Tio's out. out, out, out. Yeah, covering their face. That was beautiful. Let's go, let's you go. Go. Like before you certainly are now. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's what the oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah, starting off with the bang, and it, it, it could come from nobody, nobody but Goldstone. <laughs> so that's, so that's game, game one. one. That's <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that, that was, was in fact just game, game one. one. That's crazy. Oh, oh, very convincing game, game one, but that, that was, was yeah. wow. No, I'm pretty sure Wolfson and Sakurai have teamed quite a bit before, so they seem to have a lot of chemistry. Um, but we'll kind of see how uh, Mike 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 sets the end. They're also just both really good. I mean, everybody on the stage is good. Right? I mean, I mean, so, but, I mean, Sakurai's like one of the like one of the most successful players in Ohio. Mm -hmm. Had a winter to Japan last year. Like has has done the pilgrimage and everything, so like this is this is a scary a scary team to go up against. But we'll see. Psychot's got the raw skill and <laughs> Coldstone is, Cold is just flashy enough. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. Uh, but immediately separating them, getting the up B, getting the that, this is exactly yeah, big what, punch on Little Mac. This is exactly what you want. You want to separate them. You want to you want to create distance between the two characters because Little Mac's gonna really flounder when it, it's just Little Mac against one person. Little Mac's gonna be at his absolute best when he can like hard armor, F smash, get like hit three people at once, yeah, honestly. Team cross slash man. Homie was just like homie seeing ghosts. That's a little Mac off stage with KO punch. Ooh, but making it back. That's a oh! That's gonna hurt. Yeah, KO KO punch actually has like so much utility. Like the super armor and the ability to just armor, I mean, armor, yeah, super armor. The armor through hits and absolutely, like, that is so much honestly playing into the real max survival build. Like, to, absolutely. To kind of stay with that. And Ike, Ike living at 100 now, yeah, never mind. Never no, mind. No, it, it looks, it, I mean, this all looks super. Still 180, that's like, you were living and not quite gonna kill off the top with the little Mac up. I do think that one would have, I feel. I do think it's interesting that they went back to battle. Like, I think it's interesting because that does not seem like a good stage for... for Dude, Ike. Battlefield is a... But it's a really good Ike stage. Right, but you, you, you laugh... And yeah, but it's also good for Little Mac because while, yes, you can platform camp Little Mac super easily, if Little Mac... If you're on the top platform and Little Mac up you, you're oh, just that's, dead. Oh, that is a very good point. Yes. It, it's, it's Diet Thrupper. I see, okay. No, that, that is that, that is a very good point. I mean, they both ran out of so we'll see. I mean, DSR... Not back. quite going to find anything with that F smash, though. Ooh! Could be like a dash attack. I say I heard something. <laughs> um, they're like I, I I have full visual on the right side of the screen. <laughs> but yeah, like oh, in the down air. Yeah, we need to see some real adaptation. With the back air, him. that might be. Oh, with the soft hit of the knee. That's yeah, that's a dead little mech. And yep. it is now once again a two v one. Exactly. Are we gonna see something flashy? Or? I mean, Lemon all oh, trying wanted to... the wanted the finishing touch. Not quite gonna find it though. Right. I mean, I mean, it just seems like it just seems like Blitzstone and, and Psycho got like exactly what they were looking for. Like separating both of them and, and the with, knee. With, oh, with with sweet spot knee. And there, there we, go. we go. Hard knee to finish out the set. 2-0 for Goldstone and Psychod. A very swift 2-0, but I mean, a very entertaining set. Um, Good luck to, to 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 Mike P and Zach G in in uh in losers. I mean, I think they can make a lot. A, a oh lot. yeah, they can easily make a run. That's just yeah. That was a really hard run. And it seems like they <laughs> just do have played, played, played quite, quite a bit. So, so you know, I, 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 I mean, I, I personally, it could have been, been, been me and this guy. Oh, that was insane. That was such a good set. Good morning, Kentucky. What a what a way to start. What a way to wake up. Wilds and soup coming up next. This is, this is We're gonna follow up one banger set with, with another. I'm dead for Main Street. Can I have Soup Wilds and Andrew's Repose? Andrew's Repose. Oh, this is. Oh, no, I think. No, this is. No, this is. A, this isn't an AGT kill. This is an AGT team kill. This is. This is. This is a. This is a four-sided. ABG team. Yeah. Is, yeah. These are the founders. Yeah. yeah. 
All of ABG is up on stage. Well, not all of ABG, but all of stage is ABG. Right. So, so this is going to be this is exciting. These are these are friends. You know, this is this is what you love to see. This is a feature tier event. This is the regional. But you know, you're going to see Team Kills and like it's doubles. But it's all friends. I mean, that's that's the crazy thing about this event. We have our state people here. We have a lot of players. We have people all here. We have Dark Rosie. We have Danny. Obviously, we have Psycho Wild. And then we also have literally all of Kentucky is here. Yeah. Yeah. Literally anybody who's anybody in Kentucky is in this building and is here and is going to try to make their name known. So you are either be, be there or be square. And if you're not here, it's because you're not around. <laughs> On this back setup, <laughs> I have Goldstone Cyclone and Don't give me a Don't give me a Goldstone Cyclone and a Goldstone Cyclone. Goldstone Cyclone and a Goldstone Cyclone. Goldstone Cyclone and a Goldstone now, an interesting thing, Wild had a very, has a really good result in doubles recently, including with Roger at Bumblecon, getting like four, beating, beating, Closer to the mic. Anyway, sorry. Anyway, sorry. No, uh, Wild's, no, uh, Wild's having a really good result in doubles recently. Roger, Roger, Roger at Momocon, oh, giving like, I want to say, to like, in, like, in, like, in, like, beating both, like, Cosmos and Light. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, in the right, doubles right. team. Say cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, what was, uh, what was, was, uh, was Cosmos? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. How did he die like, like a hamster? Like hamster uh, I want to say, I don't know, it was, it was more like a hamster. Cosmos, 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 Cosmos
berry uh, gyroid. Oh my god. You're basically, that's tree. just two landmines. Yeah, Tree's doing so much work in this like, like, it doubles and it's There's dash attack. attack. That's going to take out Young Link. I mean, Tree's basically like a... like Good DI ooh. on that. Yeah, Tree is basically like a like a three block tall like um. Three, yep, I three, saw a pocket on a boomerang. Tall. Ooh, yeah, Tree Tree's doing a lot. Um, Ooh, it's a hefty forward smash. Um, now that's the interesting thing about yep. I, the interesting thing I'm trying to think about is I feel like the big di difference maker in this matchup is like how does the Robin play? Because Robin is a very uncommon character. A lot of resource management. Yep. Um, so it's going to be interesting. It seems like a lot of space control, like the arc fire, really keep, keeping both wilds and soup on ledge. Um, Repos down to down to their last stock. I mean, we'll see. I mean, let's see how they cover how they cover the space. But it seems like the big thing is that they are is that they're doing. Um, um, yeah, Repos and, and, and Anders are doing a great job of keeping soup and wilds on ledge. The one thing about that is both these characters do great on ledge. True. I was to say, I mean, you've got some of the best ledge trapping in the game with Tree, Barry Gyroid, Arc Fire. You have Fishing Ground. You can Fishing Ground people off stage and hit them off the, yep. off the, the ceiling. You can Pineapple people on, on PS2. There's, there's a lot going on. I feel like we're going to spend a lot of time with this set on ledge. Oh, with the back air, not quite going to kill. But oh, that one the, will. Ooh, the slingshot again. It is, it is now a 2v1. It's and also, both of the both the Animal Crossing characters have phenomenal recoveries. They're very linear, but like, as long as you don't have to use it too frequently. And there we yeah. go. Bowling ball to take game one. No, yeah, that's the difference maker. Uh, yeah, like, very, very strong play for both of them. That's, and that's the hard thing about this, about this kind of mix up of characters. Again, it's like, they're doing such, like, like, Robin is amazing at keeping you on ledge, but Wilds and Soup can just kind of rotate on ledge, throw sling shots, do fishing hooks, like... They it, can just they, kind of do whatever they want. Yeah. I, I, it's I, Wilds World, we're just living in it. <laughs> Absolutely, we'll see. Um, I, we might be seeing the Seeing the switch to Ike, though, with the I, Grail Ike skin. I can see Go it. No, yeah, Young Link wasn't putting in a lot of work that last in, in that last game. Fire Arrows weren't doing a lot. Um... You know, controlling space and stuff. So I, I can see this. I mean, I, again, Ike is a very strong doubles character. So we'll. I think this could be great for getting, for having extra survivability, extra screen control, and being able to, to close out stocks. Well, easier because I don't think they weren't really closing out stocks. Because how do you if you're if you're? Did you know that like villager like slingshot clanks with arc fire? I. It's so dumb. It's it's a little pebble, but it's it's doing so much. Beep. It's like a little pea shooter. But yeah, Just I knocks a flame out of the air. Yeah, wow. I, but yeah, I think I think the Ike switch is gonna really do a lot in this matchup. Um, extra survivability as well. Fire Emblem versus Animal Crossing. I know. Look at this. Who'd have thunk? This is what Sakurai intended. <laughs> but there go, I and think there's with the up smash. That's gonna kill off the top. Fireworks. But I think it's you know I already just this already just feels better. Getting immediately getting the, the Arc Thunder out. Oh, and the F smash. Missing the F smash. But yeah, this already just feels a little bit better for for repos and answers. But I mean, so wilds are just they're, they're they're keeping their space. They're 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 playing the exact game they want. Yes. You know? They want to both kind of sit kind of on top of each other, alternating slingshots, setting up. Gonna barely survive that one. The the difference breaker in the matchup normally in singles, but also in doubles, is making a closing. Like what is? What does Isabel do? Especially like in doubles, like Isabel can't do a lot of her crazy like jabbery sets or whatever. You know? Yeah. She can't. She can't really. I mean, she can try to go for the infinite on platform. Because reminder, Isabel has an infinite in this game. But it's super risky because of doubles. You can have somebody up literally. I was gonna say if you're if if I've got you locked in an ultimate or an infinite, your teammate can just come and bail you out. Yeah. It, it may. It's something that may come in clutch. Like if we come down to a one v one situation. But for. But for now, it's, it looks pretty pretty decisive, all things considered. I want to see more of, of Robin Up. Robin Uppy, I feel like, can make work. At, Not going to get the bowling ball, going to get punished out of Uppy out yeah. of shield. Robin Uppy can put in a lot of work against the against the Animal Crossing characters off stage with, like, popping balloons and stuff. I think that's something we can see kind of more of. Oh, in the Arc Thunder! Yep. Ooh! There we go, seeing it. Seeing the pocket, like, that's exactly what you said. Pocket matters so much. Uh, oh, with the up till, 11 yeah. sword up till. Oh, the Gentleman dash jab. Man, Lloyd off stage just doing so much. Okay, getting the grab. Yeah, this is where we're, we're uh, this, the, the game's starting to slow down a little bit. We're getting separated. Oh, but the huge 
I just realized that their in-game tags are YouTube child care. Nah. <laughs> I mean, that's what's happening. This is babysitting. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I, I, I think the... Oh, that's a dead Ike. Yeah. Yeah, so I can't come back from that. But this Ike is in the bottom corner. He's just yeah. done. But that, the good thing about this is that the... the uh, this is already feeling a lot better than last set. The, the Ike switch is doing a lot. Also feels like we're seeing It's a Robin. lot closer, definitely. Yeah, and Robin's really putting in more work kind of understanding how you play in doubles, utilizing the space. Um, that's another cool thing that Ike, that, uh, with the synergy in this, is that Ike can catch people in up and that gives time for Robin to go in the corner and charge up neutral. It's, because yep. um, that's another thing, is you want to be able to give your, give your opponent time to charge up whatever mechanics they, they have. So, yeah, we saw that just kind of... We saw that along the last set with Goldstone and Psychod, is that, is that Goldstone would go in, beat people up, and Psychod would stand in the back and charge <laughs> He's like, I'll just charge limit, it's fine, you, you can go fight me. Absolutely. I'm gonna save up for my special. Move. And there we go, 2v1, but I would say Ike in the 2v1 looking pretty good. Against Isabel, I mean, three low tiers are on my screen right now. <laughs> But we'll see. I mean, all it I mean, I mean, is they both look at pretty. Everybody seems to be at pretty high percent. So like, all it takes is like one good F smasher and uppy or something. Ooh, and, we're, and we're in a two v one situation. Wild seems to be setting it up. Yeah, Repo's trying to get back to center stage. Ooh, nope, they, he's gonna make that back. Barely, but he does make it back. And you would do not want to be stuck between these oh. two. Get hit by the broom. Clowns to the left of me. Jokers to the right. And he's just gonna side me back. F tilt I mean, not gonna take it. Dash attack. Another dash attack. Oh, the back throw, and that's but the it. The back throw will take it though. Back throw from center stage. Soup and Wilds takes it. Moving on. I was gonna say when I saw the first dash attack, I'm like, okay, cool. I dash attack. It does a lot of damage, but there's so much end lag. Then I saw a second one, and I said, nope, that's yeah. GGs. Now, I mean, I'm very interested to see how far Soup and Wilds going. I want to see if the Kamazu does, does come out to like it. Oh, I'm going to be a strange. And I have Zen Spade, Dark Wizzy, and Toaster Art Squiggles. Toaster Art Squiggles and Dark Wizzy are here. Yeah, we got it. We're going to get top players. Top players. Got some big, got some big names coming up this screen. We're gonna see the, I'm gonna have to see the, uh, the Lucas BK. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking for. You will see. Great set, oh, great set to both of them. Obviously, obviously wild. Let's go, let's go, all players. But yeah, wild. But yeah, wild, yeah, wild come this weekend as a huge face. Yeah, yeah. I kind of made the joke, made the joke earlier. Wild is C2. And it's still separate. But we'll see. But we'll see. <laughs> but see, the team is going in double so We're getting people up on stream. Yeah, but already. Yeah, but already. I mean, this is this. This is already. This is already just been a blow. This is nice. This is a good time. Absolutely. Got to see one of the Got to see one of the flashiest Falcon kills I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm gonna cut the ads. Huh? Huh? I'm gonna cut the ads. Ads. I'm gonna cut the ads. Ads. Oh, 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 we're going to ads. We're going to ads. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. Thank you.
Oh, and we are back. back. Welcome back to doubles. I am excited. Let me let me just take the wheel on this. We have we have Dark Wizzy and Deathspade versus Killstar and, and Quiggles or, or yeah Squiggles. Uh, shout out to Dayton by the way. Squiggles like notable Ohio player and To. Shout out to the Dayton Tos. But big thing, we got Deathspade for Playstar. I'm a sore man. I'm excited about this. Uh, Deathspade is, a, is is an interesting player because they play both Sora and Bayonetta as like Komi. So it's oh, interesting wow. to see how they play in doubles, but yeah, I think Sora is an amazing player. Um, and obviously we have Dark Wizzy, who is in, probably just the intro introduction. Played Phenomenal the Mario. Mario out of Ohio. One of the best Marios in Ohio. One of the best Marios in the world, honestly. Absolutely. Um, oh, oh, and that's a very dead me brawler. Great, like, if you want to see stuff there. And that's now, a dead Steve. So it's going to be interesting to see how the set goes, uh, how the set goes. Because he's been in a little, little bit of a character crisis. Just a little bit. Obviously, he was a seed man for a long time. Plays a lot of ice climbers as well, but I can see them playing seed in this. Uh, they've, been, they've been playing DK a lot lately. They're, they're playing a lot of DK at cost. It was it was quite funny. But um, it's going to be interesting to see. I think Mario's a pretty good doubles character. I know also Dark Blue loves going with Yoshi in doubles as well. Mm -hmm. He kind of has a Yoshi secondary, so we can see that also come out. Um, we the, almost saw the Yoshi, I feel like, but then switched to Mario the last second, and that's a dead Sora. I do think now, obviously, Steve is amazing for this character. Of course is. Yeah, but I was just say there's. Yeah. I'm interested to see how the synergy goes with Steve. Meatball. That is a very, that is a very interesting setup. All things considered. Um, I, say, I don't know how Steve does in doubles. I mean, I've seen, you know, obviously, if you get two insane. Steves, then like it's just really Double annoying. Double Steve is but... insane. Single Steve's still pretty good. All things considered, um, but it's, it's harder to mine. It's hard. To, it's you kind of trade off stuff because it's much harder to mine and get resources. Mm. It's have to be a bit more uh, like because you can't really cool. just hide behind a wall yeah. as much because you've but got two stuff people. Like, about. stuff like golden minecart and up smash, insane. That's a I dead Mario. Insane. But we're, we're seeing we're seeing Wizzy and, and, and Deathspin really makes it work. I think I, again, I think Sword does so well in this matchup. Nair just controls so much space. Up air controls so much space. You can recover from basically anywhere. <laughs> yeah, Sora's got god tier recovery. So it's, it's interesting to kind of see how this plays out. Oh, and, and Minecart's gonna take out Sora, so we've got Me Brawler down to two stocks, two stocks but high percent. This looks very, very even off these considered the Steve having, having yeah, punishing that Sora dash attack. Oh, so you want to talk about things that are good? TNT in this matchup is actually in this game mode is like actually. Oh yeah, because I mean you've got not only Mario Fireball that can set it off, but also Firaga can set it off. Absolutely, it's, it, it's a big AOE, those crazy stuff. I mean, in the craziness of doubles, you can actually miss the, the pressure play. Oh, and getting the thrupper. Not gonna kill though. And or did it? No. There you go. But you it's now the two v one, not where you want to be, especially because Mario's still got a whole more oh. another stock to play with. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we could see a big Mario combo. We could see a big, a big sword near loop. I mean. Possibilities are endless. Getting rid of the Thug Dog. Missing the forward air. That is the one thing about Sora in doubles that is very tricky is that a lot of times if you are in like a very favorable position, you want to burn the, like the Thug Dog because it's just not going to help you most of the time. But you don't have the freedom to just do that because there's so much going on. You can't just you, you have to think about your buttons just a little bit. Yeah, you have to like yeah. It, it's not as free. It's just oh, you know, I, I killed my opponent, and got stuck in jail for So we'll see. Yeah. But holding yes. on to dear life over a hundred percent. Yes, Squiggles is like doing a great job of surviving. I'm shocked by the. Meat. I'm interested to see if if, if the Me Brawler survives because Squiggles plays like, like they play like Me Brawler, Lucas, and like Wolf. So like mm -hmm. you know, this, this has been a bit of a. This is maybe not been the most fearful set for them. So I was to say it's it's not over quite yet, it's but it's an uphill battle. Yeah, we'll see. That's it. Up. Yeah, never mind. Uppy, I'm a liar. Uppy kills. It's huge. Good stuff from Wizzy and Desiree taking game one. Um, so it's interesting to see if, I mean, the nice thing is that between Toaster and Squibble, there's a lot of variation. So Toast do you think we're going to see a character change here? Maybe. Maybe. I feel like definitely Despade and Dark Wizzy are fine. Yeah, They're yeah. good where they are. But I'm wondering if we're going to see a switch up out of Squiggles and Toasted. Yeah, because like Bayonetta wouldn't be very, 
wouldn't add anything to this matchup, and if anything, Bayonetta would probably be not very, not the greatest choice against the Steve in doubles. And also, if it, if, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right, we'll see. It looks like they're gonna go the same. Yep, it's, it looks like it's all staying the same. No, yeah, we're just keeping it the same, Which running I, it back. Which I, I can understand that, because again, like, Squiggles is doing a great job of, like, surviving and living in that 1v1 situation. I think a Tokstar can just have a little bit more survivability with Steve. And also going to Hollow Bastion now, if I'm not mistaken, gives more iron? Uh, I think it's stone, which just means that it's, um, which just means that, like, blocks are gonna be a little harder to break. Because, yeah. I mean, dirt is just, like, lots of the noise, but you have, like, stone and iron, and that's gonna be a lot harder to kind of get through, and that's gonna create more separation between the two teams. Ooh, there's a nice little blender going on. Yeah, Dark Wizzy doing a great job converting off of what that space able to get, because Sora's not back, like, general not back, is just kind of high. That, like, you can do, like, Nair Nair, and if you can't get, like, a loop out of it, the Dark Wizzy can jump in and get an up air or an up beat or something. Oh, we're seeing Nair loops. There we go. And, oh, and into the up smash. Not quite get a kill, though. Toasted no, just getting a mine for free over there in the corner. The interesting, about, the interesting thing about Sora is while, yes, I do think Sora is a very good doubles character, it's a lot more fun than the moves, actually. Like, you don't do as much of the of the, um, of the Nair loops for very other kind of similar reasons to a lot of other characters where you, Ooh. you can get hit out of it. So actually, like, playing Sora in doubles is a lot more about just getting, like, normal, like, you hit Nair, it's good, you know, like, using your spells to the best of your abilities and, and more kind of fun these Sora mm -hmm. instead of kind of being... You're you know, playing Sora, but you're playing a different kind of Sora. You're playing, like, very traditional. It's, it's Sora before you're with there. If you're with Nair then it's, you're playing, like, copy. Then you're playing on easy mode. Oh, and not... No, that'll take kill with the Star KO. Very different game looking already. Deathspade um, still with three... Never mind. There you go. The Conte's curse right there. But still, the Deathspade's survivability is, like, really coming to show here because like if you're off stage if you're like in like in the very corner of the stage and you're recovering what is what is the problem like, like steve can get some stuff but that's very minimal like it, it in this specific kind of space and matchup it's like go for my target yeah the light train can play blocks but you know, oh i saw the f smash coming from dark wizzy he wanted that not quite gonna find it though now you have a sword maybe in the back toasted art kind of being Toast Arts, it's, it's, it's just so hard to see. Ooh, ooh, whiffed on the Steve F smash, and so Sora said, hey, I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. A lot of anvils coming out. Oh, and the counter on the minecart. Yeah, burning the thunder again. Thundaga will get Beam Brawler out of the way. But that's the nice thing about, 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 about thunder is that, like, you can aim it for one person. Like, 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 um, that's what he was trying to go for the Steve. But it missed, but it was still able to get squiggles up the top. Oh, hi, Sora. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want. I want to see. I want to see Wizzy go for some more kind of crazy, um, crazy kill. For me. Oh, and that's a dead me brawler. Not quite gonna make it back. Doing a little bit of damage to Mario on the way out the door, though. Yeah, Dark Wizzy surviving because of the blocks. You know, um, Hollow Bastion's low season. I want to see some more stuff kind of out of them. I mean, me brawler and, and Mario are very much going for very similar ideas. Very similar. Ideas. For sure. Um, I would say me Brawler's a little more visceral, a little more kind of explosive than Mario, but it's just gonna be interesting to see how it plays out. Get the S, gonna get the up smash. This feels a lot closer, obviously. I said this is definitely a much closer game. Toasted Art's still sitting at 145%, so that's not really where you want to be on your last stock. But, but I mean, also, uh, Deathspade's at 92, and I can't quite see what. Uh, Squiggles percent is, but it yeah. looks low and Dark Wizzy's in. We're gonna see some team combos, yeah. Two percent. Dark Wizzy getting the backflip to take, to take out those sort of uh, zombies, so it's gonna be interesting to see. Very similar situation like last time, but Squiggles did a great job of having that survivability. You have downbeat, which is a great movement option. And they kind of split up and try to kind of stay out of what they want, but we're gonna see some crazy team combos already coming in. There. I say one really one good hit on Sora and he's dead, and then it just becomes a 1v1. But still, it does look like. And there we go. We are in yep. a one v one situation, and this is very visceral. Okay. Not quite gonna find the full ladder though. This is where you want this down is where you throw. Want. Oh, dropper, the dropper. Not gonna kill. Almost though. When we're is... at a pretty even game now, neither one wants to approach. This I think so that was a fully charged flood on deck. Well, this is so doable. I mean, this is Beat Brawler's zone. You know, this is what Beat Brawler wants. Beat Brawler wants to be an all Bastion with the dropper on top platform. And... No, right. still not quite gonna take it. There it is, Here with the back, back air. air. We're going to game three. I'm just happy to go to game three. This has been a great set. 
So yeah, so we're, again, we're seeing Squiggles really like using a lot of what Wee Brawler has. Um, not quite getting any like the cheesy up B kills, but let's like, say yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing a lot of down throw up B, but I mean, but it, it's really specific, and again, it's really cheesy. And if anybody's gonna if anybody's gonna know those percents, my heart's gonna be Dark Wizzy. Facts. Dark, Dark Wizzy in, indulges in that in, in the dark arts of that as well. So like, you know, it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, kind of how the neutral plays out. So I, I think it's a good situation. I am again interested to see if Toast Toast Art stays, stays, stays on the Steve. I, I feel like Toasted Art needs to switch off. I feel like the Steve isn't pulling pulling the weight that it that effect, it needs to. Yeah, and, it, and, and it's much harder. I mean, we'll we'll see. Because again, I mean, Steve is so visceral that's like if you get some if you get some gold and some. And, and if you can pop off, you can pop off. It's just so hard because there's not a lot of space to really mine and, mm. and get the materials you're looking after. And in this in doubles, you are looking for gold and, 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 and redstone. You're looking for that golden mine card. So it's gonna be interesting interesting to see. Um, yeah, because you can't just mine for free. You can't just yeah, build a wall and say, no, you can't approach because I had two people to in watch. In comparison, if this it. was me Brawler Steve, it's like, what is me Brawler going to do mm. to, to stop you from mining? It's like, oh, no, you have me Brawler. And we're seeing the Ice Climbers. Yep, okay. There we go. No, yeah. No, but Toast Arts, uh, Ice Climbers going crazy. The Toasted um, Ices? No, I know a lot of people in Ohio have been, a lot of people in the Ohio scene has been laughing out some crazy Ice Climbers. I, was, I mean, uh, Ohio's home to Ferb, who's a phenomenal yes. ice climbers player. Yeah, Ferb, Ferb is, 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 is currently in the lab for, like, box ice climbers, I think. Yep. Um, I, I talked I talked, like, um, I talked to somebody who was making some boxes for them to talk about this. So it's going to be interesting to see. Ice climbers is such an odd doubles pick, but, like, I, I feel it for this matchup. I mean, you aren't going to get some crazy handoff stuff, but, like... As I say, handoffs are going to be much harder, but, I mean, it, it's an extra body that's doing damage. Yeah, and, like, side B as well is a great, is a great like, first option to be able to, like, tornado multiple people in. Get, get some kind of better positioning. And, and, and like, stuff like up tilt as well is going to be big for getting... In, in, in Just getting racking people, up damage. Racking up damage, get people in disadvantage as well. Mm -hmm. You know, it is very similar to Plains where it's, like, you're not going to get these crazy handoffs. You're not going to get the terrible, so you kind of have to play more basic... Kind of oh. on these versions. There goes Nana, but Zopo is out and about. Not quite. A, I mean, it's a pretty even game, all things considered. I mean, Dark Wizzy's sitting at a pretty low percent. I am shocked that the, the, the Toaster lived that. That was a back throw into up air on Sora, so it's good spot dodge, dodge dodging Dark Wizzy's grab. Forward air gonna keep Mario off stage and in disadvantage, and they're just holding that ledge and. Okay, Sora's back, but you know he can just kind of do that. No, I, I, I see, I see the Sopo really coming in here. I mean, I feel the Sopo was doing more than when Nana was there, which I mean is classic icy stuff, you know. Like um, when you lose Nana, you like it, yeah, you get like 50% better when it comes to like your neutral and stuff. I, from what I've understand of Icy's players, is that a lot of Icy's players will just be like, hey, do you just want to play Sopo? Like I Sopo mean, did, like if, if it's the Icy's ditto, I mean. Yeah, it's it's gonna be. Yeah, I, I, I already think this is working out. Well, I mean, it's still kills have been slow. On We're still game. behind. Yeah, oh, but and it's, it's all very pretty. I mean, it all, Dark Dark Wiz is the only one with three stocks left. Everybody's at pretty low percent, and anything that we have from here, I think the big priority is again getting Dark Wiz uh, down a stock. Um, again, I think I think Pace was a pretty good stage for for, for ice climbers, all things considered. And um, at the back air, that's going to take out Dark Wizzy's first stock. So now we are at stocks even. Uh, looks like green is down behind in percent just a little bit. Just a little bit, but I mean, it all looks pretty similar. Oh, Scoop is getting the, trying to edge guard Sora. Uh, Good you, luck. You don't. <laughs> I was like, and, and, you know, I'm like another character that, that's GG, but... I, was say, I thought that was me brawler that was off stage, and I was just like, oh, goodbye. <laughs> or even Mario. Like, I don't think Mario was coming back from that, well, but Sora can. Up? What is uh, Scoobles running? Oh, oh the yeah, the FB. The pressure's insane. But yeah, like, um, do we know what uh, Scoobles is running side for wise for like, I don't know enough about me brawler. I want to say it's blazing, it's blazing side game. Like, it's, it's, I want to say that, but, but that's what they're running. It's either that or it's like a flex, kind of the big ones that you see a lot of people use. Uh, which, like, I mean, I mean, Rudy's Psychic is one of, if not the best first option in the entire game. It's oh, for sure. It's a combo finisher, it's a combo starter, it kills, like, it's like one of the best moves in the game. So it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, it's interesting to see how it comes in. But, I mean, I mean, I think the big thing is Despite is winning as well. Not quite gonna kill, just using the jump to cancel out the momentum just there at the last second. Sora will live to see another day, but we're down... 
Oh, Mario might be now. No, oh, Mario's dead. Okay, so that's yeah, one yeah. less less stock they have to deal with. And of course, Sora's making it back for free. Oh, in the back here. Oh, the yep. team synergy. It is just hosted our left. I mean, we can see, but this is a very scary position. I say, yeah, I mean, it's still technically. Uh, yeah, never mind. There, there it is. The synergy. No, oh. survive. There goes. But now we have a Sopo, I think. No, 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 no that was Sora that, that was, died. That was that was Sora. So it is one stock each, but this is really hard. I mean, both both Bubble and Nana are still there, but they have all the resources, resources in the world to separate them. Oh, I saw the footstool on Nana. That could have been bad. A great landing. That's good landing. And yeah, the Mario Forward. There it is. That's in that set. Wizzy and Dark Wizzy and Despot moving on. They had to fight for it though. Like, like they, that wasn't that wasn't uh, that wasn't a gimme set. That was yeah, they had to work absolutely. for it. Absolutely. Like like they were putting in work and and and. The I think they're going to play the rest of the bracket. I said, they're going to lose. But, like, Wizzy Desmond, that's a game for the new bracket. Can I get Sinkin up and Wyvern versus Anders and Shilshan on me? And again, Despot can go Bayonetta if they wanted to. Despot can shoot up if they wanted to, but they didn't really need to. In that set, I think in that set, it was pretty clear that that was the team you wanted to go with, but there are some other teams that, you know, if you're playing against, if you're playing against, I don't even know, but like, there are certain things where it's like, where we're like, I'm playing against, 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 moving on and mm. stuff growing so it's great to see collision really step like stepping in and providing stream space and 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 things of that sort so um mm. go check them out collision events also are just so fun and crazy to watch and, and for stuff. sure so um yeah so that's um that's collision thank yeah. you so much follow thanks for on, letting us borrow your stream fo follow and... them on twitter youtube twitch, twitch. you yeah. know follow them everywhere follow them everywhere so Let's see, what do we got coming up down the pipeline, though? It looks like Fair Play and Crayola Brain. Oh, Evan Crayola Brain, my, my buddy. <laughs> uh. Gonna have more low tiers on my screen, though. Yippee, I do love having more low tiers on oh, my screen. Oh, this is gonna be hot. This is, this is, this, if this is, if, if this isn't a hot set alert, I don't know what is. We'll hot set that. alert. We'll get to that in just a moment after these wonderful ads. Yeah, um... No, yeah, Collision. Fun fact, Collision 23 was one of, like, Wilds' first, like, huge tournaments. Oh, yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yeah, Wilds was out there, was, was there at, at 23, did kind of okay. It was a bit of an underperformance at the time, or kind of right, mm -hmm. right, right kind of on prediction. It's very funny, because you can see him in a lot of photos for, like, the... Yeah. Uh, in a lot of the photos. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, uh, continuing with doubles, we can beat. This, this is hot set alert of all hot set alerts. So I can only see you got part it. of it, but I see. You have oh, it's Roger Chin. Oh, are. this is gonna be a set. You have Crayola Brain, Fair Play, which is gonna, it's gonna be the re it's gonna be low tier galore. We got we got we got Toon Link. Got I feel like this. Well, I mean, Crayola Brain, any low tier that he touches let's, becomes. Let's talk about these players for a second. Okay, so we got Crayola Brain, buddy, a good buddy of mine, recently crowned number nine in Kentucky. Congrats, and plays Rid plays Ridley. But just plays a grab bag. Okay. Just, just plays any low tier that he can get his hands Link, on, and he does Toon it. Link, Ridley mostly. Um, Ganondorf, also, Inkling. Ganondorf. Yeah, you probably know him for the Inkling as well. Ganon also played uh, a banjo for a while, so understands. And then obviously you have Fair Play, one of the best banjos in um in the in the country, one of the best in the world. But I think um, also with this set is that it's a nice highlight of. The old guard of Kentucky Smash versus the they new are. guard, because I mean Roger and Jin are like I'm, have been top in the I'm state gonna, forever. While Crayola Brain and Fairplay are like good, but they're much newer good. 
I, I'm gonna probably repeat this later, but there are three things guaranteed in this world. Death, taxes, and an Owensboro brand. And we are seeing <laughs> We love our Owensboro right brands. Now. But this is the interesting thing about this, and we're gonna see this a bit more kinda as the kinda as the the, the, the set moves on. Is and as these players not only go more the doubles but the singles, is the if you kind of have seen o the Owensboro duo kind of flipped on its head. Roger recently crowned number two in Kentucky. Yep. Very well deserved because Ryan going to out his deep stuff, really making things known. One of the most underrated players, again, in the Midwest, in the in the state, one of the best Ikes in the world, and then you have the Jens. And yep. Jin was for a long time. There's a reason that we we live in Jin Tucky. Yeah. Like but then he disappeared for a while, and now yeah. he's back. Jin was was top one in Kentucky for a year. I mean, for basically all of all his existence. Also for a good chunk of Smash Four as yep. well. Um, most notably going to the uh, he was voted in for the Invitational back in like 2022. Yeah, have they taken a set off a gag? He has a gag to win. Like it's crazy, but has been very inactive recently. People thought he was like retired, retired, and then like a month ago he started going. Like, he just started coming back, and then now he's back and. I've heard that he's wanting to come back like and start competing like regularly again. So, so. it's going to be interesting that, yes, this is Owensboro. It's a good to see him back. It, it's the Truly, yeah. I've said it before, I'll say it again, return to the king. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, But it's interesting that now it's on his head and now Roger's been the one that's been grinding and playing and going out of state and doing these things. And he's been doing phenomenally. Yeah. And we are just seeing stocks fly. Yeah, no, it is, it is, it is, it is. Been crazy fair play. I was to say, I'm seeing so many like blast zone bubbles. Yeah, fair is just been fair survivability already has been crazy because it's so hard for banjo and doubles because you get because you mean, only like, get five wonder wings per yeah, stop, and you have twice as many opportunities in the top one. So you have that your decision making on has to switch. Oh, oh and the wow, smash. that's what you're looking what, for. That's it. That Owensboro Grands, we're gonna see it. Yep. Getting not gonna kill Roger though. Now the, yeah, the, the thing I'm very interested in, in as well is... Oh, wow, another one. Just the stock... Not only are stocks being taken, but they're being taken in explosive fashion. Yeah. Now, the, the, the big thing, which, I mean, you're playing... I mean, I mean... You're playing explosive characters. Yeah, you're playing Pyro, you're playing, you're playing Ike. You also have Mithra that can do some new stuff. Sometimes. I think the big thing, and, and what I really want to know his thoughts on, is... Crayola Brain, what do you do? It's like Crayola Brain. I've stopped questioning him. I mean, that's the thing. Is he's the ultimate wild card, but, like... You know, I think it's really interesting to see how he plays out because it's like you can play really you can play Inkling, like I'm interested in I mean have you seen a top eight graphic where Cray with Crayola Brain on it? There's like four or five different yeah. characters on there. You know, it's gonna be interesting, but like I, I saw him more in the first like, So I the thing that makes me interested is there is a amount of kind of kind of intentionality, but it's gonna be interesting to see, but it's gonna be working because it is just down to Roger. Uh, it is Roger's down to a last stock, one to three. Um, that is, I looked away for like yeah. a split second, yeah, and fair, that is not what I expected the, to look back to. has the rest of, of their Wonder Wings and a whole nother one on match ready to go. Like, he can literally throw himself off stage just to get Wonder Wings again, and that's meta. Yeah. There you go, yeah, running out, like, I would not be surprised if we see Fair just like, like, down there off stage. Just I was gonna say, I mean, he might as well. But, but mean, also, you don't want to sleep on Roger. There it goes. And there it goes, because if he had down out off stage... I mean, we could definitely see something happen. This is a good situation to be. I mean, I mean, Ike is pretty good in, he's in these like two people one situations with like Nay or not Nay or stuff. But but the issue is that you have two characters that are just so good at playing keep away. Yeah, like 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 you know, Crayola can keep, keep just throwing stuff. At I was gonna Roger. say just bombs, arrows, boomerangs, All ropes, sorts of stuff. bombs. And, and there you, you want it. Not quite. <laughs> and then also yours, you have Fair Play getting all of these, all, all of these Wonder Rings. And there we go! There it is. There it is. There's game one. I Not wonder. how I anticipated that going, if I'm being, if I'm going to be completely honest. Now, the interesting thing there is that we did see Wonder Ring on ledge, and I don't know if that 100% mattered, but it looked like, and this could just be some team synergy stuff that is answering the question of why Crayola been going Toon Link is, like, um, is, like, the bomb throw. Bomb mm -hmm. throw... Because yeah, uh, I mean, you've got bomb throw and you've got to deal with grenade, and you have but, but you had the hitbox extension at the end. Like that, mm. that last thing was was the the wonder wing at ledge. Uh, there may be some like like there, yeah. there's yeah. You could throw you could throw you could throw grenade or you could throw like a two link bomb, get the get the hitbox extension and have more um, have more uh, uh, pressure at ledge. Oh look at this, crisp! I got two K rules right up above me. Oh, that yeah. is crisp. I know venue, venue, uh, uh, on a, you know, uh, at noon, uh, like on during th during doubles on on pool's day of the event. Venue's back. Venue's yeah, I was just saying. I mean, we're just in doubles, and we, I don't even think half of the competitors are here. Yeah, no, they're, but they're we, we good turnout. Absolutely, going into game two.
Not seeing any character switches though, but no, I, 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 I do think there is some intentionality behind the two. Like, and that, and that's there, I mean, it, it's Evan, so like, it can, who knows? But um, yeah, you know, Gray Oldbrick is a character, is a player I think you should definitely watch out for this weekend if you're gonna be following this. Guy, I, think. I, I mean, he's a good friend of mine, but like also, like just like practically, truly like a player, like playing anybody. So that's a, that's kind of the scary thing. And even if this is no legit project in the game, it's like. Well, Back to the bag, you know, can, can go Ridley, can go Inkling. Um, like I said, it's very much, a, it, this is a battle of old school versus new school. Right. So I'm, I'm interested to see, because Jin, I'm actually just kind of shocked that Jin was the one that devoured early in that last game. It makes me very interested to see kind of how this plays out. As I um, say, we'll, we'll see if maybe the, the Hollow Bastion counterpick makes a difference. Yeah. Um, because, oh, excuse I mean, me. Yeah, oh, and the big old, the, the big old back air. Yeah, no, Pirate is so good at Mithra is a little harder because Mithra is kind of cheap like Yeah, it's like you're, you're going to do a lot of chip damage, but in doubles, you just want to swing big and swing hard. Right, absolutely. So, you know, we're seeing the Pyro come out way more. I mean, already Jin and player favored the Pyro. I was saying, Roger's just more. losing his first stock, and it's now 5-4 to four with Crayola Brain being at mid-percent already. Fair play is still a pretty low percent, but... Yeah, I mean, this is this is looking yep. pretty good, all things considered. All, all and Bastion, now we have an even game. Paula Bastion also being a very quick kind of... It's a very tall stage. It's very tall, but it's also very ground. Like, like, um, yeah. Like, that middle platform creates a very clean hallway, like... Um... Yeah. yeah so it it's, it's going to be interesting to see kind of how... How, um... How they proceed, how yeah, they because, play. Like, because on Hall of Bastion, that, like, I call it the hallway. Like, right on the platform, it's so crowded, but it's also so tall that it's, like, survivability is really favorite. So, like, if you're, like, a lighter character, like, Team Link or, or, or Banshee, you can be Banshee, but, like, in comparison to, like, Ike or, or, or Pyra, they're more heftier. Being on a bigger stage is quite helpful. I say, with a stage like this, I mean, Ike and Pyra both just hit, like, a Mack truck. So, oh, yeah, even yeah. though this stage has really hard, or really high like ceilings I don't think it's really gonna matter all that much and it looks like and there we go it looks we have a 2v1 yeah it's, it is it is it is fair versus G it's Jin fair versus Jin and Roger and oh, that and is not smash. where you want to be that up smash from Ike not quite gonna yeah, take this it though a little scared they're 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 warming up you know I was gonna say I, I feel like they just needed a game and there it is with the F smash is gonna take it we're going into a game three so now I what do you think do you think that game one was a fluke or do you think that like they just needed to adapt. It's really hard. I think it's really hard to say um, because it's very easy to get matchup check and doubles is an understatement because none of these matchups. Are developed. I was everything. gonna say yeah, you can't. Uh, everything <laughs> everything's is, a matchup check and doubles because there's, everything is new and different. But like there's 86 know. different characters, which I mean, how um, many different possible team comps is that? It's insane. Plus like the dittos as well. Like mm. I, like using it, it is insane. So I think you know it's like an adaptation thing where you have such a weird team with Toon Link and Banjo. Um, but I could definitely see Jin and Roger kind of um, warming up and, and kind of creating some synergy stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to see. Because I don't know, I mean, obviously I'm, the, these two both being from Owensboro have played, but I don't know when the last time they played doubles was. I mean, I'll say, well, actually, great thing to bring up. Um, I don't actually know the top of my head, but these were um, chill out one doubles finalists. That's right. They That's were in France. Right. I don't know if they won. I don't want to say that for certain, but they were definitely in like... like they were top, definitely up there. Like podium finish for chill out doubles one. So there is a bit of, you know, there's actually a bit of a bit of prestige on the line when it comes to keeping that keeping that streak alive. Yep. Um, and we're going, yeah. Chill out one actually being one of one of Jin's last huge events before going on It games. was, yeah. So it's, it's, you know, again, it's exciting seeing this it's event. a return to form, like it's it's truly, Ooh, and ooh, the forward smash good like nothing. kill. What did that ooh. kill at? Did you see the percent on that? It was like it was like it was like forty something, but it was like, you know, it was at ledge, so it was crazy. But yeah, no, we're seeing we're seeing Crayola Burn stick with the team. Like again, I'm very interested to see. I mean it's, it seems to be working, but I was just saying, I mean we're going you're going to game three against two of Kentucky's best. Well, to be fair, well, actually, fair and I mean, Crayola I mean, are also some of Kentucky's well, no, best. We have Roger, then we have like some random <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, but, but actually, you know, Jin has not been ranked in like three seasons, so it's interesting. I say he's he hasn't been ranked in a while, but like I feel like it's only because he hasn't been active. Yeah. So it's it's gonna be interested interesting to see how. Yes. But yeah, it seems like um Jin and Rogers' positioning is a lot better as well. Cause that's so much about like what doubles is about how you like. Ooh. Oh, did you? That was gonna be that. really scary. But yeah, like how you. 
like how you position yourself, and, and that's something I'm not really seeing a lot of. Maybe it's just because I don't understand what's happening in the team combo of Toon Link Banjo. Which why would Lots of projectiles, lot. I mean both. But uh, there's, I don't see a lot of intentionality behind the positioning, and I think that's the big difference between Jen and Roger and Fair and well, But that's the thing that I, I gotta, I don't understand because I don't really understand what they're going for, but it's working. <laughs> there we go, the big back air. I was, and that's, I think the biggest thing is that Jin and Roger are playing their mains, but they're playing them as a team, while Crayola, Brain, and Fairplay are playing, they're playing a main and a half. They're playing but, doubles. Yeah. Like, they're really playing doubles, you know? Ooh, that was, that's gonna kill off the top, and that is, yeah. oh wow, we are borrowing Ooh. stocks. Um, also, something else worth mentioning while we're at it, Crayo Brain, also a very, like, very passionate multiverses player. Mm, yeah. I, I enjoy multiverses as well, so he has the brain for this team, for this team game, you know? So it's gonna be interesting to see kind of how, you know, how that kind of comes. See if there's any overlap there. Yeah, platform fighter, team-based game, I, you know, it, it could definitely change how you think about doubles comparison, the kind of, like you're saying. If you only Roger, have Smash experience. Yeah, Jin and Roger, which, you know, they play very sma traditional Smash doubles. Uh, oh, with the back air. Keeping them separated. This is what you want. This is what you want. You want you want Jin and Roger opposite sides of the screen beating up whoever's over the there. The back Toon Link back throw is gonna take out Jin. We now are at last stocks. Yeah, this is very close. This is this is all last stock. This, this is really anybody. This is very. And there we go. There's a dead Toon Link. So now it is it is a one v two, and that is S Banjo, not where you want to be. Yeah, this is very scary. I mean, you only have so many wonderful. Left. This is a very scary. Oh, and you're shielding them. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, they're, yeah, I was gonna they're... say that, that I, I read that air that dodge roll or that air dodge like a mile yeah, away. It is. It is. This, this is a very scary place to be in. I mean, I feel like Wonder Wing is not the move, and you are now out of Wonder Wings. I mean, but it's, it's kind of like a sofa thing where you kind of just want to get rid of them. So you know, we're and not, up air, and there we go. There that we will go. be Jin the and, set. Jin and Roger move on. Jin Tucky rises again. But yeah, I think every, you know, this is a great showcase of, of, of some of Kentucky's best. So I, I I think all four of these players are people that you should look out for. Absolutely. Things. Like, beyond a shadow of a doubt, all four of these players are some of the best that the state has to offer. And watching all four of them play, while well, it, it, it didn't quite seem even, but it's really hard to compare just raw skill in a double setting, especially when you have such misaligned teams i feel like yeah. toon link banjo like yeah you're really good at spacing but doing, all they're just doing very different things they're yeah doing such they're, you're doing a lot of chip damage from a distance and you're hitting like a mac truck up close right so i'm, I'm curious to see how i mean they still have losers as i say we're, we're only in winners quarters we still got the rest of losers to go in through so it's gonna be interesting to see kind of how that plays out and, and see how evan kind of evan crayola and, and, mm. and fair kind of manage and get through stuff but yeah Cool. All right. And with the sound about that. Sounds like we're finishing out our little stint awesome. here in the commentary block as soon as our uh, replacements come in. Yep. Cool. All right. All right. We're going to go to a quick break, and then we're going to go ahead and it looks like we're getting uh, close to start top eight for doubles. Just like that. So, so enjoy the rest of the bracket and uh, stick around for singles. Yeah. Have a good time, everybody. Yeah.
Yeah, very comfortable. They will jab because it is strong. Hello, this is Blue Skies, the official 256 best meat brawler in Kentucky. And I'm here to help commentate with my good pal Primal. Which, go ahead and introduce yourself. For the second time. Of course, of course. It sure is, and the cape is coming out to steal that stock from Apache. But... Yeah, so for those uh, around the Kentucky scene, Vern and Apache, two names you should know very well. Both of them have been putting on insane performances recently. Exactly. H and the third. And honestly, I think they've. This has been coming for a while. In terms of like all the players, they're like the second highest wild win rate. Only behind, uh, worry. <laughs> it really is. Going on to the red team, these players definitely don't need no introduction. That's made it Wizzy. Wizzy, of course, like being an absolute veteran of the game's entire history, always has been a threat with that Mario. And Deathspade, I believe, started off at all. I'm not sure if they played for him. Yeah. But, uh,. Ready, red team, and about, about even percents on both ends. Yeah, Uno, Uno got a down smash there, but um, I believe Wizzy saved, Wizzy saved Despade here. Now, of course, Incineroar. In, in the base game, single, very good character. It doubles, monster. Of Absolutely. Character. Revenge is just an insane tool, as we all know and love. And so we'll just have to see how red team is going to deal with this pressure. Yeah. It's not just it's not just revenge. Side B, the long throw animations, full throw with similar is just a long lasting big tornado hitbox. Neutral B too. You just combo off of everything and kill off of anything. Yeah. Speaking also, of, 48, down throw fair. Yeah, let's uh <laughs> let's listen past that one a little bit. Blue yeah. team with a nice nice lead on them though. Absolutely burnt and Apache taking a nice solid lead right here. But of course, knowing these two, especially the characters they play, Combo Demon, Sora, and Mario, it's never, ever over. Oh, absolutely. If, if Dark Wizzy's here, if he's got that dog in him, Dark Wizzy, Dark I think, Wizzy I think is going to be easy set. Not looking that way so far, though. <laughs> yeah, just uh, often to try and get something going with Down Smash in. Gosh, this is... Okay. How do you? And and in the meantime, while they're fixing some audio okay, there issues, we go. yeah, we're back. Wizzy's already worked some way back, uh, back to a two v one here. This is rough. Got two very annoying characters here. Not to mention their positioning has been just incredible so far. For just sure. Burns held on to this stock too. Let's see. In the right circumstance, Wizzy is at whip percent. Able to get the up smash onto Uno. Black circle block. Yeah, try to read a jump there, but Apache not given. Still a very scary position to be, covering Ooh. on all fronts. Cheeto fingers. Uh, the the have a nice classic. day, sir. Right, and Uno and Apache take game number one for our top eight, correct? Yeah, yeah. this is winner's semis. This is this would be an upset by seeding if they win, too. No, absolutely. I'm pretty sure uh, Decimate and Wizzy are either seed one or seed two for this. One of the two. Uh, I think it's Jin Roger first, though. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Kentucky, Kentucky's fundiesest team.
Even past retirement, you could not stop that team. <laughs> Jinka, the only reason Jin came back was to play doubles, let's be real. Oh, for sure. Ro <laughs> like, Roger said, I need you, come over. Like, get this. Alright, we're going to Kalos. I don't know about this one. This, this stage kind of sucks for Mario. I was about to say, yeah, this is a bad Mario stage. I, you know, I trust, I trust the better players, but, you know. I think part of it is uh, it allows you to play a bit more keep away, especially against Incineroar, because that is obviously just a giant obstacle you have to deal with. Yeah. As for Game & Watch, I don't know, this seems good for Game & Watch, because you have so much room to just throw out your up airs and go for non-committal juggles. Yeah. And you have to go all the way over to the platforms or ledge just to get out of that. I'd say in singles this wouldn't be as good for Game & Watch, but in dubs, like, you can hold down that corner of those platforms yeah, so yeah. much easier. You're at less risk of getting camped out in neutral. But, uh, looks like Apache almost getting the alone whip right there. It's not right. Yeah, Apache's just holding down the center stage. Absolutely. They are the rock. They're together. They're coordinated. Oh, oh I'm gonna drop the barely. stock, though. Really good lead for Red Team. Despe taking the lead. Uh, yeah, going for the revenge there. Not going to come quite yet. Still, Wizzy is a bit of a awkward situation being in the corner all by himself. Yeah, that I think that's going to be the death right there. there. Are we going to get a second edge guard from Burn? Game, game and watch moments. No, absolutely. They gave you watch. That includes every aspect of the game. <laughs> Wizzy just like holding right, hitting A, and it's working. So, sometimes that's all you need for Mario. Just Speak to rack up all that percent. Speaking of Magic, going for the deep dunk, not gonna quite get it though. Let's trap situation. All getting juggled. Suddenly 66% on Wizzy. Very smart to go for the up launcher on the lone whip. Oh, absolutely. It becomes so much better in dubs because you can just follow up on that. Okay. Let's go with the potential edge guard situation, but allowing to pass it off to Apache to seal the deal on the decimated side. This this is an even oh, game. Oh, clutch berry. Saving Apache from certain doom. But, uh, Couldn't save him that. It. Yeah. It's suddenly looking a bit more rough for the Kentucky crew. This desperate to Dark Wizzy to hold this nice little lead. They've got the oh. whip. It's gonna absolutely kill right there. Yeah, that's that's a dead Sora right there. <laughs> that kills at least ten Soras there with revenge. So oh, for was, sure. We got the trades. Trades for days. We've seen blue team work their way back from worse this game, so we can we can see it happen. It's still even. Not, Not exactly. Tell these two are very comfortable with each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, the way that Wizzy and uh, Deathspade combo off of each other is just so clean. Oh, they know what they're doing. Wizzy's Wizzy's been good in dubs too. I'm not. I'm not sure who they've been teaming with like most of the time, but I think it varies. Yeah, I know. I know they tend to just do very well at regionals yeah. and majors and stuff they compete in. Well, scary situation, but luckily to get hit out of the down smash and not very Apache there. But yeah. still, look at these percents. This is both of them are one whip away from dying. Oh, absolutely. Red team has been bleeding, honestly. Oh, up smash Ooh. from Dark Wizzy. Very good. Now it's up to Fern to seal the deal. Again, both of them at kill percent, but still, it's going to be a bit of a task to just uh, oh, absolutely. get against both of these characters. But if there's one character that can make this work, it is Game Watch. Yeah, and honestly, if I were Fern here, I would both get that bucket like they just did, but I'd be oh! very annoying. Ooh. That's a thing? Yeah. <laughs> just just hey, changing the knockback with Flood? That's insane. Just drip or drown. <laughs> drip or drown. Oh, but oh it's last a 1v1 situation. 
One up smash each. Oh, uppies. More uppy. Can't go wrong. Oh, oh, there it is. The big forehead. Lizzy using their noggin to seal that game. Oh yeah, that, that hat's loaded with some lead or something. Yeah, this is a great set so far. Super competitive. I'm glad we're here. Absolutely. And, get, and guess what? It's best of five territory it now. It sure is. We, we're in for the long run here. Now we'll just have to see what the ABG crew has in stock for this next stage pick. ABG stocks kind of going up right now. They are, absolutely. I was they might AB just recruit them after the match. <laughs> mm, I was an ABG doubter at first, but you know, we're, I'm here for it now. And of course, for those who don't know what ABG is, you don't want to know. And we're going to go on after that. It stands for Always Be Gaming. Exactly. There are no other meanings to that acronym. <laughs> no. Gosh, ABG rules the world, it seems. ABG? They're going up. I mean, we got Wilds ABG. We got Danny ABG here. Gosh, yeah. U Uno, number three in the state. Apache, HM. I think, my personal prediction, Apache goes up to... Uh, number ranked this season. It could happen, but it's still early. It definitely is. But uh, enough talking about rankings and yeah, back to the game. Like it's now, super. Even. This definitely is a much better Mario stage. That middle platform is so good for ladders. So mm. it's an interesting thing to take into consideration. As for Ensign, this definitely seems like a very good stage. I don't think Just stages matter that much for Ensign here. Not in dubs. Yeah. Oh, oh. media smash. Also, I've, also, I'll be honest, I don't think I've ever seen a Game & Watch lose on Hall of Bastion. Like, I see Hall of Bastion for Game & Watch, and usually they win. I think it takes two other characters on the opposing team to make Game & Watch lose here. Yeah. <laughs> an airplane to get off of uh, Uno there. And even stocks, of course. Like, it's, just, it's just back and forth. Yeah, one thing one thing I'm noticing that's really good about Uno and Apache, um, their target switching is really good. It like absolutely even, is. Even just back over there when they noticed Sora was recovering, like, um, like Fern just ran back over to support her partner. Like, yeah, though they are absolutely acting like assists right now just tag each other out at the best possible times. Press that right Kandaga. bumper. She yeah, moving surprise boots are so strong. Nice down air from Fern. Yeah, the key of truth. Yeah, we got we got two keyblade wielders here. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Listen, all I'm saying, Game of Watch could beat Sephiroth in the fight. I'm Game & Watch wins the level 1 Sephiroth fight. Listen, Sephiroth will call the Meteor, and then Game & Watch will bucket it. Like, yeah. That's all they'll take. <laughs> Wizzy just narrowly avoiding some pressure there. We'll say this, uh, stage, Ensign though. is trying to be a little bit uh, in a sticky situation. And just so much percent already on this last stock. Might have to take one from Uno. Yeah. Honestly, Apache just needs to live. Use that heavy weight. I mean, Raged Up Incineroar is absolutely a win condition. Oh, what? Oh, the Thundaga. Oh, wow. I yeah. forget how early that kills sometimes. Oh, it, it's so fast when you're by the cloud. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Stock. It is up to Apache to take four stocks. Ensign can do it, but... Absolutely. Oh, oh! can't do that. <laughs> yeah, not, that, not when they're in that position. <laughs> that was clean. Oh, gosh. I felt that. I felt Mario punch <laughs> me. No, for real. Here comes the giant fist. <laughs> the fiery fist-o-pain. 
Yeah, that was that was a statement game, going from even to winning by four stocks. Mm -hmm. You know, it just goes to show the adaptation of these players. It's absolutely mm -hmm. nuts. But of course, Patchy Uno, they aren't out of it just right yet. Yeah, I suppose we should find out if Team ABG can bring this back. The AB team. The AB team. Yeah, just a little bit too far away to get the revenge on the Thundaga. So I like the hit. Not like Sora's ever getting punished for throwing it out. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Gosh, Sora, Sora's a ridiculous character, honestly. There's just no players. Very underexplored. Very much so. So I, I love seeing Despade bust out the Sora, especially for doubles. I know they love Bayonetta, but like, I love seeing the Sora. Oh, absolutely. I'm pretty sure Sora's been their main for the last, at least the last year or two. I think it has been, yeah. They made a switch decently recent. Breaking out the Uppy right there. Still, the percent difference is pretty large. Uh, Apache already at kill percent. Not gonna die. And able living. to make it back. What a recovery. What just ha Oh, they Bird called in the bomb squad. <laughs> I just see everyone getting hit over there, and unfortunately it's Apache that dies. Oh, good berry. Oh, the chair. And it's Uno with the steel chair! <laughs> Oh my gosh, we have the steel chair and we have throwing them against the rope. This is the wrestling team. I, I want to know when the WWE decided to sign Mr. Game & Watch. No, the WWE signed ABG. They made this team happen. I knew Soup was up to something. I, they, they, they were up to the big project and we found out what it was. But <laughs> oh my gosh, this uh, stocks league. <laughs> ABG up to something. Listen, if you ever watch wrestling, there's nothing better than a comeback story. Which we'll have to see if this is uh, going to happen, of course. The amount of pressure these two have put on Uno and Apache has been insane. I mean, to, to the shock of no one, these two are major Midwest forces, like, to the region and to the world. For sure. Back throw almost gets oh the upper. Oh my god! Frame traps. The, their conversions are just so clean. Okay, Apache able to recover just barely right there, but gets the revenge. This could be massive. I can see our next stock coming here. There's a stock is being lost in the next few seconds. Who knows who it's going to be? Okay, still holding on to revenge. Get up, attack, doesn't get rid of it. But ooh, not enough lag on that back throw there to be punished. All right, goes for the key to try and edge guard. But what a hill to climb up. Four stocks once again. Wissy and Spade just showing off their dominance in this format. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. my gosh. Good conversion. They laughed that. They they <laughs> oh, they knew what they were doing. <laughs> they knew 100%. Here comes, the, here comes the five head. Whack. <laughs> Insane set. Great work from Team ABG there. They were cooking. Gosh. The Dark Wizzy and Despate gonna take it. No, that AB it? team was cooking with some pots and pans, but uh, Despate and Wizzy brought the whole kitchen. Honestly, yeah. Kitchen, kitchen nightmares. Gordon Ramsay bust in. Mario the Michelin Man. Absolutely. <laughs> Yes, okay. While we have some downtime, which character do you think will cook the best meal in this game? What? Cook the best meal? Yeah. Well, Game & Watch already has the chef move, mm -hmm. but it's 2D bacon. We don't want holographic meatloaf around here. <laughs> um, let's see. Kirby already confirmed to be able to cook. Absolutely. If he, if he gets the right inhale, like... I mean, if they just inhale Gordon Ramsay, like, uh, they're the best chef in the universe. He just needs Chef Kawasaki. Oh, true. Yeah, he yeah, doesn't have to, have to go out of his world. I mean, you ever wondered what's in a Maximum to maximum Tomato true. to make you heal all of your damage? Yeah, Kirby is a very strong contender for that. Mm -hmm. oh. Uh, 
Other other than that, I'm not sure who is confirmed to have cooking ability. Oh, and just update on the side stream here. I'm pretty sure Quads doesn't have comms, but while we have some downtime, uh, Danny and KO Joe, and then Creola Brain and Fair. I believe this is losers top top eight. I think. I yeah. believe so. Yeah. But Creola Brain Fair, up a game, even socks. I'd love to see another Kentucky win. Absolutely. But also, I lost to Danny and KO Joe in dubs. So, Listen, if they I'm, win, our stocks go up. I'm torn on who to root for. Mm -hmm. On one hand, home state. On the other, they're playing Toon Link and Banjo. And I'm not sure <laughs> if I have that in me. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. Gonna, we're going to be bringing you in for an ad break here. Ooh. Uh, cool. Are we, are, we, are we muted or? Okay. Oh. In, uh, taking a break from Smash, but yeah. even so, coming back and like putting on a show for everyone to watch. I mean, he, he's come back and just won oh the last gosh. couple tournaments he's entered. Like, he's not lost a step. I mean, already 63% on Wilds' his first song is pretty darn good. But, uh, uh oh. This could be an edge guard from Sue. Deathmith's gonna drop it. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's oh, the edge guard on Jin. God. Like also not in a great spot. And yeah, we were just talking up Roger and Jin, but Soup Wilds is probably the second best team we have in the seats. It's definitely getting there. Clean conversion, back throw up smash there from Jin and Roger. Kazuya is crazy with all the invincibility on his moves, and Soup is just a perfect like harasser character. Oh and my a god! <laughs> Let's go bowling! Where's the leak, ma'am? <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, we need a compilation of every bowling ball kill with like a strike victory screen from a bowling alley. <laughs> yeah, the bowling alley screen when you get a strike. You gotta get a conversion here. Toss up. <laughs> All right, but still, a very good. See Lloyd safe there? Yeah. Oh my Insane stuff. Yeah. Villager definitely an annoying character. <laughs> Jin hitting his own, t or Roger hitting his own teammate with the eruption. Villager living the pyra up air, going for the edge guard, but not going to quite get it. Wow, through the balloons. Yeah. Things going slightly unlucky for Jin Roger, but they're still at even stocks. Yeah, no, that, they have evened it up so quickly. That's just the Jin Roger difference. It is. Oh my gosh. Oh, but Roger wins these. Alright, but both the disadvantage and gets the Wild Swordsman. Yeah. And uh, Wild's about to get the next Rage Drive. This is a very scary situation to be in. Yeah, Wild's at kill percent though. Absolutely, but also just all these pelts are the front villager just adding up so much damage. And now it's up to Soup versus uh, Roger. No, this is this is crazy. I can't believe I called that. 
Almost finds the back air. Strong F tilt. This is anyone's game. Pivot grab, gonna catch the landing. Roger's just cooking. Ooh, that's yeah. gonna be it. I told you, Roger wins these. Oh, that's my oh, goat right there. Amazing play. Soup got Lucio. five kills. <laughs> Soup got all of the kills on blue team that game. Four of them were bowling ball. And four of them four of them were bowling ball. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that Villager's a good character. Yeah. Especially in those. Honestly, your doubles, they seem a lot better. Bowling ball is so much scarier when you have two people off stage. Oh my god, yeah. Not not to mention that Team Fundy's here, exploitable recoveries. Absolutely. That's kind of their big we weaknesses. saw that first stock. Yeah. First two stocks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dunk. Nice top tier. However, slick shot, slick shot, yeah. slick shot. <laughs> yeah, villager's good at what I consider to be a great strategy in dubs, and that is be as annoying as possible. If and and Wild starting off was shooting him in the back. With yeah. Laser. <laughs> <laughs> Just a slight miscue there. Also, it's a very good pairing. Because Kazuya controls on stage like no other, and Villager controls off stage like no other. I'm reminded of various like dubs friendlies I've had with um, Krispy Kreme and Pneumatic, where yeah. Chris is like, "You cover the air, I'll cover the ground." <laughs> the Hawk to a combo. The they're Hawk to a combo. <laughs> We may be seeing them later. I'll, I'll need to ask what the tags are for, though. I don't understand Desmond and Benjamin. <laughs> I wonder. They, they were probably lapping out tags before this event, let's be honest. Yeah, in interesting play there. Wilds killing his own teammate. <laughs> oh my god. Rage, that Rage Drive command grab is insane in dubs though. So you're you're not a good teammate if you don't kill your teammate at least once. Oh, been there, done that. A couple times today, Chris. Sometimes you just need the added stakes. Yeah. Soup going for the bowling ball from town and city flat. I like the idea of trying to catch an on stage recovery. Right? Oh, yeah. Back air from Wilds. Ooh, and the up. He's coming in to seal the deal. Wow! Electric went Ike Fist. <laughs> God, I didn't so know I could good. do that. It's a promo bonus. Yeah, but reorder Xenoblade 2 and you could do that too. <laughs> uh, but we got the combo. Oh, throw Arm invincibility! Throw that's a stock. And that's Double a stock! Ball. Oh no! But unfortunately, Soup getting a double strike. It's clear he only needs two more bowling balls though. That is true. Let's be real. Let's see if they can pick up the... Wow, that move did not work. <laughs> what? Oh, Foresight saved them! What's going on? This, this is insane. This is the gem Oh Roger my god, Dev. there it is. <laughs> Goes for an aerial neutral B2, but releases it when he lands, so he gets the grounded strong. That was insane. This, is, right. this is an amazing set. This is. Uh, up B and uh, F smash, I'm still feeling. Gosh. Oh my god. At the at the end, down tilt fair on both players, <laughs> but the foresight <laughs> saves Jin. Okay. Well, as long as uh, Soup can not get a strike on Wilds, I think uh, they'll be in position to win. <laughs> I think I think so. Soup out here. Who wow, do you think you are? Stuff. I am. Super Very switch skins. Very scary to go for that side B off the dome, especially when fighting villager. Oh yeah. Oh what a save! But oh, oh. what a pickup! That's a sock. Two X. quick ones from Sue. The awareness kicking in the max. Yeah. 
air out of it too. Sue putting on quite the show already. On the nair! Oh, catches it. I think every blue team stock has been taken by Soup so far. It's very rare when I say Wilds is getting carried. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Gosh, these edge guards have been so clutch. Like, this is a very tough doubles matchup that uh, Roger and Jin have put themselves into. Yeah. And by put themselves into, I mean winning. Oh my gosh, they're dead. Roger too far away from the stage to make it back. Soup losing his first stock after four blue teams have been taken. That's a pretty good rate. <laughs> his, his KD is insane. I think this might be a go name game. Uh, go go next game for Jin and Roger. Oh, uh, <laughs> they'll try to punish the down beat, but Wilds just drifting away. But still, if anyone can make this comeback, it's Jin and Roger. Absolutely, never doubt. All right, well, no, extra forty percent uh, off that rage strike. Honestly, Soup just harassing Roger this whole game. Absolutely. Jin's That's the last hit stock. Gets a, gets an edge. Oh, oh my God. Roger is not out yet. Two quick ones. This man is fighting. Does he win these? I think okay, he... say what? Okay, okay yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more up cheese and then some pure Ike fundies. Roger could win these. No, that momentum was shifting. It was. I can't, I can't believe it got as close as it was, given how it started. Yeah. But yeah, all aboard the soup train for that game. 2-1 mm -hmm. for Jin Roger right now. Soup, soup and Wild's taking a game. Now, what soups do you think they're going to Oh, back to PS2. I mean, we got, we got the first two on town. We've got the fun stages out of the way for the game, so. So we got custom stages going on on, on the, the quad other stream. Screen. They have a custom stage named Yeet. Very bold to go to custom stages on a stream. You never know what's going to be coming. I have a story I can't tell on stream about that, but very <laughs> true. Oh, we got the train. Ooh, doesn't quite get the bowling ball. Oh, Wild's going to drop. Oh, I thought he died there. Forgot oh, this could be Wild's Tennessee. death, though. Okay, at, not going to get the other card. Jin and Roger keeping stage control now. Good oh. conversion. Very oh. good setup, but Jin dies right after. This is this is an even game so far. Wilds has been landing these command grabs. No rage drive, but they're still so good. I think he still has armor on it. Yeah, no, it's not nearly as... You don't have the event's ability that rage drive has. Audio. Alright, we're back. Cool. <laughs> Small audio issue there. Shoutouts to the streamrunners, by the way. Being goaded. Yeah, thanks again, Brett, immediately. We appreciate it. But, uh, so, yeah. Still, though. Goaded players. Jin gonna catch two there. Super Wild still holding on to a slight advantage right now. But, uh, could be a scary situation to be in. Able to get the back air onto Jin. Up B to continue the edge guard sequence. But the eye could be coming through. Yeah, no, the momentum is shifting here. Oh, the f Ooh! oh! Oh my gosh! Rage drive. So, Tree extended the S Smash hurt box. Oh my! And then he rage drives through it. <laughs> player, player five right now. The tree. <laughs> the, the soup's greatest ally, the tree. Shout out to foliage. What a good bowling ball conversion right after. So much damage. Another, another grab command grab. Not going to get a punish because it's Kazuya. All nice the back, back air is going to take it. Nice back air. Oh, that. Okay, they're still alive. Yeah. 
It's Kazuya. It's Kazuya. <laughs> Wilds has been, Wilds has been putting in. Oh, bully ball! Oh! And dash attack! That we was... have got a set. We've had a set since minute <laughs> one. This is game five. Team, another team ABG. This is the ABG A team here versus Jin and Roger. ABG versus Cavalry. That's what's going on. This, that's true. This is ABG versus Cavalry. The state rivalry. Lex versus. Well, these guys are Owensboro. Cavalry's yeah. Louisville. But for cinematic purposes, we'll say Lex versus Louisville. <laughs> We'll lie I, a little bit. I'm sure. I'm sure Jin and Roger would reject that, but we can. Yeah. We can spin our narrative here. Just make sure they don't watch the VOD after this. Tell them not to mod review. <laughs> yeah. Hey, if Soup, hit, if Soup hits enough bowling balls, they won't want to. Exactly. But still, any team can take this set right now. Absolutely. Soup got the kind of just working combo. Right Gets now. another one for their trouble. And Edgeguard City. This is the worst place to be if you are fighting against ABG Super. Absolutely. Gonna get the Gates of Hell on Jin. It's not a dead Mithra yet. That move is so good at doubles, Gates of Hell. Oh, absolutely. The angle it sends at is disgusting in every mode, too. It also gives you so much time to set up as your teammates. Oh, yeah. Oh! Oh! oh. The throw is gonna touch him. Nice, nice dash attack from Rogers. Oh my god. It is so even. Rage Another drive. Get it oh, to both! Oh. oh my gosh. He pulled that one out of somewhere. <laughs> Listen, if there's a will, there's a way, and Wilds will find that way. And Kazuya has every tool to do it, because he's <laughs> Kazuya. Mr. Mishima is in the house. Absolutely. Welcome to the Mishima Zaibatsu now. Oh, Gates of Hell. It's the edge card? Yes. Oh my goodness. The soup taking a massive lead with that. Team Fundy's getting cheesed here, and it's not stopping. Triple oh, we got the trade. Air. That could be the stock for Jin. Not quite. Good recovery from Jin. Covering against Villager is just such a Herculean task as this character, honestly. Yeah, it's a one stock deficit now, so far. Soup gonna oh, find the back here. Grab instead of the air. Would be paying for it dearly. The up air is coming out, not gonna quite kill though. Oh, good grab from Soup. Lloyd catching the recovery. While it's finding it, but not oh getting the gosh. kill. The edge guard is still up, going. Though. Does it ever stop? Roger hanging on by a thread. Any hit will kill them. Able to get the dash attack onto Wilds though. But still, a fully rage up Ike. Very, very scary to deal with. Down, Down air. Gonna take the stop. And parry the, the back air on Jim Shield. Oh, he's going to get tickled by that last hit there and die for it. All goes for the down air. This is a raged up Kaioken times 10 Kazuya versus Villager. Versus the Gibbitational Jin, the one and only. Versus, oh, yeah. That's a good way to start it. Don't forget, we're the in Tucky. Soup changing teams. Just to give them a little bit of a chance. So nice of Soup to do that. Oh, yeah, gotta get out of there. Gets the pack. Oh my gosh! On air! It's Kazuya. That was all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Gets oh. the triple at the end. What a set. Reverse 3 0 from wow. Team ABG here. Welcome to Turn of Town. That rage drive. Oh that sealed God. the game there. <laughs> that. That set the tone for that whole game, and they just kept it going. Jim uh, and Roger were playing good, too. Of all things, why did they give it an impact hitbox? <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be a thing, too. Like, Bowser Side B does it, Kazi has got to have it. See, I, I mean, yeah. Gosh. 
Ooh. We're bringing it back to the B team here. Apache Uno versus Fair Creola Brain. This is going to be fun. Got game. Oh my game god, look at the in. stream. Quad, we got four Steves on quad stream right now. <laughs> they are all and mine. Lies. <laughs> here. Yes, we're getting we're getting a selfie here on the. Oh. All right, hold on. You might need to hold it. Here. Here. I think that's I think that's good. Oh. Are we good? Okay. Can you hear yourself? Okay. 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 <laughs> I was paranoid. Team yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, listen, I'll use the Steve quads. All right, we're gonna go ahead and transition into an ad break. We'll see you all very shortly for Fair Crayola. Well, there we go. This is so much fun, dude. Why, why are we here already? It's a free for all. Oh, oh, this is a free for all. It's not bubbles. It's not yours. <laughs> it's a Steve for all. It's friend versus lies. <laughs> you see the names up there? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three. We are back. Anti zoners, honestly. Listen, both of their down specials are very good for dealing with projectiles. Great recovery, Apache. Absolutely. Yeah, two great characters to annoy people with. Especially if we're getting the Huntu Paya! Which is, uh, for those who don't know, Crayola Brain's Alter Ego, where he enters a tournament, picks Link or Toon Link, and goes, Haya! <laughs> Yeah, if we, if so if we hear a hut or Haya getting picked up on our mics, we know why. But, uh, all right, we are out of wing juice. Absolutely. Technically three, if you get bored. Exactly. And also we have double bombs, like, uh, for Team Fair Crayola. Also, I just noticed their tags. Level 50 boss at the floor. <laughs> that is. I will say, all of these bombs are just such good fodder for Burnt's bucket. Already charged up. Yeah. Alright, we got the whip. Still, Burn Apache holding a steady lead so far, but still. Especially fair play, but both of these players, honestly, are known for making some crazy comebacks. Yeah, yeah. Got the game and watch pressure on this ledge. Able to escape it though. Oh, the Wonder Wing. But able to get Fanto right after. Aids. 
Listen, we got a falcon punch earlier. I hope we get a judge. Projectile play coming out from the Banjo, but still. Man. We have not seen many Wonder Whips in a little bit. Alright, we got the whip. Alright, there's our answer. Two wings remain. So, able to bury Apache, but still. But the makes it a little frustrating, but you're able to get out of there. What, the Beaver? Oh my gosh! Udo killed themselves! And now it's up to fair play to fiend off against Apache. The whip is going to miss. Oh, that was a punish! And that's it! That has been silence. The TOs don't want you to know about the Ganon free-for-all. This is suppression. This is a violation of our First Amendment rights. Absolutely. All right, we gotta get to this game too. Go into town and city. Absolutely. Oh, already 70% on this first Uno stock. Still going. Able to catch with a Nair for the edge guard reversal situation. Yeah. It's it's quite fair play, honestly. <laughs> Coming out. Ooh. Oh my gosh, able to hit her with the back throw. Alright, we get the falls out of the jab. That's gonna be a stock. No, not quite. Still pre pretty even, all things considered. All right, Insane goes down, and the bear is still alive. They are. We have a lot of fat animals on this stream. Oh my gosh, what a whip. <laughs> it hit everyone. <laughs> a bomb to get out of the throw, but able to <laughs> get grabbed again. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. Trying to go for a whip off of ledge, but still not going to quite take it. Able to get Triola off of Ferns. Got the whip, able to finally kill a real brute. Wink at a hit. It makes it harder to punish when you hit both shields. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of a tempo shift for sure. But of course, we did see something similar last game. Oh, speaking of which, another back throw. Another back throw, kinda. <laughs> oh, another whip. Oh, I like the attempt to try and hit them with the uh, sour spot. And actually able to make it back. Hitting. Fair play, seeking out the kill, able to 
speed out Wondering before it goes off. Larian coming out in clutch. All right, a bit different situation. Fair play does not have any wings left, but still, even percents, even stocks, it is a last hit situation. And there it is. No, it's fair play. <laughs> I'm glad we can still hear the gahas. Oh. Full game? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Try now. Testing, testing, testing. Okay, I now have. Oh, oh my no. god. <laughs> I I just realized I've been muted that whole game, probably this whole set. So I've sounded crazy whoops. this entire time. Blue Sky is talking to the voices in their head. <laughs> but hey, we're back. Here to here to finish this set out. Oh, if it uh if it goes the way it's been going. Alright, that one was not on production by the way. That one was on that me. One, I think I have it accidentally. I balked the cable, I think. And it's just unplugged, so whoopsie. I was little brothering for a sec. That's alright. Here, play with this one. It's plugged in, I swear. Yeah, no, that, I can hear you now through mine. So yeah, now, well, I noticed I wasn't hearing myself. <laughs> Team ABG off to a great start so far, though. Creolibrain gonna drop an early stock. Yeah, but of course, we've we've seen how these early ABG leads go so far. Oh yeah. Oh, the poke. Insin. Great, great lead, but not so much into this team comp. Right, the Pancho is still alive. It's just by a thread, but still try to get as much Wonder Wing value as possible. Do you think Insin procs Intimidate every time he loses a stock? And comes in from the Angel Plat? Or is it only once a game? Oh, that's a great question. We'll have to see uh, after Apache loses another stock to see how different it is. Oh, could be coming soon. Just 200%! Oh my gosh. Banjo, why why is he thick? Why is he living so bad? <laughs> not, not even gonna die there. Oh my god. Alright, finally. The god, the god has been hugged. <laughs> Three stocks apiece for each team here. And it's like no matter how much work like Uno and Apache put in, Bear Play is just living. Just taking through absolutely everything. Absolutely. In Instant gonna take a bomb fair there. Ooh, able to get the back here. Damage is starting to rack up a bit. Something to note, of course, Grail on their last stop. But still, Fair Play has just been living absolutely everything that they can just take one from Fair. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, what a reversal! Die there. And they live! Save! What a save by Fair Play! This is this is Mr. Gaming Watch though. Mr. I game you watch. This is gonna be tough. The volley of bobs is just so much to deal with. Got another chuckle situation oh. and the Wonder Wing gonna catch a landing. 3-0 for Fair and Crayola. Wow. Actually insane set. Fair play, uh, I think MVP that set. Yeah. He was living, he was clutching out the 1v1s. Man was- Doing everything they needed. Mm -hmm. Small small update, Goldstone Psycon versus Jin Roger for the other side of Loser's Fifths. Oh, that's sick to see. It's, la it's last stop, oh, well. Jin and Roger taking it, it though. Team, team fundies. Ro All right. so Robert, I love you. Robert repose, waving hi to us from the, Wait, from the audience. There they are. 
All right, we got the ABG Chan. Let's see if Kentucky could get the revenge on Wizzy and Death Spade. Yeah, we got. Um, this is this is Soup Wilds Wizzy Death Spade. I'm I'm excited for this one. Absolutely. I want to. I, I like how like gradually the rest of the world has been learning about Soup. <laughs> like, it all started when HBox raided the DGT stream that one time, or like restreamed Where it. Where Wilds got his first win on Hollow Bastion. Yeah. And then now we got like national class players here. <laughs> Wizzy and Death Spade gonna learn what Soup's all about here. Yeah, the Wizzy and Death Spade, national uh, world players. It's I mean, they're universal. good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, this, the soup exposure to the greater Smash scene has been slow, but effective. Very. <laughs> the soup the soup expansion. <laughs> uh, they just got a bigger pot. <laughs> a absolutely. We'll see how many bowling balls he hits this game. <laughs> I will say, the two characters they have been playing, not really exploitable recoveries. Mario more so than Sora. Definitely. But... It could go. I mean, Soup will find a way. Uh, if there's a way to edge guard you, they will find it. Yeah, Soup. Soup knows it already. Sora is a level one crook. <laughs> Everyone's getting up there, getting their tags in. Wizzy and Death Spade communing in secret, discussing their game plan of how to deal with Soup Villager. Yeah. And Soup picking a skin here. Going for the class. Still don't know about Benjamin and Desmond. <laughs> I, I'll have to ask. I really wonder what the lore is behind that. <laughs> All I think of is like maybe a Smiling Friends reference. Smiling Friends? Yeah, maybe. Desmond's a character. That I can, can like. Let me see. I'm gonna look up uh, Benjamin like and Desmond and see if this is like a thing. Or maybe Desmond they just Benjamin? Think two random names. This is a person? Desmond Benjamin is a. Like some, some sort of online person, some sort of. <laughs> influencer. <laughs> I have no clue though. <laughs> That's just the first thing that comes up is just YouTube recommendations. Maybe we'll put some on stream later. Uh oh! <laughs> Pro <laughs> controller! Disconnect! Or you're banned! Okay, so there was a tournament where uh, I believe it was Vito fought against Chase. Yeah. And during it, they, they were about to get comboed, and then a pro controller connected and x out of Smash. <laughs> Send the assist! <laughs> oh my god. Despade opening right up with Sora combos. And of course, as we saw earlier, Despade and Wizzy just showing off their clean combo skills and following off with each other. Their awareness in double was just insane. They said, take this. <laughs> Wild's already at rage drive percent. Who knows, we might get a double rage drive again. I mean, Ooh. I wouldn't count it out. But gosh, this edge guard sequence has gone from across the stage. And Wild's been knocked out of that percent. Wizzy gonna drop the stock though. Able to make it back. How does Wild live after all of that? This is the Kazia diff. Kazia, Finds yeah. the combo. Oh, she Tree! Wow! Kills both of them. All right, and we got an even game. The slingshot. Oh lord, he's coming. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Despite gonna find their way back on stage, but now now Mario's getting edge guarded. Parries, but goes past Sora to get the. Yeah, they're just trading stage oh, wow. control here. Despite gonna drop their second stock. Two fresh ones on Soup and Wild. Ooh. Oh, the F smash! That that just straight up killed almost. Yeah, no, that is one thing to consider. Yeah. 
Soup doesn't really have bowling ball versus Mario. In most circumstances, I should say. He has everything else, though. He does, he does. Wild's actually cleaning Good up. Hiccups. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That was, that was so goaded. That was sick. <laughs> that was just Despade versus the the mean team ABG. Bowling oh! ball! Able to live though. I'm oh, going for the very nice awareness by Wild, sir. Oh yeah. Yeah, the thing is with Sora is your combos last so long. Like, how do you safely keep advantage state? That's a very good point. You need to keep the brief. Especially a 2v1 situation. Wow. Yeah, that'll do it. That was just a, s a scary trap. Yeah, like what, do you, like, what do you do against these characters? You either tech, you tech up air and then die to Lloyd. Yeah. Or you die to up air. Oh my, yeah. Like, Soup and Wilds, clearly, they have these situations, like, figured out. Like, they yeah. have to... They have to have done like plenty of labbing. Villager is the Kazuya of offstage interactions. You know, if you if you put it that way, I'm kind of obliged to agree with you. Yeah. I mean, any literally any chance they get, they take it. Ufko saying hi. Ufko. Here, do you want to... Oh. <laughs> I didn't go to bed till 6 a.m. We love to hear it. Healthy sleep schedules. We have an official UKY eSport. It's DGT announcement. Ufko is EP. <laughs> I mean, for all the excitement we're having today, I understand not being able to get to sleep in time. Oh yeah, ain't no one asleep here, especially with this going on. Weird, weird how we can say that about oh, Villager. Hoops. Yeah, Wilds and Soup kind of getting cooked for this first stock. It's still All going. Soup stuff. gonna drop it. Still not high enough to recover after the air hog. Very unfortunate. Yeah. And Wilds hasn't been getting much use out of these rage drives. He's just been dying or getting knocked out. Like the damage threshold. Yeah. Of course, we were going to see the adaptation from Wizzy and Spade. And so I think this is full force what we're about to see. Oh, yeah. Up smash going to hit, though. Underrated move, honestly. I It never looks like it should be as strong as it is. Yeah. And you could combo it off of it, too, at low percents. Oh, yeah. Yeah, now, now it's on Wizzy to live here. A command grab from Benjamin. Coming out. <laughs> All right, just try to catch a landing on the Mario, but grabs, grabs his own teammate. Say, come here, come here, boy. You listen to me. You listen need to, to get in there. Did you put your name in the goblet? Oh, of falling ball. I wonder if they could hear the robot. Yeah, I, I hope Stream can't hear what we were hearing for a sec. Yeah. Oh! Alright. Oh, we got the 40% on deck for Death Spade. Yeah. The, the lead has shifted so much in that last little, like, audio issue. Oh. Oh, there, there, Uppy. Bringing it right back, though. Two stock or three stocks to two. Excellent adaptation on Lucy and Spade's part. But still, they they have to get through a whole nother raid drive and a whole other edge guard sequence. Absolutely. Wizzy picking up a combo there, but not not gonna finish it. Scary situation to be in, but able to recover thanks to Wizzy's help. They're gonna push them away just barely. Wild rage, rage drive. drive. Is There's a Sora and kill percent there. There's a Mario oh. at kill percent too. Oh, did he get oh. hit out of it? I don't think he would have died up. Yeah. So, Rage Drive being gone is huge for this team. 
Yeah. Not that Kazuya always needs it. He is still Kazuya. No, but, Ooh. uh... Still. One little X factor removed. Yeah. If Wizzy drops the stock, oh, never mind. Wilds is gonna drop. It's Villager in a 2v1. Oh, that's ooh, not gonna be setting up for a forward throw kill. Grabs the lightning. Zeus. Able to escape that situation. I don't believe that he did that. He's slippery. He's soup. He's liquid. That's it, though. Yeah. Damn. That, that down air. So good. It is, it is. Red team showing some great adaptation there. They were actually picking up their kills. Deathspade especially, like, killing it on these, like, finds here. Yeah. Also, riddle me this, Primal. Why can Mario do a rising down air and then get another aerial out afterwards? <laughs> I mean, it's... It's like a relic. It's a relic from what that move is based off of, like the <laughs> the tornado. He doesn't literally rise during it, but yeah, I don't know. It sort of makes sense that he'd have the frames for that. Still, all right. Crazy we got the character. sparring match of uh, Sidekon and Goldstone. <laughs> <laughs> welcome back. Welcome back to a mid-set update on the other stream. Goldstone Sidekon. I'm not sure if he started singles yet. I don't think so. I think they're still delaying it slightly. Yeah. I don't play till wave B anyway, so... Yeah. That'd be a 3 o'clock start for me. I might have to play one of these players up here. Dark Wizzy seated in my bracket path. I have a wave B, so I'll probably have to play some. Yeah. No, best of luck to you, my friend. Yeah, you too. You too. I'm, I'm taking notes on Dark Wizzy here. <laughs> Alright, the edge guard. Raw F smash from Wizzy, just working. They are out of the sword. Yeah, this is like same as Ooh. same as the other game. Green team going down a little bit at first, but never out of it. Wild Especially with the command right. grab. Also, I have been talking Perry's boat. Oh my god! <laughs> Harry God! Harry puddles twice! Damn. Kazuya just grabs his teammate and gets F smashed for it. And Soup able to oh, make it get still saved. alive! No, no. Wild's teammate of the century for that one, though. Well, we say that after they held some gate, or gates of help him. Yeah. Parries from Blizzy. Been insane. Oh my gosh. No, <laughs> when, when your frame data is as good as Mario's, like, parries become so much more valuable. Absolutely. Wizzy expecting the, um, like, the strong hit of the final Nair there. Not really gonna get it. Alright, getting the turn up RNG. Alright, it's even stocks. And like, uh, I have talked about Soup's edgeguarding skills, but I gotta give it up to Wilds. Wilds has been putting out some great edgeguards today. Yeah, no, it turns out when the characters are a little harder to edgeguard, Wilds starts actually putting in his work. Absolutely. Right, Not he has a little up air tag, but still, Soup in a bit of a precarious situation on this platform. It looks like Wilds there for the command grab tried to drag, um, tried to drag them back for the kill. Would have been a good shock trade. Oh, boy, but, ooh! <laughs> Deflex Villager themselves. Wow. Yeah, both Despade and Wizzy surviving and getting the kill there. Oh, right up, Bully Ball. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. <laughs> oh, we got another. They are finding the leak, fam. <laughs> Finland! Alright, we got the electric. Still not gonna get much off of it with Wizzy right on the side. But still, a lot closer than what this has been before. No, actually. This is a hot set. Finds the up smash, up smash on Wizzy. 2v1 now. Sora's with Rage Drive. Yeah. Sora's DLC. No! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my god. Gavitator's <laughs> curse. 
And still hitting soup. Change teams. Oh. Yeah, so we're just gonna go under the stage there. He has so much free time. I mean, why not? You might as well stall for a bit. Right. Now Sora's DLC. Oh! Catch them both! Oh! No! They're alive! Oh my gosh, it is up to Wild to clutch this out. Gets the dare, falls out! That's it! Oh. No! Air dodge right out on the ledge. This is very scary though for Deathspade. One hit away either way. I can't Be careful believe that Careful Down air, not gonna get it! There, there, oh. up air! Clutch spade. Oh gosh. What did we just watch? Holy moly. <laughs> I, s I swear, if that near, if that near near up air on both of them had gotten the kill <laughs> on both, that'd be like clip of the tournament so far. Oh my god! Apart from all the double, double bowling balls. Yeah, Rage Drive continues to set the pace of this. I mean, in one, one way the, or another, one of these characters is clearly far ahead on the tier list, <laughs> and it's Kazuya Mishima. Oh, I thought it was Villager. Thank you for correcting that for me. In another life. Yeah. Alright, we got the noobs started on the Mishima. Yeah. And already up to 60%. Wiz Wizzy, like, keeping the teammate away just so, just so Despi can get their noobs. Oh, bowling the ball. Bowling nice ball. catch. Just in neutral. Ooh, and only Villager died. Mario might... No. It's oh! And then dies. Where did they come from? No, it was like... It was like a follow-up off of the, um... The up air from Death Spade. <laughs> Even stocks. Soup Oh my gosh. It. Able to get out of the Blizzaga too. Wiles is still kicking. Yeah, Wilds needs to keep this going. He needs to find a rage drive too. Yeah, just to get some value off of it. Can he get it here before he dies? Or gets knocked out of the Oh, there it is. Alright, side so B just gotta knock him away for a little bit. Fandanka able to catch Wilds. How did he live that? <laughs> okay, not gonna live those, but. He is so heavy. Oh my god. Soup oh. gonna die too. Complete momentum shift here. Rapid jabs, doesn't find the back air. Also, something to note. Auto turnaround is not a thing for this character right now. That's that's correct. So wow, what timing. <laughs> Wild's trumped while Soup lay the ball and fall down. That's that's insane play. Wild has Wild has rage drive now. No, this he, could be the comeback that they could need. A couple more percent and he can pick this up. Oh my gosh! Oh my no! God. No! They took the wild stock! Not looking good for our heroes. No, I can't blame Soup for making that decision, but oh. this is this is looking tough. I'd be uh, very happy if Soup could do it, but it's a mountain to call. Okay, trying to go for Dare on the last bit of the ledge hang. Oh yeah, it's not over. Never over, but we could be seeing Despade Wizzy in Winterside Grands here. It is looking like it. Especially when Eli cannot get off this ledge. Good oh, recovery route, out there. but able to catch it down there. Probably the better option there. Yeah, Ooh. that's going to be it. The Tims, the big feet. The crazy set. That's Despade Ooh, Wizzy in Winterside Grants here. That's that's exciting. The out of state invaders here, like picking it picking it up. Absolutely. It's, I think it's all Kentucky and losers still. It's yeah. Like Jim I'm Rogers, sure Soup Wilds, um, Bear Crayola, I think. I don't I don't know I don't know where we are in bracket, but 
I'm pretty sh I'm pretty sure it's all Kentucky like still in losers here. That's exciting. Yeah, yeah, it's Jin Roger uh, and then Crayola Crayola Fair and loser semis and then winner of that plays Soup Wilds. Dang, wow. Can This is this is now a narrative here. Can oh. Kentucky. What's up? All right, uh, I need to get a TO real quick. Yeah. Anyway, how's it going, chat? I have, I don't have you guys pulled up yet, but let me let me pull up the stream here. Boo -doo -doo -doo. Making sure he doesn't get DQ'd from singles, which may be starting soon, but I'm really not sure if they're going to delay it or not with... I don't know. Dubs is pretty far progressed. Uh, sort, of, sort of just talking to myself here, figuring things out. But shoutouts to all the people who can't be here right now. But who are in chat? Eggs, Deforni memes. I see you. Blue sky's coming back. Hopefully with the affirmative that he's not getting DQ'd. I am not getting DQ'd. Yeah! I will have to walk off the of comms for now. What's up? I have to walk off the of comms for now. Hey, no worries. We'll pick. We'll pick it up for a bit. Yeah. I got you. Jin Roger Crayola Brain Fair here. Team Bundy's versus Team versus Team Spammy. <laughs> trying to make that trying to make that one work. Crayola, Crayola Brain getting grabbed there. F smash. Jin, Jin and Roger showing their showing years of practice comms. Ooh, is the mage hopping on? Absolutely. You heard her. You heard her earlier, but the mage is back. Hello and again. We'll be back later too. I'm pretty yeah, sure. I was say, I'm commentating a lot of this tournament, but a for monopoly now, here. We, yeah, we got the level one crook and the level fifty boss in loser semis. Trying to show Owensboro how mafia works. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna. It's gonna. It, it's fated to be Owensboro grands. It's fated to be always Owensboro grands. <laughs> we love Owensboro grands. But oh, I don't absolutely. know. They're losers in semifinals, so it could go either way. And I, actually, I'm pretty sure we saw this. No, we saw. Yeah, we saw this set earlier in the bracket, and uh, I touched on this then. But this is very much old school Kentucky Smash versus new school. Oh, for Jin sure. Jin and Roger are like you know Long pillars time. of the scene and have been yeah. top players forever. Smash well, Four PR. Exactly. Well, Crayola Brain and Fair Play are much newer, but are just as good. Yeah, and so it's it's good, it, and they're also significantly younger, but it's interesting just to see how the meta has evolved and how Kentucky has grown. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> like, not not necessarily kids, but co college students, such yeah, incoming yeah. college student versus the grown men. Which actually, it I, it's so funny to me that Roger's younger than me. Yeah. Like by how a old couple is Roger. Years. He's like 23. 23? Oh. See, I'm, tw I'm 24. I'm pretty I'm 28. I thought he was older than me. <laughs> Fair. Fun fact, uh, me and Mitch are, me and Mitch are like literally a week apart. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's really cool actually. <laughs> I think he's like a week older than me. Yeah. But anyway, Jin and there Robert goes Ike off going. the top and Star KO into the screen. Ooh, oh, not God. quite going to die on that one. <laughs> to is stopping friendlies for the startup for the stop uh start of pools start sounds like, pools. Sounds like we're getting singles on the way i'm way b soon. i'm good and that's oh. gonna take the game one what a find there from Jin, just hanging out out there yeah Jin and roger haven't lost Goated a step team. go to team every every setup that one character does the other is just ready to follow up on it i mean they've always I'm pretty sure anytime there's a doubles bracket, if if both of them are in attendance, they, they always team. team together. They're static. So they know how each other plays. I mean, uh, if anything, I've seen so much is 
a lot of if Roger gets a grab, then Jin's charging up smash. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. They know they know their cues. They know when to send to their mm -hmm. teammate. They, and they know how to bounce off of each other and how to how to play together. And I think that's mo the most important thing about doubles is not just being a good player, but knowing your teammate. Being a good teammate for mm -hmm. sure. And that's what happens when you know someone for so long. Like exactly. Jin and Roger have been, been competing together forever. Oh now. god, that F smash was would have ended someone's <laughs> career. I saw that. Sending nuclear bomb. <laughs> Tactical nuke inbound. Not quite gonna kill Toon Link off the top. Oh, that one that, will though. That was an Ike combo with two characters. Love to see it. Although I do think it's uh, it's unfair that it's essentially like you know there's three different characters on one of these teams. Two of them are Ike. <laughs> yeah, facts. <laughs> You've got two Ikes and a Sheik with a Sheik with a sword. Correction. Pretty much. Roger just going for these F smashes. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do? Yeah, you're not gonna be punished as hard. That's, that's what I was doing in dubs. I was just sending them. Yeah, just hitting buttons. Yeah. And that's gonna kill though. Ooh. One thing, one thing I notice in um, Fair Creole's other sets is that Fair is the tank here. He's the juggernaut. Oh yeah, Fair play. I mean, Banjo. Banjo's heavy. Yeah. Toon Link is. The, mm -hmm. the tank is a twink. Yeah. <laughs> no, not not tink. <laughs> not tink. This is this is This is crazy play though. I mean, Fair's still hanging on. More like unfair play. Testing, 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 testing. Okay, I can now hear myself. I think we're good now. But yeah, it's it. Roger wins these sometimes, but he's not going to pick that one up. I mean, forward air from. Oh, you have it off? Hey, thank you for the quick game of commentary. Absolutely. Bring it, bring it back to just me, just your boy Primal now. This is this is loser semis that chill out too. Drippeth or drowneth. One Ojin Roger. So far we've seen some really good play from both teams. Jin and Roger, like they've got their stuff. They're good teammates. They know what they're doing. Fair, fair play Creola brain though, like absolutely killing it. Fair play just living way too long. Ooh, did I just hear a battery notification? All right. But we're, bring, but we're bringing it to town and city here. <laughs> Please change battery. This, this is a great stage for Pyra and Mithra and for Ike, but it's not too bad. Def, definitely not too bad for Banjo or, um, or Toon Link. I think they just have a lot more room on the ground to run around. Something that matters a lot less in dubs, but it is still it's still a thing. Ooh, speaking of things. Fairplay gonna hit that wonder that wonder wall. I can't believe Jin made that back. That was the edge of the magnet hands on that. Roger finds the up air. Jin looking for something too. Gonna find it. Good two stock lead so far. Jin and Roger are here. They mean business. They know how Mafia works. Yeah, and Roger not going to be picked up here.
think it's the radio here, Magic. Maybe. <laughs> there is a, um... Yeah, there's a radio on, on, the, um, on the stream table here, just yelling at us to change its battery. I think it's going to be smashed in the parking lot, honestly, though. Speaking of, speaking of people getting smashed right now, um, Creole Raider and Fair are on their last stocks. Jin and Roger on a pretty clean looking two. Oh, Jin finds the down air, finds another. Three in a row, sir. A third down air has hit the banjo. Oh my god. Crazy. Crazy play from Jin. This is the power of the Aegis right now. Jin picking up four of those kills. It's 1-1 now. Bringing it to 1-1, even game. This is a hot set. I. It's always hot when Jin and Roger are there, but, you know, just in case we were wondering. Hot set. Just bring it, just bringing it back. I think I, I didn't see the stage pick. I think it was PS2. I was kind of locked in on something else for a sec, but we're gonna bring it. We're gonna be bringing it back here. Oh, Smashville! I, I think this is a good stage for good stage for Banjo Tank, but can't can't ever count it out. The high ceilings probably gonna benefit um, like Banjo um, Banjo Tank more, but. You know, Roger and Jin both, no stranger to those like horizontal kills that are really easy to find on Smashville. Jin with the side B, gonna get punished. Can't believe that hit no one. Maybe that move's not as good as we thought. Still, great recoveries, not gonna find it. Jin gonna lose his stock though. Yeah, this is this is a tenuous game so far. Both both Creole Brain and Fair can lose their stocks right now, but they, I mean it's not looking likely right now. Roger just needs to hold on. Toon Link gonna catch a stray there. Ike Ike up it is hilarious in this in this mode, just because it hits everyone. That armor on it's insane. And you know, as I as I speak, Jin and Roger back in the lead. Roger finding these crabs. Ooh, fair going for it all. Roger just switching his drift up. Yeah, Jin and Roger still playing amazing. You can't punish that F smash. Mithra Mithra Tash attack coming cross stage here. Roger gonna lose his first stock. Yeah, no, this is, this is insane gameplay so far. Looking really solid, really solid from Jin and Roger. Although Jin, Jin looking a little, uh, a little fragile on that stock there. Toon Link, Toon Link, uh, Toon Link Uppy also being way too active. I think fair play needs to be the target here. This is this bear is uh this bear is limping way too long. Toon Link not looking too far off though. Oh back air! What a find. Roger was ready for it. I know I wouldn't have been. Yeah, this bear needs to go now. There there it is. Roger understands the assignment. Oh, and the suicide up B. Just gonna clean it up there. Absolutely insane play from Jin and Roger. They had the momentum from the beginning. They were killing it. I wonder I wonder what the adaptations we're gonna need to see from Fair Creole here are. Like this is this is not looking good for them so far. Up, perhaps? Maybe maybe fair is just maybe fair is just grabbing something or running the rest or something. Oh. No, that was Oh, that was set. Okay.
but hey, it looks like Jin and Roger are making their losers run here after their after their like upset loss. Also, a uh, hi self, hi me, hello handsome. <laughs> I've got I've got stream pulled up on my phone here. Um, but Jin and Roger getting the run back against Soup and Wilds here. Winner of this guaranteed Kentucky finish against the. I guess out of state invaders, Dark Wizzy and Death Spade took a close winner's final set. This I wonder how many bowling balls we're gonna see, because this is gonna be basic this is basically gonna be the soup show, and then can Wilds can Wilds hang on, not die. And then Jin and Roger, they just need to be Jin and Roger a little more for a bit. I think I think if they can keep that going, I think it's gonna be a pretty easy set. A uh, pretty easy set for them, but it really does just depend on them. Um, that said, like we got, we got a hot set coming up. Got to get those names updated for a sec. All right, we're we're bringing it right in. Jin Roger, Soup Wilds, Cavalry, ABG, Team, Team Owensboro versus Team Lexington. This is, all, this is also a battle like Jin Wilds of Kentucky Legends. Jin being number one in the state for most of Kentucky, most of the lifespan of this game so far, and then Wilds being the current. Jin obviously not ranked right now because of inactivity, but he's come back strong, and I have my full faith in him being ranked again if he's if he's like back to being active and committed. But so far, not looking good for her Soup Wilds. Almost gonna drop that stock. Kazuya Mishima, too thick. And it's Roger who's gonna die it instead. Wow. Oh, and Jin's already dropping two stocks there. How, did, how does this happen? Yeah, what went from not looking great to being like a complete wash in favor of Soup and Wilds. And Soup's just gonna hang out back there. Gets the command grab, hops back. Ooh, gonna find the Alondite, the dash attack there. Another dash attack. That move's paying the bills. They're bringing this back so far. It's it's a momentum shift for sure, but it's not like you know, no, no fat ladies sung yet. I think we're good. Bowling ball. Yeah, no, Jin and Jin and Roger just need to not get cheese. But as I say that, the gates of hell and the tech roll in coverage. Great play from Soup and Wilds. They have their setups down too. I know I. I know I gassed Jin and Roger up a lot for how quick their setups are, but Soup and Wilds, they've labbed for sure. Alright, as we're getting those audio, <laughs> Soup's KD is insane. He is getting all of those kills. <laughs> this is this is exciting so far. Soup Wilds catching that dub. I mean it was it was like Jin Roger game one for their first set and then Further onwards, it was like the Soup Wild show. They were like they were picking it up, but uh, Soup actually Soup is actually insane in dubs, and I guess against this matchup and like in particular, both these characters with super exploitable recoveries, he's getting like he's getting his work in. He's get he's getting his stats up.
in in game two. I didn't see the stage pick. I am not paying attention. Kalos. Kazuya on Kalos? We're letting this happen? Still, I mean, this is this is looking like the Kazuya on Kalos show. This is how this is happening. Roger and Jin not looking too bad though. Jin could get a reversal there, but he's not going to find it. Super great delay on the recovery. Ro Roger's fighting though. Lots of percent here. Oh, and he catches the axe to the face. Villager absolutely deranged. Karma about to bite Villager in the face though. Back air still living. I mean, that's the Kalos pick biting Jin and Roger. Not gonna find a kill that would have happened on any other stage. Roger miscue on the up B. Gonna, gonna catch a landing fair though. Jin's off stage. He's gonna die for it. Roger hits both of them and Kazuya lives because he's Kazuya. Up B gonna catch that first stock though. Things not looking great for Jin Roger so far though. Finds the rage drive. Like, even even if even if Wilds doesn't get the kill on that, it does like 40 damage because it's Kazuya. Like it's such a good it's such a good tool in this matchup. And and it hits on like the landing. It's so good. As long as he is able to get those off, it is like great value. I'm gonna find that up air. Rare to see that kill. I can I can die slowly off the top. Jin and Roger down a stock. Soup could lose a stock here, but it's not like it's not looking likely. Soup's been playing very evasive. And like I've said, like I've said before, if you're able to be annoying in dubs especially, like you can make a whole team team's like game plan fall apart. And that's what's that's what's happening with Soup and the rest of this team. Gonna find, gonna find that kill though. Jin spamming down airs, and it works, but no kill. Pirate, Pyra. Not gonna find the kill. Actually, never mind. Finds it. Commentator's curse. Back to last stock. If Soup, if Soup can drop a stock, like this is. This is the Jin and Roger show. This could happen. Sue almost dying, living. Kalos biting Jin and Roger again. Not gonna find that pickup. Jin, Jin, not quite ready. Gets the down air from F tilt. Now Wilds is picking up some damage. Not that he's gonna die before 200, but Ooh. Sue picking up the kill. This is a completely different game now. Oh, the Wilds kill Soup. Kentucky Legends, legacy number one versus current number one. On a stage that I'd say probably figures, favors the current one. <laughs> See how this happens. Jin at ledge against Kazuya, but doesn't fall for it. Doesn't get hit by anything here. He's looking for the dare. F smash. Not gonna get a strong punish. I think Jin. I think Jin just stays pirate. Pirate here. Oh, it finds the rage drive, and that's gonna be it. 2-0 Soup Wilds. Shout out to Jin and Roger though. They played incredibly solidly throughout that whole set. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be close either way. Listen, not that I want to delay anyone's entrance back into singles bracket, but if we can get a game five here, that'd be exciting. I think this could be good. Roger, hanging, hanging over Roy. The Royger? Make it happen? Oh, okay. He goes back to his tried and true. I mean, it's the best pick, but like, come on, dude. Play Roy. Do it. Coward.
Roger, Roger playing Radiant Dawn Ike though. Big man, the best Ike. Running, just running it back though. I guess it may, you know, they're feeling confident about it. It's not, it's not a stage issue. It's a them issue. Like, I think it could, I think it could happen. I mean, they almost made that back. Soup gonna try for an edge guard. Roger goes low. Very smart. Soup saving Wilds from a nasty Ike Lich Trap. This is, this is just scramble so far. This is spaghetti. It's gonna happen. Also, Wilds, Wilds, these command grabs have been paying the bills for him. Oh, is he gonna get the Rage Drive? No. A couple more hits and he's gonna be knocked out of that percent. Finds the up B, still has Rage Drive, up air. Wow, Wilds finally dropping his first stock, but it's a it's a deficit for the blue team here. Great dash attack by Roger, but Soup. Not gonna, not gonna die. I mean, any other stage, perhaps. Great down air off the balloons. He gets nothing from it, though. Soup is living at, what, 137? The player cams are blocking it slightly, but, like, insane percent for a, for a little lightweight, like, villager. Ooh, gonna find that kill on Jin. Two stock lead, one stock lead now. Soup finally dropping it. Oh! The bowling ball! Great recovery from Jin. Now it's Roger's turn to get edge guard. Fights his way back. They need the stock on Wilds. Great F tilt. Nothing gonna come of it though. Ooh, gets the rage drive on Jin. No kill. Oh! Up air! Triple turn up! Insane. Is Ro is Roger goaded? Yes, but does he win these? I don't know. Great dash attack though. I ain't calling it like over, but this is looking like it's likely soup wilds getting the run back against Dark Wizzy Despade. This is exciting. I got ledge. He's fighting though. Never forget that Roger can and sometimes does win these. Wild's not gonna find the down smash on the up on the um, up B. <laughs> oh, who do you think you are? I am. Bowling ball picks up another stock. Probably like the 12th stock that that set. Maybe close to 20th if we're talking like between the two sets. <laughs> Insane stuff. Also, I'm happy to report our Roy Ditto, my go, my main, my boy. I'm, I'm hoping that both players win, however that may be possible. But with the, cl but the quick 3-0 uh, cleanup from Soup Wilds, the, the Kentucky new guard takes out the old guard. And it's time to defend the state against the invaders here. I'm, I'm looking forward to this one. I'm really, really curious about what adaptations Wild Soup are gonna make. Just cause, just cause that last like that that last set was like a little bit of a wash. It wasn't like, it wasn't like bad, but um, they were kind of. They were kind of just trailing the whole set. They did still get that game though, and it's always possible. And I want to believe in my boys, my my statesmen.
<laughs> very, very, uh, very loud reminder from the TOs and by someone else to disconnect your pro controllers at every tournament you go to. Be it, like, be a good competitor. Alright, where are we going? PS2 to start. Cyn Cynthia theme. Alright. What are we doing? Ad break? Okay. It looks like looks like we're being switched out here, perhaps. Potentially. Grant Grands might be uh another another round of commentators here. Which which is cool. I wouldn't mind a wouldn't mind a wee bit of warm up for my uh for my pool starts. What's up? Am I, am I staying am I staying on or are we getting off? Okay. Yeah, looks like looks like I am gonna be saying goodbye in just a few, but thank you. <laughs> like, thank you guys, thank you guys for listening to me ramble to myself for a couple minutes, and then listen listening to Blue Skies ramble to himself while I was muted. Uh, I feel like most of the viewers here probably already follow me, but like. Um, at Primal the God on Twitter. I'ma see y'all later. Love ya. Moi. Bye. Hi Emma. Welcome back to Chill Out, Drip or Drown. I'm Emma. I'm here with Goldstone. We're going to be leading you through this grand finals of doubles. We have uh, Wilds and Soup versus Wizzy and Despade. So hopefully the uh, the young kids here from Kentucky can hold it down against these pro players. Yeah, the big blue versus the invitees. Don't you love to see it? It's incredible. What do you think of this matchup so far, though? I am excited to see the Kazia because I feel like we've only seen... I only saw the visit the um, Isabel earlier. <laughs> and then I also know that he plays Sephiroth a lot in uh, doubles too, so yeah, I don't I know like how effective Kazuya can be in doubles. He's going to have that kill power, and he's going to have combos if you're going one way, but the auto turnaround is not going to really work out for him here, so. Yeah, it's got the longevity though. You live yeah. forever. You'll take everybody out. It's going to be phenomenal. you love to see it. And of course, getting started here game one. I mean, Soup's been making it rain this whole run. 
Yeah, Sweep is a very talented player. Like, I've been seeing him at a lot of tournaments doing really well in doubles with Wilds consistently. So I think having that, like, static is very helpful. And they have a lot of team combos, but just the edge guards and the ledge trapping from Wild or uh, from Soup is always super strong. So we already see that here. We're seeing the, the red team kind of trapped at the ledge, which is not what you typically expect from players like Wizzy, but kind of just scrapping here at the ledge, pushing each other off stage. And I think whoever's going to take this first stock is really going to set the pace for this game. Yeah, no kidding. Especially when you get the auto turnaround, you can't really focus on the, like, the Electric Wind God finish out of the corner that Wilds loves. Uh, just makes for a brutal take, just like when uh, Wilds takes it off the top. Yeah, really good stuff there to Wilds for uh, recognizing that situation. It's kind of unfortunate that uh, Deathspade is the one that ends up dying in that situation, despite getting the freeze hey. on the green team. But still just looking to find these stocks here on the green team. Great, nice stock there from Death Spade though, able to find that stock on uh, Soup. And so now both teams pretty tied here, still holding on to the stock at 151 from Wilds. And you can see that he's kind of trying to uh, get got. Yeah, get got there, but I like the, the spacing that we saw there from Wilds, just hanging out underneath that platform, trying to cover roll and neutral get up. But um, we saw that jumping to the platform seems to be beneficial for the red team because Kazu is kind of having a hard time struggling like covering all of those different options from the ledge. Compared to how easy it is when you've got the yeah. auto turnaround. But I mean, the coverage so far has been great. Catching Wizzy a second ago. I mean, it's a standard default combo with Wizzy escape. Oh, look at that grab. Hello? You're fine. Okay. It's double back. God, I don't know how Mario does in this match. I feel like it's it's kind of brutal. But Wizzy, God, don't you love to see it? Yeah, I mean, the damage and the shield pressure from Kazuya, and then also dealing with the bowling ball off the platform. Oh, and there too. goes yeah. Cashmere early. Yeah, just off stage is super strong for Pilcher, so I feel like a lot of the game we've seen Soup running off with those spares, just catching people trying to go low. Um, and I think Kazi is going to hold down the stage for the green team, but again, Soup just really moving that being off stage is going to be really strong for Villager here. And now Wizzy trying to fight his way back to center. This is potentially an opening, but going to miss that team quite. combo. Yeah, a little bit too much height on that back throw from Mario, but I do like the attempt there. I think those like bread and butter combos, uh, team combos are going to be super helpful when you're playing against such strong players. Just being able to seal out stocks, especially against a character as heavy as Kazuya, is really going to make or break it for you. Oh, it's all the way to this point. A full stock lead. I mean, of course you got hyper sense. There goes one, and here go the other. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, Speaking into existence, and this is all tied up. Oh, here goes Wizzy and Cashmere. So much damage here 46. on Little Villager. Oh no, Kazi is good. He beat two to one. And this is taking a quick turn. I mean, yeah. it was it was all soon, all wilds and now. This is a good situation for Green Team though. They're doing these one v ones, and I think Wilds is really strong in that type of situation. Just being able to use Gage. the stage to get a lot of uh, damage on Wizzy and make it so that just like a stray. Oh, hit there he goes. Oh, oh my gosh, great combo there from Wizzy, and now this is definitely Red Team's game. Oh goodness, it is. It so is. That was God. Talk about a like visceral shift in who was leading that game. I mean, that was brutal. All it took, all it took, Wilds goes off the top, gets kill screen, and the five seconds you're stuck in there, yeah. Soup just got demolished. And you can't do anything about it. It's not Soup's fault. You're just getting 2v1. Yeah, that's the one. thing about, like, super strong teams like both of these two. It's like, when you're in those 2v1 situations, very rarely do you see them drop those. Yep. And so that kind of apply, that applies when you get kill screen off the top, too, or when you're stuck on the respawn platform for super long. Like, that gives the red team a lot of opportunity to get a lot of damage on here, do that passing back and forth, and then Kazi is going to have a, especially with the slower speed on him too, have a hard time like interrupting that, and especially if you're trying not to hit your teammate too, like he has those large hitboxes, but it's not like he's really known for being a character to save his teammate in a lot of situations. Not at all. So heavy, so difficult to get anywhere. I feel like laser is such a good option in this. Poke from across the stage, but I need to get there. And Wizzy's been playing this phenomenally as a uh, as a Mario can. It's so difficult getting them uh, all those uh, invincible hitboxes. It's just uh, gnarly. Cashmere, I want to say, Cashmere's been t making money uh, on every single interaction he's gotten in this neutral. Just nukes the whole way. He's been so effective off stage. I mean, the coverage is great. Almost takes soup off the side. Yeah. It was the back throw though from Wizzy, and now both of them trying to recover. Uh, yeah, I like that attempt there from Wilds. He definitely called it with that back air. Okay, but big damage. This is really bad Off for the, the red top? team. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Team kill. That no is good. unfortunate. You can definitely tell that Wilds is trying to get the there kill goes there. Another. Yeah, and this is just really rough for the green team so far. Really need to find the stock on Death Spade in order to tie it up. 
Opportunity there for Wylands, but just not going to get the strong hit on that back air. Big damage too. No, I'm not too familiar. Do Death Spade and Wizzy team up that often? I don't know that they do. I think so. I think if reach. they're at like a lot of like Midwest events, they might team together. But I'm even sure. if they do, it shows. And if they yeah. don't, then they're just it really strong pay. doubles players. Yeah, I think Wizzy <laughs> typically does really well in doubles, just because Mario is a really easy character to pass back and forth with. He has really oh, good yeah. game sense with doubles too, just being able to recognize Hopper. situations where your teammate needs help, but not going to be able to help in that situation. And that's going to lose that stock off the top. Oh, that's oh. it. That'll take it. Brilliance by Wilds, making a sacrifice, losing a stock. Yeah, really good but trade. Sealing there. off Mario's so last solo stock. Don't you love like yeah. to see it? Okay. Yeah, Red Team just trying to get something okay. started. Into Electric on another player. Good. Wilds' awareness is just absurd. Gates of Hell off the oh. side, almost the down air. Okay, I was hoping that would work. Yeah. <laughs> Deathspade fighting for his life to get off of the ledge here. I'm surprised we haven't seen more counters from Deathspade, just in general. I feel like they're so yeah. powerful. Especially against uh, Wilds, Kazuya's up being so strong. I mean, just take them off the side. There's a full stock difference here. Comes the noobs. Ooh, okay. Oh, not quite. I do like that combo attempt, though, from uh, Decimate. Able to finish it up there. A little bit delayed, but uh, still a really good what situation. Happened? Red yeah, so suddenly by himself. Who's coming from this? I think it's Wizzy Decimate. Okay. I have not been paying attention Neither have I. To, the, to the doubles bracket. I got out and then I left. Oh, wait, no, it's super wild. It's not okay, bad. It's literally wild. a break. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that was... The, was that there before? Okay, that's no, fine. Okay, cool. I mean, for for as uh, difficult as it's looked, okay. can to clutch up on Wizzy himself. This is very doable. This is more than doable. A full yeah. stock. Recovering. And it's... Oh. Air, yep. Such coverage and Soup's known to steal these big moments from top level players. We've seen it in so many different situations. Oh, no. Wheel back throw, do it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. That's a little light guy there. I do like that um, pressure that we were seeing from Soup, though. I think okay. the projectiles are going to be the name of the game for Villager in these matchups. But we are in best of five, so um, Green Team definitely still has some time to, to try to clutch up here and take it, get the reset. But going back to PS2. I think the biggest thing is just being able to find Death Spade's stocks. I think Death Spade has been doing a really good job of stock taking in a lot of these situations. Especially as light as so yeah. so floaty, so light, but making all the difference makes a world of difference. It's what needs to change beyond that? I don't think really much of anything. We've seen so many great plays. Soup and trying to clutch out to almost did it the second time. Maybe third time to chart now. Okay. I think a lot of the time Wilds is finding hits, but they're not the strong hits that he really needs to steal stocks. And so it's causing a lot of situations where like he's getting a lot of percent on Wizzy, but you need to be able to kill them because the stocks are actually what matters at levels. Like you can live to 180 and it doesn't really it happens often matter. Too. Yeah. Just because you just get the nickel and dime hits, you're never gonna seal it out. I didn't even think about it, but Sora's, uh, you know, magic spells, especially lightning, ice, and put in so much work for cash. And we've seen Wizzy take such advantage. One, two, three. Almost a call out. Down here, down smash might have killed there, too, especially. He's even only at 70 or so. And I also feel like the red team's doing a fantastic job of getting out of the two, which is always going to be super beneficial in doubles because a lot of the time you're in these like two 1v1 situations, you're kind of scrapping with each other. So being able to fight your way out and not have to rely on your teammate to save you can help them extend their advantage state against the, the other opponent and uh, find stocks like you see there on wild. So, oh, okay. Oh, they went for the magic though. I. I'm very glad that uh, Soup was able to get that up air out because that definitely was a very scary situation there. Uh, but still going to lose the stock, and now Red Team oh. still holding on to their first. Never mind. Never mind. Force the Mario down. <laughs> Can't jump that high, jump. Uh oh. Wizzy almost getting both of them. In the corner, Soup takes it. Good stuff. Even stocks. Almost even percent. This is not a. There's a Soup, there's a way. Yeah, they both got electric. <laughs> I like that attempt. I think Wilds is being really aggressive off stage, and it hasn't really cost him yet. But I think those moments where you like find a stage spike that they're not expecting or get a low back air can really change the tides of this game. Everybody's still on second stock, but Green Team just really struggling to get out of the corner here. Because he's pressure at the ledge has been really strong, and especially that's a way to do it. Spells too, but yeah, really good stuff there from Kazia. Using the uh, the command grab out of the corner will be helpful. 
Who died? Oh, soup gone. All right. Yeah, this is not looking good for the green team. We might be out of doubles a lot faster than I expected. Big dash attack out of the corner, but still nothing. Wilds wow, electricing across the stage. Yeah. Oh my gosh, Off these the Almost! Oh. It's 77 and almost 80. Here comes the forward area. Platform extensions to Wilds recognizing what Lizzie's going for and gets out of there. Great punish there from Soup as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I mean, Wizzy just saving Cashmere from getting, uh, uh, what is it, what the name, uh, down me. I can't remember the name of it all. I don't know what do I. <laughs> Who does play Tekken that plays Smash? That's not. <laughs> and once again, Soup's on. Roll back into the corner. I think that was supposed to be a grab, by the way. This is, you just have to take Wizzy. And then oh. take another stock, and then take another stock. One, two, three. Off the top, oh, that might have been yeah. goodbye DI. Sus DI, go. yeah, goodbye DI. I like that. I've never heard that. Before. Let it go. But Wizzy Despay take doubles <laughs> at Chill Out. The out of state invasion succeeds. But hey, don't you love to see it? Soup Wilds, second place. Nothing to be ashamed of. Especially yeah, no. a player at Dark Wizzy's caliber and yeah. Despay themselves. No, I mean honestly, they put up a good fight. Like those are very strong top players there that they're playing against. Um, and playing Kazuya and doubles too. I mean, I don't think that's typically what we see from their team oh. comps either. So I think that they they definitely put up a good showing second at a tournament like this with so many players. Still a fantastic placement. So um, very glad that we got to see that. But we are going to be transitioning to singles now, singles wave eight pools. So uh, hopefully we'll have some banger sets coming up soon. Oh, absolutely. Of course, we got two major size pools. 150 people here at Chill yeah. Out Two just beat Chill Out One. 144 okay. to 149. Oh, okay, you love to five. See Let's go. Outshot by five. But hey, and we got a lot more out of state talent this time yeah. around. Of course, Doorstop couldn't make it. I'm tore yeah. up about that. He's beat me at every Kentucky event we've both been at. He we, wanted we, to give you a chance this time. Yeah. Now you have to win. Now He's I feel merciful. bad. <laughs> Ain't no such thing as mercy from that PT, <laughs> let me tell you. It's gnarly. Does he go PT against He goes PT Falcon. It's always a warm up. He's like, all right, I, I don't need, I don't need to bother with zero suit on you. And I'm like, yeah, I Dang. agree. Dang, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, no, cool guy. Tore up he couldn't be here, but we got Wizzy. We got Beast Mode Paul here. Of course, Wilds himself, Ploopy, the uh, Game and Watch. Yep. A whole mess of players, all looking forward. And we're only in pool one. We're yep. running till like nine o'clock tonight, most likely. Oh yeah, so. for sure. It's a long day's haul. But yeah, and it is a two-day event, too. So you're going to have top 16 tomorrow. So definitely tune into that as well. Oh, Hopefully, yeah. we can see a lot of those big names. But I would not be upset if we saw some Kentucky regional I heroes so. over uh, overthrow a lot of these out-of-state players, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, Jen's back. Yeah, that too. That's insane. That's one of the craziest comeback stories in Kentucky history. Man took off for a year and a half, comes back, wins a cavalry, and then shows up and gets third place in doubles with okay. Roger. It's like nothing ever changed. That's my goat. Don't you love it? Gin Tucky, for sure. It really is Gin Tucky. Now we're Wilds Tucky. When Butter was on top, Butt Tucky. You know, butt Tucky butt is tucky. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ooh, okay, hold on. Haven't seen Butter here today just yet, but. I haven't her. either. Scary. He's See, lurking. I'm going to have on stream next. I'm hoping that it's going to be Worry Klepto, because those are two homies, and they also play raw characters. Shout out Worry. We love worry. Let it fly. My beloved. Stop. Okay. Sure. Yeah, we will be right back. We are waiting for some sets to get set up, but um, get back momentarily. So definitely stick around and yeah. Ripper drown.
Welcome back to Dripper Drown. Tucky's chill out too. I'm Goldstone. I'm Emma. And we're looking at singles. Worry and Klepto, you got your wish. I did. I really wanted to see these two play. Worry, super talented Diddy Kong main from Kentucky. Also plays like everybody else. Okay, mean, that's up. fine. Welcome back. That's okay. <laughs> Chill out, too. Drip or drown. I'm Goldstone once again. I'm Emma. And we're watching Worry and Klepto. One of the best ditties in the U.S. I'm, yes. not, I'm not even going to no. like qualify it. Top five. Top five. Probably three. No, I don't you're know number any other one. Ditties. You're number one. What about Aaron? Whatever. What about Aaron? You. Yeah. Are you better? No, number one in Kentucky, number three in the U.S. I said top five minimum. We're conversing with Worry. I don't believe it. There's nobody saucier. That's true. They can't hear anything that they can't hear. Me and Sam are talking. Uh, Sam says that I'll they are. I'll be the not. interpreter. Sam's saying no, there are probably five Diddy Kongs that are better than them. Sam is being, or uh, Tate being followed by the camera. Perfect cut to worry. Ooh, Don't you okay, love to we see got it? The, the cameras that move with the players too. It's okay. super nice. Yeah. No, I love it because you get to see the pop off. And we're in the background. Ooh, okay. Hey. <laughs> They're taking off after worry. This is awesome. Very well put together, especially in not in the corners. We're in the Gatton no. Student Center Harris Ballroom. The we, Grand, well, not Harris, the Grand Ballroom. It goes we even went further. to DGT first, and I was like, these look like a bunch of people that are looking as to whether or not they want to go to college here. I don't think that we should be here. And then I looked it up, and yes, it's yeah, actually it's an open ballroom. local. Yes. Don't you love to see it? Kentucky Esports. We got the flag. If you're at the tournament today, sign the flag if you're Ooh. here. Have you ever signed the flag? No. Yeah, I keep that. That's my personal one. We bought it whenever the Smash Cats got like institutionalized okay. as a as an org. It's got the logo. Uh, we took it to uh, where was it? Honeypot and then Victory Road, DGT 100. Anybody that's anybody that's been at those okay. things. Okay. And now we well, got. Well, I didn't sign it, so you, yeah, I was, well, was going to ask. That's anybody. What does that mean? I don't mean? think we've ever. I've ever brought it. At, I think you've come to locals, but we've never actually been at a tournament that I brought it. Was it Victory Road? Oh, we left early. I forgot about that. Okay. Because, no, uh, you're avoiding me. I know it. Look. You just don't want my signature. I don't want to get Zelda. All right. Doorstop will gut me. I've been playing a lot more really? recently. Yes. I'm tired of losing because Zelda. of the character. Obviously, I'm the most skilled individual in the world. The only reason that I oh, lose is really? because Zelda is bad. Oh. That's so real. That's why I picked up Stain. Yeah. And then I found out I'm just a bad player. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a bad person. It's just a bad world. It's not true. No, I found out that once you can't teleport from anywhere on the screen back to the ledge, that you actually have to be careful with where you're jumping. You gotta actually play the game. Yeah, it's you crazy. Have to, like actually pay attention to what's going on on screen. Politana is the next logical step. Yes, true. Yeah, don't do that true. to me, please. We've never played in we bracket. We need more poly represent. I don't want to get followed by you. I don't think we have any Paulus in Ohio. I need to we be the like, one that steps up. We at one point we had like five in Kentucky. Yeah. Between pneumatic, uh, of course, Worry had one at one point or another. I'm sure. Uh, and then the legend themselves, platypus. Oh yeah. Like, I really want to pay the guy that does Doofenshmirtz to be like a platypus. <laughs> <laughs> a platypus that plays Palatina. You know. Yes. Yeah. Love Phineas and Ferb. I wonder what he's doing these days. Probably else. on cameo. Yeah. With Worry and Klepto. Big Worry fan. Don't know much about Klepto. Are they Ohio? Yes, so Klepto doesn't enter a ton of tournaments. I think he's starting to go to more um, recently, but he's a wolf, cloud, boy man. Good lord. The One of the three of all time. Harbingers <laughs> of fundamentals. Good lord. Yes, very, very strong fundamentals player. Same thing with Worry, too. Um, they're also really good friends, so I'm excited to see how this matchup's going to go. Um, People are going to be dying very early. I don't think anybody's going to be very campy. They're going to be scrapping the entire time. So it's going to be a very quick match as to whose favorite's going to go. I'm not really sure. I know that Klepto played a Diddy Kong to make it to this match. So warmed up in the matchup a little bit. But Sam also just plays very different from a lot of Diddy Kongs that I've seen. Sam is the most technically sound Diddy. I say bar none. Even Tweet okay. doesn't do okay. some of the shenanigans. that Pop Gun cancel reverse like drop of the banana. You're going to see some absolutely insane stuff, and thanks to Collision for letting us stream here as we get into game one. Sure. Starting out here on PS2, top 64 qualifier two, so winner of this will be moving on into top 64 in Alvarez. Winner size, this is a very important match for both of them. Right now we're just seeing a lot of these short hop aerials from Klepto, just trying to catch jumps from Diddy Kong. Oh, the double banana drop, let's go. 
Yeah, and getting off of the ledge as Wolf, especially off stage, she's just very susceptible to getting amped in, especially with how uh, consistent Worry is with finding like the banana into down air or F smash at the ledge. You have to be really careful with the way that you're trying to fight your way out of the corner as Pupto. Oh, that laser providing so much damage and so much coverage. It's, I mean, even with uh, uh, Monkey Foot trying to get over that, it covers so much area. Speak of the devil. Great. Okay, I love the use of dash attack there. We're seeing Klepto use a lot of falling fair to try to get something. Oh, wow. Right to there into the side. No beam. stock, though. But I think staying really grounded, using that down tilt, using the dash attack from Worry is going to be the best way to contest against that. Because air to air, it's usually going to lose that trade. His hitbox is really strong, really big. No way, the okay. backer? That was so smart that there. That was insane. Klepto. The timing had to be perfect. Oh, the trip with the banana, messing up that low percent combo there from Klepto. Still just trying to find a combo starter here, trying to find this dash attack, but that um, monkey flip is going to be a great burst option for Marie to closing that space between them and uh, catching Klepto off guard. And now, Such great coverage, Angel dropping yeah, the forward air. That was so clean there from Mori too, so pretty even stocks here. And just trying to use this banana to get something started. Lots of damage here, 33% on Klepto, but now just trying to fight his way out of the corner. We've seen that a lot, where Nair is just a, such a strong Ooh! combo breaker. Everyone, that's a real combo. <laughs> Can't break that one. Nair down air, brutal, and suddenly worrying the driver's seat. Yeah, I mean, just this few opportunities is all that both of these players need to find these stocks. They have fantastic advantage states. They're really strong combos as well. And playing at the ledge is going to be very like, difficult for both of them to just avoid a lot of these like random kill options that they can go for. I mean, we see a whole one. I mean, Worry with the nickel and diming of Banana just interrupts every combo with little bits and bobs just like that. Oh my gosh. Down tilt into re-grab into up air almost off the top. Not quite. Getting the ground there from Klepto, trying to find this back air, but this patience at the ledge just not really going to work out for him. And so, Ray manages to make it back, missing the down smash too. Where he's just kind of running away so much extra percent on Klepto here. 141, just basically anything's going to kill here at the ledge, but you can see that we're seeing the F tilt a lot. Trying to find a down tilt into back air. Back throw just going to throw off stage as well. That'll oh, do it! Bills. Okay. Says goodbye. Getting a little innovative there too. I like that conditioning that we're seeing from Mori, just using a lot of those like very quick um, tilts to try to condition Klepto to roll instead or and catch um, that with barrels. Yeah. That'll take you. I mean, that was beyond overkill at that point. No, that 160, was... goodness. F tilt, up tilt. Got a lot of options. Got yeah, a little explosion just in case. Oh. We'll leave this is still best of three. Okay. We're outside of qualifiers. Of course, top 64 will be all best of five, and that's going to run for hours. Yes. Three, That's going to be a good run. One, 149 go. people, I believe, here today at Bracket. Still waiting on a lot of Pool B to show up. But we got the sign up. So this is looking much more solid for Klepto here. Yeah, doing a great job so far. But I love that use of Monkey Flip to get back on stage from Worry. But I think using those high recoveries is a great mix up, but you can't be doing that too consistently because one perfectly timed back air from Klepto could cost you your stock. Right now, just kind of trading back and forth. Trading advantage states at the ledge here, but the banana just paying the bills for worry, adding so much percent and getting a lot of these combos. Just reset, re no, rinse and repeat too. and take them off stage and that'll do it. No. The wow. re-grab on the banana, just the play from worry with the banana has been so strong. What? What oh. happened? Look at that. Oh my God. See, that's what I'm talking about. Bits and bobs. You never know whether it's going to happen, where you're going to get knocked at. And occasionally, a banana's oh. drop is RNG, and then parry up smash. Brute. That was so smart, parrying the banana there and get, getting the up smash on Worry, trying to get back onto the stage. Yeah, like, I love the use of banana from Worry. We're seeing it as, like, an advantage. Oh, no uh, way. Oh, no. Huge early game. But, like, using the banana to approach has been really helpful, but we're also seeing it defensively, too. Like, throwing it at Klepto so he's forced to shield, and then using that as a way to get around Klepto. Throwing out a lot of these super strong hitboxes. You can see Klepto's looking for the snare, sending Worry off stage. That trade gonna actually work out in Worry's favor, sending Klepto to the other side of the stage. And don't count Worry out. We've seen this dozens of times, but of course, Diddy Kong's hitbox is always inconsistent in the worst of moments. Definitely needed that. Down tilt forward air, almost taking the stock, of course. No angel drop, trying to get the coverage. What do you do here? I mean, Wolf is so difficult to hit if you're not gonna hit the F tilt. Up smash takes it off the top, and you gotta hill the climb if you're Worry. Hey, trying to catch the landing there on Worry, but. Gonna eat it. Gun into down tilt? Oh what? The damage is just stacking up here in Worry's favor. And now trying to find an approach on Klepto. Love that tomahawk. Ooh, okay. 
Catches the monkey flip out of the corner too with Fair, just keeping Mori trapped at the ledge. But there's that banana throwing it back on stage and not going to have a parry on that one. Going to cost Club to a ton of percent. All back here calls yeah, so it there's out. That high recovery again, just using that monkey flip out of the corner has been helpful for Mori. Just Whoa. one back here is all in it. And we saw that the stock, or right before that, the back air to seal it, the forward air the opposite direction to send out just to keep stacking on percent. It's been brutal. Klepto expertly keeping Worry back in the corner and not letting them escape. Sure. We're going to small battlefield, though. This game is going to make or break who's making it into top 64 winners and holding on to their winner's stock. So, very this important is, uh... for both players. Okay. Oh, of course, we're getting such high-level competition in the Midwest today. Three, Several states two, having representatives one, showing their go. piece. You'll love to see it. And I fully expect Worry to slow down a little bit here. A very electric oh player, gosh. as you can see. But, uh, you know, maybe I'm wrong. And the banana making an appearance. Look at that. Oh. Go for it again. Like I said, Worry explosive. Did I say slow down? I lied. They will make you feel it. I do like the switch to... Um, small battlefield from PS2 as well. Having that less distance oh, from that. the platforms to the uh, the ledge could be helpful for me. Trying to get out of the corner, but yeah, that's not gonna cost you. Never mind. Tries to get the combo there into the F smash, but now still Klepto trying to climb this mountain at 141. Just one perfectly placed banana will cost him a stock here. But getting something started in this advantage shape, 52% on Mori. Just trying to find a falling fair or nair. Good damage here. This is where Rage becomes a real problem because back air will take it from here sweet spot wise. Wait, I never said who's back air. <gasps> Speak of the devil. Yeah, the ledge trump there going to cost Club to a stock, but still did a decent job of getting 76% win and such a high percent. You have to kind of play perfectly in those scenarios to try to roll your way back up. Tie this up, but still. Just, oh, and that you, hurts that! You can't push. You really got to slow down. Klepto's great at breaking his speed because you can feel when he starts gaining momentum, he'll stop, break your ankles, and then make a read off of that. We've for seen that sure. so much, especially with that forward smash. Yeah, I mean, getting out of the corner has just been really hard for both players, but especially for Mori, that's hurt. Klepto's finding so many of his Oh, stocks. 77. Beautiful barrel conversion. Okay. Ooh, okay. Nice mix up there on the roll, rolling um, in instead of out, which made it a little bit harder for Mori to find the punish there. Still, I mean, same. It's like the first stock just happened again. You're just seeing so much coverage, big damage on Klepto. We might see a reversal in a similar way. Look I think we're seeing a mix up on the timing of the monkey flip too. Or you can see that Klepto's trying to set up to cover it. But, uh, Quad five. We're just doing it a little bit earlier to catch Klepto jumping before he can actually get the hitbox out. Ooh, okay. Look at that. Back here too on the cross up. Oh, just barely yeah. missed it. Don't know if it's nerves or what, but Worry's missed a couple of those angel drop conversions. Nothing to it though. Fully believe in Kentucky's best ditty. I also think that Worry's doing a great job of mixing up where the of these tactations too. Oh, just still missing a lot of these confirms. I think the higher percent is making it a lot harder to find them. Don't think that's what Clifton was yeah, looking for, and Worry finally able to find that stock. What a way to seal. That was full spaghetti. Yeah. Like that's a whole Italian meal from Rosato's right there. It's uh, <laughs> Wait, 30, and oh, bonus damage, that's what that is. And the cover, look at that. Evading with the spot dodge, backing off, throwing the banana, taking your space. Diddy's horizontal space cover is just absurd between monkey flip and banana throw. Back air. God, so the back air off the ledge too, like such an aggressive option out of the corner there from Klepto, and gonna kill across the stage. Now just trying to find a grab, trying to find a nair, or something to get started here for Klepto. See the Murray's relying a lot on that banana. Getting Klepto off stage, getting out of the corner has been really hard for Klepto, but shoots a skittle. Yeah. Now we're seeing the same position. Okay. Whiff on the grab. 141. You're gonna need a miracle here, Klepto. Oh no! And, uh, Not this. Well, some miracles aren't meant to happen. Oh, a little unfortunate there at the end. Klepto, air dodges, and uh, gonna cost him his stock. So where are you gonna take that 2-1? But honestly, Klepto, especially in that second game, oh, yeah. put up such a great showing. Uh, both of them very strong players, and we're seeing that in the advantage, in, in, in oh my gosh, okay. In the advantage state from both players, especially worry, like the banana combos were insane. I think the big thing was like the crazy reads from Klepto, just that F smash was insane too. Um, such but, a cover. And that covered both monkey flip and roll get up. Oh yeah. It's just such a good coverage option. Yeah. But you're I, not going to punish it if you neutral get up either. And no. of course, we're getting 
uh, Quill Uno up okay. next. So it's going to be a, a big run. So Min Min versus Wolf. Wolf, yeah. Another Wolf. It's like he's the land of Wolf, Falco, and Bowser. I swear. Okay. And Ike, I guess. But you guys have a lot of Bowsers? Yeah, yeah, we have a lot of Bowsers. Okay. We used to have a t we used to have more Bowsers back yeah. when Boss was playing a lot. Uncrustable Joe, of course, big Bowser player. Uh, love to see it. Uno, a very, 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 I think top three in Kentucky this year. Played out of their minds, out of state. Got like fourth place at Victory Road. Demolished a ton of good players. No, that was insane. Yeah. Meaning Fats, meaning um, Grease Almighty. Grease Almighty put, put didn't beat the brakes quite off of, but played Danny to a standstill. Okay. Like, it was a gnarly set. Great run from both. No, because I feel like her results have gotten like exponentially insane in the past like six, six months. months. Yeah. yeah. No, just like fantastic, um, just change in the way uh, she's handling bracket, and I think that she's just really strong player. So I'm excited to see. Cause I had, I had played her like a few years ago, mm -hmm. and I think she was playing Bowser at the time. Yeah, played Bowser, played Little Mac, played plays Wait, Wolf now. Good for you. Going up the tier yeah. list. Started at the very that. bottom, took a mid tier, went to Wolf. Now is experimenting with uh, Game and Watch for difficult okay. matchups. So going even higher on the tier list. It won't be yeah. long. We'll still see Steve or yeah. Sonic. We have seen the Sonic once or twice. Of don't get oh. tilted itself, but uh, don't make me cry. And then Quill, I think just only playing for Ben. I don't think yeah, I've ever seen don't. them play a different. Quill won and done me on Wi-Fi like two weeks ago. No. I was tore up about it. You're allowed to be biased. Your I'm so biased. You earned it. But, of course, there is another quad stream, Ufko87, oh, if you're wanting to see uh, Cook, Jim, Ramen, YouTube, High Raj, Small, and Crusher, good, I guess. Uh, but there's a ton of people playing. We got uh, Lil Gamer versus Cole's Corner, okay? Lil Gamer. Man, don't you love it? Yeah, all the uh, Ohio fans are on quad stream. Run it. I'm so ready. Oh, Cook the one two KO punch. Yeah, I'm gonna commentate every screen. game that you guys aren't seeing. I'll take I the top left. two to I'll one the top right. above Little Gamer. The uh, Three, what is that? Banjo? Yeah. Yeah. One, then of course Crusher go. and Joker just started game two. But getting back to the actual ones that we can see, Dora and Fern, Uno and Quill. So I think in this matchup, it's gonna be really hard to get in against Min Min. That's like the name of the game for her. Whoa, that was fast. Yeah. I didn't realize it would go that much faster. It was incredible. Uh, but just using those arms to space and keep Uno out. But once Uno does find her way, that's where she's gonna get a ton of percent. Uh, Min Min gonna have very telegraph get off me options in that hit smash. So I think the biggest thing to out for. But like, the biggest thing is just trying to fight around the arms, make it in and. Uh, find openings like that, so I think waiting out both arms, going for grabs is going to be really helpful. Um, and just trying to recover. I think that's so the biggest brutal. thing that Wolf is going to struggle with in this matchup, is getting back on stage. Ram Ram yeah. validates Wolf. You're not going to like to see it. But we haven't seen a whole lot of Uno being off stage just yet, and Down Smash will catch the landing. Taking an early stock. Then again, I guess it's not early for, uh, for Wolf. Now, is it? Yeah. But again, the, the combo starters for Wolf at these percents are going to be that landing air, landing fair. So Even rising fair yeah. out, of, out of down throw, goodness. Oh my gosh, 42%. I love that use of up smash there. And now, you know, continuing this advantage stage, just making Quill have to start engaging. Because once you have the uh, the stock lead, that's when Nimit's going to have to start engaging with you. She can kind of stay back at that corner and just throw out the arms. But right now, Quill in a fantastic position. The blaster actually coming in clutch there and making it so Transcended. Quill. Yeah, just not able to uh, set up that ledge trap and find Uno's stock. Oh, that'll catch it. Yeah, Drag it off the do it. 63% though. Honestly, the blaster does so much damage to that in a lot of these situations, just taking a seat back and just blasting. Min Min, especially when the arms can't reach you, is honestly in your favor. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And of course, we see such, and I think I've seen that a whole lot in Fern's gameplay particularly lately, being content to take that chip damage with the late, because most people don't care, they're just gonna tank it, but it makes such a difference. I wager, if you check Uno's uh, comparative, like, damn, in a big back air off stage here, and there, Quill take, no! What a recovery, okay. Quill, from way downtown, and down smash will take it. Yeah, calls out the spot dodge there in the corner, or I think uh, Quill might have just dropped shield, but. I believe it was, it's yeah. unfortunate. That's but another thing, just not dropping shield early. Like, yeah. Especially for multi-hits. 
I think the down smash is really good at catching a lot of those defensive options like spot dodge, dropping shield, roll too, especially with it hitting behind oh, yeah. second. Like You ain't rolling it on Wolf. Yeah, getting out of the corner against Wolf is really hard as it is, but uh, Uno definitely showcasing that right now. And has been phenomenal. You see it a lot with Min like using arms off stage to cover your landings, but has been so incredibly consistent about not getting clipped while Min Min is trying to turn the stage. And that, that just keeps the ticky tacky damage from putting you in competitive range with Min Min. Look at that! That's so that much faster! That is really fast, like you don't have time like to react. That's like now. Okay. You just gotta, I fully expect a mix-up here for Uno, Uno in the next slot. Now, because they've run off Nair twice, we'll probably see... See, that's what I was talking about, but yeah. that time you dropped shield. I do really Keep like the uh, the way that we're seeing Nair be used by Quill between the platforms, just covering the space, because we see that Uno's using the platforms a lot to uh, find a way in. But yeah, that Nair, again, just a really good get-off-me option for Quill. So I think the platforms are helpful for Uno, but I think just the large hitbox of having the, uh, the Nair there is going to be really helpful for Quinn for shutting down a lot of the approach options. These empty, gra like empty hop tomahawk grabs are so good. Once again, we see it. You know, playing a little sloppier. 55. This is where you could get it stolen by Quinn. Yeah. Right here. I mean, just one good hit off stage can almost, cost you. Almost that. That would have been horrific. And then back here. No! Wow. Great timing on that shield. Wow. Fully expected that to connect with Lee. Yeah, that tether's super helpful for Quill, too. Doesn't have to really worry about recovering off stage. Unless we saw a mix-up from Uno just like running off stage and using a Nair to try to clip her, but uh, yeah, uh, dash attack, yeah, off the top corner, yep. Nothing you can do about that. Just great coverage. Covers every option coming off ledge. Yeah, it does seem like jumping from the ledge is helpful for Min Min because she's able to use the arms to cover her landing. But in oh, that yeah. situation, it felt like Wolf just kind of slid right underneath right and underneath. got the hitbox. Yeah, sneaky beaky like. Will we run it back? Cool, of course, a renowned Min Min player. Uh, doesn't very often get to go out to things in Kentucky, but usually does perform very solidly when they do. Of course, you're in, you know, right before top 64 through winners, you're yeah. in a good spot. Especially at such a stacked bracket like this, too. No kidding, stacked bracket. Yeah. I mean, you're playing Uno round two. Yeah. There goes Cook taking it 2-0 over Jim Shady. Over on Oofgo87, if you haven't seen it. But game two, Uno Quill. And Quill trying to match up here. One good dash attack deserves another. Almost saw an S. Just that jump from the ledge again. I think Uno has a really good understanding of the options that Quill's using at the ledge, but they're using that get up attack now as well as a get off me. And that's going to be really helpful as a mix up too. And we saw that it like pushed Uno back super far too, which can help you get back to the ledge or Goodness. get back from the ledge rather. Almost huge coverage. We don't see Uno jumping in a whole lot either. Like they're yeah. very content, patient. I think the big thing is like when they are trying to jump in, they're getting hit right in the face with an arm too. Yep. I think that Quill is being a lot more reactive and finding a lot of the jumps and reacting with the arms, which makes it a little bit harder. But I do really like just like this distance game that we're playing. Like the blaster is really helpful, but if Quill's able to react with the the reflect there, then um, that's working that out for them. I don't know how you could punish that. Minute. I just feel like you're so slow off the ledge. 83, 114. Just the neutral get up this time. You know, trying to find that back air, but now off stage. A great recovery out of the, the ledge there, though. I think that's like a huge thing as Wolf. You're just not going to have the mobility to get around a lot of the arms that Mimmin's throwing at you. So I really like the resourcefulness that we're seeing from Uno of using the platform. Can you reflect that? No, but you can. The wolf, uh, the dragon laser, I think is just an extension. Okay. It's very strange to me that they let me, uh, you've got the powered up wolf laser, as, or the dragon laser part, as a, as a way to boost Min Min after a grab. Yeah. I'm surprised that it's not just like a, oh yes, you get an extra thing if you manage to get a grab. No, it's default part and a big ram ram, or a megawatt off the top there. Or I'm not going to lie, I've never played ARMS, Neither have I. so I Who just has? don't question it. Yeah, Up I'm smash, like, you know there you what? Go. This is even. Two minutes off the clock. Time not a problem just yet. Uno very content to go to time. And uh oh. That was so not scary. Quite, not quite, but. Yeah, going straight up, up to the ledge there. Gonna. No landing option. Oh, waited for the down air. You know Min Min's gonna do down air. What other options does she have? Dash attack. Uno's coverage so good back here. That's jump. You're Wolf dead. Wolf does have like a no! pretty decent out of shield too, but you just don't really get to utilize that against Min Min because she's hitting you from such a far distance oh, that yeah. like. 
she hits your shield, you kind of just have to sit there and take it. So it's making it a little bit harder for Uno to find a lot of like extra chip percent. Oh wow, did you see that back air? Yeah. That was almost the call out of the day so far. Goodness gracious. Well, I love that down smash. We saw that in the first game too, but it back didn't throw. work out this time. That's it. Yeah. You're gone. That's what we thought. One mistake off stage yeah. is Wolf and you're just going to eat. I mean, sometimes it's not even a mistake. Like, if you hit the, the two frame, you're kind of just... You're just there. You're like, just cooked. You, yeah, yeah. You just get hit. And it's not just Wolf. It's any character. Falcon, Cloud. Yeah. God forbid you play Cloud with this character. It's like not even you messing up. It's you hoping that they mess up. Yep. It's kind of just free. And we see that a lot with Fighter Pass, too. I'm not going to lie. But yeah. Quill taking great advantage. Down smash and down. Uno needs to start sealing this stock before the chip damage starts adding up. What can we see? Big dash okay. attack. That's, That's huge. actually important that the, the Nair beats That's out it. the arm from Min Min. The, uh, Tried to get a cheeky little Ram. maybe wall tech situation there, but not quite. Of course, Uno here. I think we might be getting out here for too long. Might be the last game. Pool B starting shortly. Just really struggling to get in though. Oh yeah, and then the uh, the laser no. is super helpful for tech chases too. Sending Uno so off well. stage. The fact that you can use the laser while falling and it's like yeah. Robin laser. Like it covers so much so well. Oh, the oh bayonet gosh, yeah. on some extra damage. Stab. 87. And Quill now content to sit back and just tack on that damage. Yep. Yeah, and now you're kind of playing like a bullet hell here, trying to get in against these arms, but that one opening could down be smash. exactly what Uno There it needs. is. Yeah, those down smashes, again, just super clutch. Trying to find the back air. Yep. Yeah. Brilliancy. You forced the jump. You know yep. they're coming. Send them flying. Send them back in. Uno 2-0. After a very solid deficit, Quill playing very well. Fully expect them to make it out. Yeah, no, Good I mean, stuff. I think the recoveries from Uno definitely um, helped her in those situations. And I think just the patience, too. Like, I think that's one of the pitfalls of a lot of players when they're playing against Min Min is, like, you get really frustrated because you get hit by one arm, so you keep trying to press that advantage, and you're just banging your head on a wall. She gets so oh, much yeah. damage. She hits you with, like, one stray laser, you die off stage. So I think that patience, just being comfortable hanging out on the platforms, um, definitely won Uno that set. Really great, great play to uh, to both players there, though. All right. Ugh. All right, well, it seems like we're going to take a break right before the switch between pools. I think we might be out. Okay. Just maybe. I heard Cook get called. So, either way. If we're not back, thanks for joining us here. Chill out, too. Drip or drown. Hope you're dripping. If not, we'll see you right after this. Stay tuned. Sweet.
Hello, hello, hello! Welcome back to Chill Out to Drip or Drown. My name is MBU, and I have over here. I'm Gotti. Nice to meet you. And we are really excited to bring you Wave Two or Wave B of Pools. Um, this is going to be really exciting. Up on stream, we have Parmesan and Duello. Um, other players are going to be in this pool. We're going to have Dark Wizzy coming up at some point. We have a lot of kind of the second layer of Kentucky's talent. So we have like butter, nematic, Krispy Kreme. Jin is here too. Yeah, Jin's gonna be here. I wanna, I wanna I watch Jin. Jin. I haven't, I haven't watched Jin probably since the last chill out. So it's a really exciting player. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. We have Duello and Parmesan. Now, I, I know a bit about Duello from both my last understanding. Duello plays Sephiroth. I don't really know exactly who Parmesan plays, but this is already really unusual because Sephiroth is really not much of a meta character at this point. Um, yeah, it's actually crazy to be playing Sephiroth at this point, yeah. honestly. Uh, I got mad respect for Sephiroth players. That character is ridiculously hard and also terrible. Oh, yeah. Like, like, yeah, like, there's a reason that, like, Ken and Tweak aren't really repping the character anymore. Yeah. But, you know, I, it, it's still interesting to see people still repping, you know? That's that's the nice thing about Ultimate is no matter what, there's somebody repping somebody's character. So it's going to be interesting. But Sephiroth seems to be very, like, visceral. In, in a lot of the matchups, so I'm really interested to see who exactly Parmesan is going to be picking and going up against Duello. Yeah, and it's not like Sephiroth is like completely useless in the meta right now. He does have his place. He obviously has a decent matchup against Steve. Um, it's just, you know, some of his frame data is yeah. questionable at best. It's 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 definitely, it's just like weird to play, which is why Duello is very impressive, is yeah, to yeah, see yeah. somebody that's making it work and making it happen. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of if we get this game started. But yeah. But what have you thought about the bracket and, and the tournament so far? We're, we're done. We're halfway done with pools. We had um, pool A go. So um, most of that should be either done or very much wrapping up at this point. If there are anything, if there are any other stats to mention up. But like, so far it's been very exciting. If a little yeah, there was by a... the books. Like, like there's not been any cool insane, insane upsets quite yet, but... There was very close, though. There was the, uh, uh, what was that Duck Hop player's name that was going up against Wilds? Do you know? Um, I don't know that. I, I don't know them particularly. They took a game, and they, they were looking pretty good in that set. I'm not going to lie. Pulls corners? Nice. Yeah, that, that was a... That would have been crazy upset. Been... Like, winning game one versus Wilds, definitely. They were able to show some stuff. But, um... Yeah, like, I think the most notable upset was um, Winter over Rapid so far. Winter the... Yeah, Winter the Crom player. Yeah, Crom player over uh, Rapid with Joy, but that was a hot set. Um, Biggest oh, Giga Chad in, like, the whole na <laughs> nation probably is probably. Winter. Probably, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be really interesting, and the character of oh, oh, Dark Pit! I'm a big... I'm a, Love I'm, this character. I'm, Super underrated character right now. Oh, I, I, I think we're for a hot set. I think this is hot set. This is going to be hot set. So, yeah. So, I... And I'm going to be so real. I don't know the pits of the Sephiroth that well. I don't know what this matchup looks like. I want to say it's not fun to Sephiroth because you can get bullied by Dark Arrows a lot. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably why Parmesan's the only Dark Pit in this matchup is because Dark Arrows can really bully and, and, and kind of keep, keep Duello out. I think the most important thing that we need to be watching for for Duello's case is that Nair out of shield. I think Parmesan needs to be the aggressor in this matchup, so yes. Duello is going to have to look to use his out of shield options well. Because Sephiroth's like, 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 like peak advantage to Sephiroth with Wayne, juggling you with up airs, getting green grabs, stuff like that is insane. Just getting to that point is really difficult to pair. So it's going to be interesting to see how Parmesan kind of maintains a control over the set in the game. Yeah, Duello already showing a lot of full hops, by the way. Full hop back air, full hop forward air, and I would like to see Parmesan kind of call that out a little bit. Gets a parry, uh, grab back throw back air. Ooh, good oh, good snipe. But, they were uh, looking but for... Get, he's gonna get Wing right online, though. That's not very fun. Yeah, Wing not the end of the world. It is kind of tame in terms of comeback mechanics in this game, I think. Yeah. But it's not something you want to be seeing. Yeah, in the comparison of, like, Dome Eater or something. But it's still very scary. Um, so it's gonna be interesting to kind of see. But if we want to talk about, you know, we were talking about Minigo, like, underrepresented characters. Oh, they're both underrepresented, I mean, honestly. Let's talk about Pit and Dark Pit for a second. I mean, shout out to Zachary, you know, it's like, you know, these characters are probably way better than people give them credit for, but, you know, we need to see the pilots come out for it. And that's what Parmesan's here today. Parmesan's here to show, to like, show off and be like, hey, this character, this character has some songs, you know? It isn't yeah. just Zachary being Zachary. 
Most of the, the pit representation, from what I understand, is mostly just from Japan. You have your Zacharys, you have your Skylocks, etc. Yeah, you have like silver in Canada. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's the only uh, pit in Dark because he played pretty changely in Dark pit that I know of. So let's see, let, let, let's see what Parmesan can cook up for us. Pun entirely. Yeah. yeah, I've been liking the way that Parmesan has been ledge trapping so far. Definitely getting some fallouts at the ele oh, Electroshock almost killing there. That's kind of a matchup check move that you really need to be careful for if you're Absolutely. Sephiroth. Insane call out. I mean, it didn't quite kill, but I feel like Parmesan got a, or Parmesan got a lot of information about Duel's knowledge about the matchup. I was say, watch that re-grab, but... Oh, kind of getting away with murder there. Unable to take the stock so far. I love the way, too, that uh, Parmesan has been playing neutral, kind of actually not uh, forcing anything and making sure that he's able to keep his space, running away with those, yeah, with those reverse arrows. Yeah, it's, no, Parmesan's playing incredibly, incredibly patient. In fact, you're playing against Zephyrox. One of Zephyrox's big issues is that like, he kind of struggles with box up and outside of yeah. it's like, man, you know, a lot of startup and stuff, so it can even feel very easy to just run in and want to go do, like, dare into whatever you want or something, but no, 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 like, Parmesan's playing very patient. Oh, Down air no. on the platform, you. All right, no, what a. No, we got Aerith. No. Um. So it's gonna be interesting to see how Parmesan kind of plays this so patiently. Even though these dark arrows are putting in work. Now it is an even stock lead, but the percent difference could not be bigger. I'm starting to see some panic options coming out of Parmesan. Maybe getting a little frustrated that they can't take the stock. Yeah. Love that runoff backer from Apollo. Starting to put some control back in this game. Oh yeah, they both seem to very much be trying to control their distance. They're not trying to encroach one way or the other too much, you know. This isn't. They're not running at each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's they're they're really respecting each other. Oh, in the upbeat ledge. Oh, Parmesan rolled up the sleeves. Okay. It's okay. Everybody. He's that guy. <laughs> the the sleeves are rolled up. This is this is looking a little crazy. It's like the light, right? Okay, yeah. dash attack. 198. Got him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. I mean, I feel like dash attack is a better kill move than I feel like people give it credit for. So maybe that's something to try to kind of keep an idea about, but it is just... It's I fast. Mean, that's the most important part. Yeah, it's, it's a fast first option that maybe you can catch Wello off with. But that's, yeah, yeah, that yeah. is something about this matchup is that, you know, pit dark pit like outside of obviously side b it's like they don't have the greatest kill potential in the world so it's you know it's gonna be a lot of that so i think a lot of this set is gonna come down to how patient we're going to be and duello's usage of the comeback mechanics with Link. like that follow up there gonna get a little bit of pressure on the platform parmesan gonna Ooh. find a fair all of that by the way for like eight percent yeah <laughs> Oh, jumping in on the down smash, looking it right in the eye. He's gonna be. Yeah. Hey. No, 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 this is the this is the, the exact spot you don't want to be in against Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah, the down B for Pit is actually like a really good landing option because if you break it, there's like pretty much no lag. You can immediately act, but the dash Ooh. dance dash attack. Duello gonna take the first game. Some right. some tricky movement. Yeah, no. I think there. I think Marshall was doing auto right during that set, but I think they can stand to be a little bit more, weirdly say, aggressive. Like yeah, yes, I he, think he actually should have been playing a little bit. I mean, like what, once you lost that lead in the second stock, yeah, he def definitely should have been playing more forward. Yeah, it's you know, yeah, like I under like against Sephiroth specifically, you don't want to be pushing it too much. You don't want to be doing this. You don't want to be doing that. But at the end of the day, it's like they're at 160, and you need to tie us up right now. So um, yeah. But I think that's something that we can really see see him kind of um, adapt to and, and, and see how this game two goes. That's a reminder, all pools are best of three, and then top 64 is top best of five. Is top 64 best of five? Yes, top 64 is best of five. So, I mean, this is so we'll... Are we good? Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how Parmesan is able to kind of adapt and kind of try to try to utilize the um, Ooh. 
here. Roll. It's not gonna. You can roll there after 11. Uh, what is it? 11 hits of the dash attack. You can roll. You get, you get a free punish. Not sure why he's not trying to go for the F match instead. There you go. Yeah. Now, what what are your thoughts of Battlefield first? Because I think Battlefield is a very interesting choice. Usually, Battlefield is good if you are trying to get away from a juggle because you have that top platform to land on, reset your jumps. So I do actually like the stage if you're feeling like Sephiroth's under is a problem. And that did seem to be a lot of what was causing Farmer Jones issues in that last game. Was, you know, oh, in the spike! Actually seeing the spike used as a spike, look at that. Um, no, I think it's, a, yeah, like, like there were a lot of situations. Um, because you have a, a great landing option that's very finite, being able to reset it on platforms. Yeah. It jumps back seemed like a pretty good idea. So. Oh, reading the run. Yeah, he, he has been getting a lot of tech chases actually. Backer's gonna finish the stock, but it has been adding him a lot of extra damage that normally a lot of hit players would not have been able to find. This. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that. We're starting to call up the jumps now. Follow's been doing a lot of jumps. Parmesan out, gonna find it. Parmesan yeah, keeps trying to go for these like really crazy custom like hit combos, and I'm really excited to see what more of them hits because I feel like if we can just get one and just like explode Sephiroth, like yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of there, there's a lot of reward there. Also, right. like Sephiroth's disadvantage just sucks, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you're able to like kind of do some things against a character that you wouldn't normally be able to do against, you know, a character like like Steve, for yes. instance, or a character like CSS, or like somebody who has a good disadvantage. Right. But Duel, I mean, I feel like Duel's doing a great job of keeping up, because this is like a, this this seems like it, can, it has the potential to be a very annoying matchup for, for, for Sephiroth. Yeah. So it's going to be very, it's very interesting to see how Duel is kind of adapting to this, but... Something that Parmesan has been struggling to do, which he is kind of struggling to do again, is just kind of close out stocks. Yeah, we're I love that call out for Duello. Yeah, we're already at like 130, and, and it's. I mean, we'll see. I mean, I like up there. I mean, for that. But like you said, it's that Ross's advantage is, is not the best, so maybe Parmesan didn't have a clear idea. It's like, well, I'll throw him up in the air, we'll see what happens. <laughs> yeah, I just. I, maybe this is like personal oh! preference. Oh! That's Again. gross. Yeah, Duello is just having like immaculate control of the game, you know? Like, you know, Sephiroth takes a lot of like self control to play because you can't yeah. just, you have to be very intentional about like how you're using your moves and throwing out the boxes and stuff. I feel like Duello's doing a great job of just kind of like, boxing him out. Keeping him at, at a good distance, not letting him do again crazy things like in the down air, into the air, yeah. into whatever from there, and then putting him in, in, good, in good situations where he can get that down. Air, you know, is that the second time he's gone down air. Hey, okay, finding the dash attack again. Parmesan gonna even up the stocks. I do like the way that Duello was playing with that mage. He literally was not approaching at all, which is what you need to be doing. But you should start to put on the hurt. See, I don't know how much Parmesan can cover from low though. Ah, he needs a full hop there to, to uh, get that down here. Find another air, gonna get it. Oh, it's a little bit late. Oh, the grab found it anyways. Johnny grab. That's crazy. Oh, but getting it. Ooh. Ooh, this is very scary for Duello. Ah, but unfortunately, Parmesan's position is not great. Duello's gonna find a punish here. Yeah, just parry down smash. Love that. Right. I think Parmesan was trying to get the tech chase, trying to read the tech chase there, but sadly. Yeah. Duello's on top of it. Back to neutral. Both players love resetting to neutral, by the way, I've kind of noticed. Yeah, no, I've, I've noticed that as well. It's like they're not trying to push their advantage too much. They're just, I got my hits in. The, yeah. Go back. Oh! oh ooh, just a tipper up till. Oh! Oh, oh that was amazing. <laughs> no, that was awesome. Shish kebab right there. Yeah! Shout out to Noello. Um, taking a 2-0 against, against Parmesan. Shout out to your local Afghani restaurant for those shish kebabs, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. No, not shocked. Duello is has been. It's just he, you know, he he's just always grinding. You know, he's he's not making the huge waves, but he's constantly grinding, constantly getting better. So, and and I think the way he was adaptating in that game was really, 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 really good. Yeah, know? the adaptations were crazy. Yeah. I mean, like he was super calm when down, which is I think a skill that is something that not a lot of players have. Yeah. 
is that he was not trying to force the issue and he was down, not trying to force any kills, even though it was really tempting, right? There were so many uh, situations where Parmesan was at like 130 plus, 140 plus, and, it's and so he was just chilling, piss yeah. chilling. Yeah, and it's so easy, like, I want to throw it out there. I want to throw out a uh, side yeah. B. I want to just charge up a neutral B and see what happens. But no, the patience was really good. And also good stuff for Parmesan as well. Again, I love seeing the pit in the dark pit. I think they're very underrated characters. And they were playing very well. Like, that's a, that's somebody who knows what they're doing. So best of luck at losers. Um, yeah. I think we can see some cool stuff from them later on. So We got um, one of the sickest players in Kentucky coming up, actually. I love Soup. It's Soup, man. Soup he's, is my go. He's also one of the funniest people I know, Basically too. the mascot. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, Sarensvet, this is somebody I know from Twitter, and that's about it. Yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure if my gust tells me right, they play... I'll say a sword. Sorty or something? I, we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out in a minute, but we definitely know who Soup is, and Soup is honorary HM. Um, or, 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 or legacy HM, I apologize. Um, oh, it's Fart Master 443. Cool. I think that Soup is, like, somebody who always has a chance to make like a ridiculous upset in bracket because the way he pushes advantage with villager is it's something insane. that i'm not sure that most people are ready for it is i i i legitimately like soup is the picture definition of a midwest hidden boss this is the yeah, exact yeah, yeah. type of player that people coming in from out of state or doing this or doing that is like yeah you know i'm gonna do good as event and you run the soup and it's like ah I got, I got gimmicked by the most aggro villager known to man. <laughs> yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see how, how Soup, you know, plays up to the competition. Um, since the last chill out, that was, uh, the last chill out was right around when Soup kind of really started breaking through and making, like, a, um, HM spots and such in Kentucky and becoming, like, um, um, becoming a part of the, yeah, like an HM. Um, for PR, so it's going to be interesting to see kind of how that plays out. Also, so the man could get its redemption from Chill Out One. <laughs> it looks like it's not Siren's Fed. I did recognize that tag. We got, we got the goat Fart Master 43. <laughs> if, if, <laughs> there's no is, way, right? There's that, no. That sounds like a soup tag, honestly. If, yeah. If, if 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 you ever wanted evidence that possibly the the, the bracket is is rigged, having soup play Fart Master 42. <laughs> Oh, the weak bit. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> that was interesting to see. Um, there we go. We got it the looks thumbs like up. both players are ready to go. We're gonna be. Did they pick PS2. I'm pretty sure they did. Wow. Uh, oh, oh no! Wait, wait, wait. We're on Snottlefield. My bad. Okay. So it's gonna be interesting to see. So, do you know anything about this match? Absolutely not. I know like a little bit about Weefit Trainer. Uh, I'm from NorCal, so I've watched my fair share of room matches, okay. but. Uh, Honestly, this matchup, yeah. probably decent for WeFit, right? Yeah, because um, I think this deep breathing does so much. I mean, you just become so average. You can just rush down and be so fast and have such, you know, it's interesting because Villager is so good at ledge, but WeFit yeah. is also so good at ledge, but the other way. It's um, probably honestly just one of those matchups that's just so unexplored that, like, you know, like any any kind of commentary on it just like, yeah, this relevant. this seems like something I would see in Tri State. This, 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 yeah, this, yeah, yeah. this is a Xanadu top 8 somewhere. <laughs> 35, by the way, from there to up tilt. Did you see that? I know, that was insane. Deep breathing. Yeah, no, deep breathing is easily one, one of the most untalk, like, not talked about broken mechanics in the game. It makes me fit. As People a talked about it during. Oh! Ooh. Just called out in second place. Look for forward smash here? Yeah. There it is. That's probably the best thing that Villager has in this matchup. Vill uh, Weefit's recovery is very telegraphed, so yeah. Bowling Ball is going to be a great option there. Unable to get the Nair to up air. No, Soup has been doing a great job of pocketing these uh, these, these uh, soccer balls. The, the thing I wonder, and I, I just actually don't know, that if you pocket football, do you... Does Weefit get another one? Or is it kind of like crap or something? Probably. Because I know there are certain matches where Villager can pocket yeah, like um, you can just steal something. You can pocket like like uh, K Rule's crown, and K Rule just can't get it back. You know. Yeah. Well, we'll see. I mean, not actually 100% sure. This is like you know a good one. Things where you're not 100% prepared to uh, talk about the Villager we fit matchup. Because I don't <laughs> think most people are. But I mean, this is this is a top 64 qualifier. There is there is quite a bit it's on the list for qualifier. Yeah. It, yeah, it, it, it is a top 64 qualifier, which means that there's just, there just a lot of writing on this. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of how these players deal with the nerves of all of this. I don't I don't believe that Soup has ever had nerves in his life. I, I don't believe that, man. 
<laughs> I'll miss it oh, down spike. Spaghetti. Oh, you know, if Fort Master did the grab a fourth or a fifth time, maybe. <laughs> Back throw from Fart Master, gonna charge up the Dude went station. to the Music King school of grabbing. <laughs> yeah, true. That backer, by the way, busted. Actually, like a busted move. And yeah. a great out of shield option, too. People, like, don't understand it. You can't cross up Wii Fit because the backer out of shield is just actually more threatening. Gonna get the roll read, though, in soup, and we're technically at an even game. I mean, yeah, we're uh, stock wise, right, even, but I mean, soup's at 141. Wii Fit has deep breathing. Yeah, also Villager not really a character known to put on damage quickly, so yeah. it would have been very difficult for Soup to get back. Yeah, so Fart Master takes game one. Now, the thing I do think, now, the thing that we're going to be looking at for this game possible, game two possible, game three, yeah. is this is a Mickey Mouse matchup if I've ever seen one. It is a Mickey Mouse so matchup. So it's going to be interesting to see what can Soup gain and, and, and how can Soup get out, because I feel like that's a very, I mean, Soup is a very, is character, plays Villager, all that, but legitimately he's, a very, he's very good at this game. Yeah. And that should be taken very seriously, and his adaptation specifically of learning things in the set and then using one, Villager's odd go. and wacky existence against that is something that I think is one of his strongest qualities to play. So it's going to be interesting to see in this game too, kind of what what he does to, to try to make this work different. <laughs> and yeah, we're already seeing that. That one seeing... Jab 2 was crazy. Yeah, that we're already seeing it. it. He's, he's adapting in only ways that Villager can, you know? I love the use of the dash attack there. Gonna find a frame trap. Oh, oh the reach! Too. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah, no, we're Production's working. literally jumping up in their chairs right now <laughs> with like just a random air dodge read. Uh, we'll see, but this is already this already just feels like a very different game. This does not feel like the same soup we saw in, in game one. Yeah, and honestly, when you're up a game and your opponent just kind of starts playing like this, you actually kind of get a little scared. Oh yeah. There you go, but that's the thing about Weefit. Weefit just gets the deep breathing off of um, off the Angel Flat, so it's... Yeah, true. Whoa! Whoa. Ooh, <laughs> that reverse there was disgusting. How does he know that? How can he combo off a tree into Pangair? What is he doing? And that should uh -oh. be a kill. Yeah, charge forward this smash. This is such a different game. Yeah. This is... We, we, we are in the soup dimension, and we're just living it. If I was Fart Master right here, I'd probably just try my best to kind of calm Soup down and not interact with him. Try and ice yeah. him out maybe a little bit. I love the yeah. couch there. You know, that's the thing about Wii Fit is, is, is Wii Fit so polarizing. It. It's so polarizing on the fact that you can be, you can be, you can blank, you can be super non-aggressive, or you can get yeah. the breathing and just run in and do damage. And I think, I think Fart Master could definitely stand to play the other side of that a bit. I like the way that Fart Master positioned himself around the bowling ball there. Yeah, I see, like, the way that he's, like, I I understand that you're, like, kind of down right now, so you want to, like, try and make some risks, but I think that you should just try and ice him out. I don't know. Calm, yeah. calm Soup down, because Soup is just going crazy right now. Definitely. And, you know, Soup does need a, bit, a, a pretty big read to try to make any... any I mean, I'm not, like... Eight. At 98, you can just chip him out, right? Yeah, but, like... Not quite gonna do it. Gonna get a free sun charge of sun salutation. Yeah, Fart Master could definitely stand to play this play this game. Yeah, for the soup the takes it. Though? We're going we're going to Yeah. So yeah, we're going to we're going to game three, and I think the big thing is that Fart Master needs to start playing the game on their terms, you know? Yeah. If One, I would pick a stage with platforms. Yes. Two, uh yeah, definitely I would try and like calm soup down a little bit. Make sure that the game is played at your pace instead of at his pace, because Soup right. was able to play at a pace that he was very comfortable. With. I think that's the main deciding match, uh, like um, the deciding factor in this in this matchup and in this set is like when Fart Master, when Fart, sorry, when Fart Master is being able to play on their on their terms and at their speed, it's really hard for Soup to kind of get the big reads that he wants. Uh -huh. If Soup can do that, then Fart Master's just kind of lagging behind a bit, so... But I do think we're in a, we're in a kind of favorable situation, because Fart Master gets that stage pick, you know, gets to be on, on, on their home base. So it's going to be interesting to see see how this how this game 3 goes. Winner moves on the top 20, or top 64 winners. I like this Battlefield pick. What if actually, I, I guess Battlefield is wrong with Dams. Yeah, I, I don't I don't think Soup would let, but let Dams. Battlefield. I like the use of there. There was I able to get a follow up, but the idea was great. There you go. Just you're in the slingshot zone. Yeah. Also, something that we didn't talk about—the reason why platforms are so important—is because the air extensions on platforms are actually like disgusting. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, I'm at. Oh, and the up shield calling out the jump. Super is doing so many jumps out, out of Lloyd. This is exactly what we were saying. Fart Master playing on their terms, not letting Super play the game. You know. Okay, 
you're gonna find the flat drop up there. Ah, uh, Zoom, unable to kind of catch uh, Fartmaster's landing. Fartmaster gonna be able to get advantage all of a sudden. That was really tricky from Zoom, oh, though. Oh, the spot dodge! Oh, with, with the firework, Zoom, it, it, it's pretty I mean, it, it, uh, 71 percent percent deficit is not the best in the world, but yeah. Zoop has come back from worse. Oh, getting on lights, that was scary. And the trees up. That's been another thing, Zoop, Zoop has been, like, this is a hard matchup to get tree up, you know? With the constant pressure of, like, Sun Salutation and Soccer Ball, like... Yeah, you're kind of incentivized not to let them charge for free. Right. And so it's been hard to get, like, Tree up, you know, because Zoop is yeah. a completely different player when he has Axe. <laughs> okay, gonna find Fair Dash Attack. Ooh, but again! Ooh, Whoa! Seen, uh, seen Farmmaster kind of get out of some jungles that I feel like Soup should be on top of. I mean, it is kind of hard to blend the two. Oh, and the forward air off stage. That's a yeah. Soup. Really greedy, uh, deep breathing there from Farmmaster. But I understand, like, you don't you don't want to get any more than that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Master kind of going for it. Ah, uh, unable to get the grab and Soup also kind of flubbing his combos a little bit. Could have put on a lot of hurt, but we'll throw a bit of fight deep breathing. Let's see if Fartmaster's able to get some kind of ledge trap going, but Soup's usage of Lloyd to kind of make things tricky has been super yeah. good. Oh, that was insane! Using the bowling ball to knock the soccer ball out of the way and then going for the, the tipper forward air. Yeah, and already insane. finding 30, getting air forward, so suddenly Fartmaster is kind of back in this game. Yeah, it feels very even. I mean, obviously the, the, the percents are a little one-sided, but this feels just like... Both these players really are starting to understand each other what their new plans are. It just feels, now it doesn't feel like one person playing the game. It's like it's going back and forth. Yeah, and as you say, the percents are even. So you're gonna find a narrow out of shields. Okay, able oh, to get the no. tech smash, but that's not quite gonna do it. Not quite, but the tree is on one and the axe kill! Oh Luke takes it over Fartmaster, moving on into top 64. Oh, that's a crazy statement to say, by the way. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, Soup's use of the Max, like you were saying, was uh, on point, able to find the Axe as a follow-up. He is a different man when he got Tree up. No, but great stuff for Farmaster as well. Like, that is yeah, that it, is a weird matchup, and I, I think he was playing it really, really, really well. So good stuff from him. In game one in particular, he was just kind of putting on a clinic on, like, just uh, basic Wii Fit stuff. Like, his Nair conversions, especially in games one and three, his Nair conversions were on point. I think... Honestly, it kind of sucks to say this as an adaptation thing. Should have just banned FD. That, that's just not a good stage where we fit. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is. It is just kind of rough, you know. Yeah. But tis the nature RPS having stage striking, you know. But no, great stuff out of soup. Um, and yeah, that was a really exciting set. So good luck to him in in, in top 64, you know. Yeah. Making waves. Soup also kind of somebody who I think like I, I was saying this early at the beginning of the set. Soup is somebody who like. You're never surprised to see him in top eight, but you're always surprised to see the person that he beat to get into top eight. You're like, damn, Soup beat that guy? Are you I know, right? Me? Yeah, like, like it is, it is kind of crazy. Um, so it's uh, yeah, it's gonna be very exciting to see. Yeah, production going up on stream. Okay, uh, is that a rig bracket or what? <laughs> Can't believe production put themselves on stream like that. We'll Nobody see. would ever do that for somebody, <laughs> Talmo. We'll see um, who we got up next. But yeah, like so, just. Within even these first two sets, we're just already seeing people are swinging, you know? People are, are, are making big swings. I mean, Duello is... It, it, it's interesting. Yeah. We're seeing a very diverse character pool, you know? I feel like that's something that um, is is kind of a, a thing of this region. If you look at this region on paper and you look at the characters that people play, you're like, ugh, are you kidding me? Look at, especially in Kentucky, especially in Louisville. Uh, you're like, ugh, look at this character pool. But, you know, people are actually uh, quite aggressive with their characters, I would say. Yeah. Also, I just realized, Master 42, his only pronoun was him. That's actually so good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's him. Oh, here we go. We got Burke. We got Mike's Pepsi. Everybody give it up for Mike's Pepsi. This I love. This is the greatest thing ever. Mike might oh, be the mind. most liked it's, player. It's oh, it's sync it up. Okay, I was there about to say. There we go. Hey, Darn. we So, but, so yeah. no, Nothing against sync it up, but Mike's Pepsi is, like, I think the most liked player in the region. Oh, yeah. I, literally, like, nobody has had to see Mike on stream. I hope we get to see him at some point. But, yeah. Um. Uh, but no, yeah, like, when, I mean, you talk about, like, I, I've been to Columbus level and I've seen things. Mostly ice climbers and people. 
Rams. So, <laughs> shout out to Ohio. I want to show you a uh, let me show you a top eight that we had recently. Uh, let's see if I can't find it. So Zinkin up's gonna be playing Greninja. They're, they they are like very much like the Kentucky Ohio dual blood. So it's gonna be interesting interesting to see. Um, if you want to talk about a, a, a Kentucky classic, it is Kentucky is. It was Bowser's. We've kind of beat the Bowser allegations a little bit, but we got we got we got sync it up. We got a lot of Greninjas. We're gonna be seeing a lot of Greninjas on screen, which yeah. is great. Yeah, this is a uh, Greninja Falcon. Yes, Burke I believe is, uh, Falcon so. Player. Yes, as yeah. A, uh, yeah. From from my last understanding, Burke plays. It's like Burke and Goldstone, if I remember correctly, are like the Falcons of Kentucky that are yeah. like amazing. This yeah. is a ridiculously hard matchup for Falcon, though, if this yeah. is the case. Falcon already kind of uh, struggles against characters that are shorter. Greninja crouches amazing and yeah, that dash attack yeah falcon does a great job when he can be the aggressor in the one running up and dash attacking and getting those combos yeah 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 but when somebody can out hate him like greninja or like mithra or something it's like ooh, that's, yeah that's like greninja rough. roy mithra those like shorter characters who are fast is something yeah. that falcon really Cheek, struggles like, with Cheek, yeah it's um this is definitely looking like a good good matchup for sync it up but you know who knows that that's the interesting thing about like and stuff is like it really is you can see so much different types of, of, of game you know smash is always entertaining as long as the two people playing are of similar skill levels and you get to see a lot of different types of smash because of it so i'm really interested to see how this matchup would look different than Turek and jock and, and jock you know, like, you know, yeah. it's gonna look very different but it's gonna be very exciting so and it's not to say that these players are either like you know bad players. I mean, they're oh, both PR level, both, both if not PR level, then like most PR level oh, players, right? Burke oh, yeah. has been on the PR uh, quite a few times, and I don't think it up is Ohio. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so they're from Ohio. Right? They're from Ohio, but also competed a lot of Kentucky as well. So it's going to be interesting to see. Three, We're jumping into it on PS2. Two, one, so what do you think is like Burke's kind of main goal in this matchup? Because grab. <laughs> grab. <laughs> Falcon, Falcon wants one thing, uh, like kind of around those like 20, because at zero, you can get down throw dash attack as Falcon against pretty much every character, but it's not as amazing as getting a grab of the one. Yeah, I mean, some things never change, but Falcon wants the grab. Yeah, they're gonna find the dash attack is sneaking up. Already getting the loops. Yeah, they seem to be on point with. Oh! Almost finds the air dodge read, not quite, and... Oh, and getting the up the off stage. Sync it up is just, oh, it's just on fire already. Yeah, and you can see the disadvantage for Falcon is just kind of uh, impossible to deal with in this matchup. You can already see that dash attack is uh, putting on the hurt for Burke. Okay, four insults. Let's I see. like the uh, attempts there from the roll lead in. If that Nair one had connected, that was probably a kill. Nair one following up, or E, I think, kills there. Ward smash. Yeah, that's going to be another stock. And sync it up is just absolutely putting on the damage here. Going to find dash attack to back there. Almost got the kill there, too. Going to find another tech chase. Burke is just not able to play the game right now. Uh, yeah, the, and yeah, like like this just seems like 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 sync it up. Just they just seem like it's at home, you know. Yeah. They are just doing exactly what they want to do. Yeah, yeah I like the MC pop grab from Burke, but unable to get a follow up off that. And that's the thing, right? Greninja is just a character that's really hard to keep in advantage for long. And sync it up has been using ledge options very well. They've been able to get out of disadvantage with ease pretty much. Oh, going for the up tilt, I mean, that's a good idea. And, and this, this is kind of like a situation you want to be in. I, I think Falcon does pretty good with Greninja when Greninja is above him, because he can juggle the pairs and stuff. Yeah. And, and, get, and try to go for like uppy, uppy shenanigans, because all Greninja has is like, I mean, he can go invisible. So, so he has a pretty good disadvantage out of it, but still, Falcon has a lot of pressure from like second stage. Oh, going for the stomp. Oh, <laughs> the stomp kills, okay. The raw stomp on stage. That's crazy. Yeah, something that I would like to see for, I obviously, may, maybe not in this game, but in the game two is, I know Falcon's dashback isn't good, but oh. I think that's not going to do it though. Yeah, Burke still has a jump. Making it back. Yeah, uh, the upper should do it though. Yeah. yeah. Going to get the uh, jump read and disadvantage. Going to find the upper. Something I would like to see Burke doing though, is kind of calling out the uh, dash attack with like either just walking 
and uh, walking backwards and shielding, or dashing back, kind of, I understand Falcon's dash back isn't amazing, but right. you can still risk it and, uh, with punish, maybe, uh, the second disadvantage option after the dash attack. Yeah, that's the thing, it's like, as in, like, for Ninja's best move is dash attack, and, and it is insane, and it can do all these crazy things, so you yeah. just have to be ready for it, you know? Particularly in this matchup, where oh, yeah. Falcon's grounded options aren't amazing, and they're very telegraphed, you're either going to, like, you're going to be seeing him looking for a first option, so, maybe not giving like, uh, one thing. It's... Right. You, know, it's, you, can, you just can't throw in like Raptor boosters. Yeah. Like, okay, I oh. love that gentleman follow up. There. Yeah, this already feels all, like just already feels like, a lot better and a lot more kind of back and forth. I think the stage pick as well helps a lot. Yeah, and that should. Oh, I just needed to run a little bit farther forward, and that would have probably been a trick. Yeah, he's amazing. Oh, but going for the going for the up, that's amazing. The Falcon Kick! That's what yeah. I wanted to see. That's what I wanted to see. I, th I think Falcon Kick. Um, Oh, kick reads play so hard in this matchup. It's just something that if you're not ready for it, yeah, you're just gonna die for right. like very early percentages. I, th I think Kalos is a great pick. Yeah, it is Falcon's best stage. It's not even close. Yeah. Those platforms, side platforms, are really good for upper follow-ups. And the wall jump uh, makes Falcon's recovery a lot better. And oh, gonna find the air dodge read down throw D. Is it the same set? Is it the same thing? This is this is night and day from the from 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 the last game. What is going on? Something that Falcon always has in every single matchup, no matter how bad, is he is one of the best characters in the game at following up off of a read. Gonna get a combo off the no tech. Ooh. Gonna find a backer off of the directional air dodge. Sync it up. Just can't get out disadvantage. Yeah, they're actually just spamming air dodge too. <laughs> I, uh, Burke has been doing a good job. Nice scar jump. Not gonna find a hit off of it. Oh, Burke! Burke wants it. Burke wants it. Burke wants to hit sweet spot knee so badly. Yeah, Sega so has to watch out also for up smash as well. Same hitbox in the entire game. He yeah, kills. up smash kills here, knee kills here, back air kills here, but also okay. Tipper up smash kills here. Now suddenly those moves don't kill as well. Sega up is... on the board. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that fort is crazy actually. Ooh, Shadow Sneak almost getting like a weird gimp there. They get up kind of finding their footing just a little bit. Oh, but getting... Yeah, no, the, the, the aerial, like, uh, Falcon has been putting in work for landing. And then air dodge uh, read into the back air, yeah. That's crazy. I I have no clue how this game 3 is going to go. <laughs> I think that Sync It Up just got to watch their air dodges and disadvantage. It looked like they were panicking in places where they could have kind of forced their way out, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, a, a, a fastball narrow disadvantage would have uh, been okay, but every single time they seem to just opt for a directional air dodge, which is kind of not what you want to be looking for. Especially against Falcon, who is one of the best characters at punishing air dodge in the whole game. Yeah. I mean, you know, like the classic Smash 4 uh, combo, like down throw air dodge read knee, which is actually something yeah. that, that's how I know Burke played Smash 4 is, because that's not <laughs> something that Ultimate Falcons do a lot. Oh, that's fun. So it's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting, but you know it's 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 a tug of war right now, and, and game one was super on one side, game two was on super on the other. So looks yeah. like we're going. Back. I think I saw it. Going back. Say town. Town should be a good stage for Greninja. There is something. I might that... have lied. Oh, I think we're going. Yeah, we're just going to this battle. Yeah. That's a, actually funny enough. That's actually the stage we've seen the most so far. Yeah, no, but this is definitely a sync it up because they get up to go back to the PS2. Yeah. But the dual the dual clock stage is really putting the trend work for them, so it's gonna be interesting. I definitely think we're gonna see a lot more of like one shuriken trying to kind of space it out, keep him out, keep her guessing on, on on his approach options and stuff. Interesting get up attack there. I'm not sure I think it would work. Great call out on the on, on the fountain kick, but Burke being able to get off a good that's it. Ooh, big up smash. Yeah, it did a lot of damage. Honestly, it didn't really uh, accomplish much, but it did, it did do a lot of damage. Mental damage is probably that. <laughs> oh yeah, psychic damage for sure. Yeah, so this feels... Yeah, no, I can definitely tell that Sync It Up is very much at home with this. This feels like a pretty good stage. They yeah. like their dual plats, and they're very much at home with it, but Burke seems to be playing around it a lot better. Yeah, this is a, a stage layout that Falcon does enjoy. Burke should still have this one. Uh, and no. no smash. There we go. Take the stock. The biplat of the stage layout is something that Falcon does like. The combo routes are okay on this stage. Oh, yeah, I've not been liking these. I, I know the, the first two have hit. I just have not been liking these get up attacks at all. Yeah, it feels a little, it feels a little silly. Hey, okay, Falcon. Much. 
There you yeah. go. Yeah, Falcon kick in the air. Why not? Sure. Also, Falcon, when he has Rage, loses a lot of his combo routes, actually. So it is good that you finish the stock up before too much Rage is applied. Yeah. Yeah, see, like, right there, if that was literally at zero, then that, uh, uh bear up here would have connected. Oh, wow. Yeah, Sinking up, like, up is just doing a great job of keeping Falcon off the ledge, you know? Falcon has so many options. Yeah. And, and they are just, like, whittling them down. And the up smash! This I think that's, uh, Greninja's best, uh, thing is just, like, with punishing characters who are in the air and just, like, kind of mashing a button. Oh, yeah. Because the Greninja has so many options to uh, be able to deal with that. Yeah, deal with like a bad air, like a bad yeah. air dodge, or, or just like a bad trip, like bad or, nair or something like yeah, that. Yeah, like like Greninja can just run up, look it up till do nair, do an up air, dash or, attack, dash attack, and wait and get a grab. It's insane. Okay. I like the attempt for the back air there. You don't lose a lot of stage control, but just you know what? The 2008. I love it. Yeah. Oh, we're seeing it again. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah, it, it is here at game three. Stop. Yeah. I, I think Sync It Up is just not ready for the option to hold forward. Or... Yes. Like, like this is a situation where if you just want to activate Hyper Aggro and just see what happens, I mean, go for it, you know? I mean, yeah, you're Falcon. It's one of the characters that, like, you're kind of okay with them because you always have the potential to just rob a stock from somebody. Yeah. Barely getting out of the way. Great, like, like great aerial movement. Oh, but it's super close, but Burke makes it back. No jump, but is able to re-grab the ledge. This is a re-grab, and the down tilt forward is going to seal it. Pick it up, takes it. Yeah. Very, very competitive set between it. But it just seems like, like a, a sick it up had a lot more control over the neutral and control over Burke's kind of movements and ability, ability to move. Yeah, the early lead that they were able to set up in game three was a little too much. A uh, Falcon's just, ah, uh, man. It's 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 just rough to play with rage with Falcon. Yeah. So it, it's kind of uh, unless you're like you know hitting somebody with like knee at 40 at ledge that like just will kill out of nowhere. Like <laughs> we got my boy Primal coming up. He's oh. uh, oh, gave me the shout out. Love we that man. Primal. We got Dark Wizzy. Primal versus Wizzy, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna be seeing Roy versus Mario. Yeah, Dark Wizzy is gonna have a lot of experience with this. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of played a lot of, of of Roy's in his time, so it's going to be interesting to see. Something that Primal does have, the classic trope of Sorties versus Mario is favorable for Sorties. The way that... So I, I used to watch like a ton of Dark Wizzy, so something that he has over every Mario in the world, including like Mario's like Karama, is his neutral. Dark Wizzy's yeah. neutral is ridiculous. Yeah. So we're going to see how Primal's able to deal with that. Primal, also a very neutral focus player, very patient, able to take his time and knows when to pick his spots. But when you're playing that kind of game against somebody who is yeah. one of the like better players in the Midwest at doing that. Oh, absolutely. Then, uh, and especially in a matchup where, yes, like Wolfway probably has a favorable matchup against Mario. But with this like neutral versus neutral, it's like you have fireball, yeah. you have out of like crazy out of shield options, you have this explosiveness with Mario. It's gonna be interesting to see. Especially because like, you know, like Dark Wizzy is very much not at the peak that they once were at. In, in the in the scale of the Mario Summit, you know, no longer the best Mario. No yeah. longer the best Mario and stuff. But, but still got it. But still got it. I mean, I mean, I mean, they're run at like a at, at a, like I believe it was like a low tech city. I believe they got second yeah. recently. Only the Shattuck was like there. <laughs> uh, you know, I feel like people kind of just sleeping on Dark Wizzy a little bit. It's like no, this is yeah. still this guy still has it. He can he, he's playing Stop one of the most underrated characters in the game, in my opinion. And, it's like when people say that like like LeBron or something like that. It's like not like a, you know, like top 10, top 10 like, player in the world anymore. It's like, yeah, yeah, LeBron's been playing for a while, but you know, he's still got it. This oh, isn't like Wizards Jordan or anything or Celtic Shaq. Absolutely. Just gonna be interesting to see. As the third seed, it looks like we're just gonna punch. Yeah. If you are primal, you want to go on any stage that is not a Smashville variant. Uh, those are, I mean, you see like in the uh, set Krama versus Leo, the yeah. like the one from, uh, 2019 or something like that. The oh, one where the, the, the big upset, yeah, the crossbite. Prodigy, those were the stages, yeah. yeah. Yeah, back when his tag was Prodigy. That was, uh, those were the stages that he was able to take the biggest advantage of Leo on. And I feel like that's been the highest set of, like, kind of, you know,
know, Sword ish character versus Mario. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. Yeah. It, is it, it, it is Leia's Mario. But yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to be. Yeah, because like, those central paths have such like low platforms. You're yeah. able to get so much off of it. I mean, I was watching some like Meat Brawler earlier, and that's very similar where you're fishing for those up tilts, fishing for those up airs to try to get that up beat. The only difference yeah, the only difference is that Mario's doesn't kill and uh, Thrupper kills at like 60, so you know. Right, but Mario's a bit more of a, of a or, I don't know, all around yeah. character has fireballs. Yeah, so Mario's kill converts are also horizontal, not vertical, right? Where you get like up air and air into up air or something like that. Right. So we'll see, but immediately we're, we're, we're in this game one. Once again, a top 64 qualifier. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna get a quick follow up, double up air from Primal. No, no, yeah, Primal was already doing a great job of not running in and hitting with your face, which is um, yeah. a really important thing to know as Roy, who yeah. is the character that does that, is to know what yeah. not to. Something that Wizzy's going to need to adjust to is kind of that Pri Primal is not a person who will just run in and like, or did you raise oh! up and there, there, forward there, did I not tell you? There we go, Am I not that right guy? then and there. Bobby Scar. Ah. Yeah, I mean, I, that, that's a difference maker. Dark Wizzy is just ready for me, you know? That's good. That is legitimately the, the, the huge difference maker when it comes to, like, top players. Players like Primal that are very good, not of Dark Wiz Wizzy's kind of caliber. It's like Dark Wizzy is, like, ready for that, you know? Without yeah, yeah, sweat. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, the shield. Wizzy loves that option. Oh, yeah. I think more than any other Mario in the world. Okay, chair from Primal. Not gonna get the sweet spot though. Like that is like one of the idiosyncrasies that makes Dark Squiz and Mario their own. And comparatively, like no tech Karama Snow is like love those up the outer shields. And then like it does so good for like positioning. Especially for this because like um because Roy doesn't have too many landing options, all things considered, besides like Nair. Um, and especially in this matchup, that can be very scary landing as 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 Roy. Oh, we got a little bit of spaghetti going on right now. Primal able to punish the uh, up beam with the side B. Not the best punish in the world, but able to get at least a little bit of damage. I like the movement from Primal going on right now. Dark, Dark Wizzy is oh in the other yeah. side. Dark Wizzy's doing a great job of keeping Primal guessing yeah, yeah, by yeah. throwing out a million options. Dark Wizzy is mashing a little bit, but is mashing with intent to try to, you know, he was throwing out a lot of hack airs and a lot of down tilts and stuff to make me kind of not ready for the up smash, you know? Yeah, and Primal's just got to know better. I mean, we're at 145, you cannot be above Mario. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, oh, Primal got back again. up over there, yeah. Yeah, Dark Wizzy is not here to play. <laughs> that is the worst click I've ever seen. I hate that so what much. That? What was that, like, I four tilt and this jab? Game. What was that? <laughs> oh, but you're, you're in the Mario zone. Yeah, you know that. Okay, ah, Wizzy really. Okay, so I remember like a few years ago, Wizzy would like uh, was talking on Twitter that he really did not like going for up the after up or upper because he wants to like look for landing options, and I guess he changed his mindset on that. I think it's something where it really comes down to like your use, like your your conditioning for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and what your opponent is like prepared for. Because I do think a lot of Mario's would just auto go oh up here up here okay I'm gonna go for up the but to wait and to catch the landing and then go for something bigger then. Like, I, I, I can understand the mindset. Oh, in the back I think that was unsuckable? Yeah, it was, it was, it was like, I think it was like, oh, front tap Yeah. The presence of mind for Wizzy to, uh, go for that. Yeah. But I mean, Primal taking a stock, you know? I think that that's like, uh, I don't know, I don't think that gives uh, no, enough credit to Primal. Primal's a good player. Oh, yeah, I imagine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, it was playing neutral pretty well. Yeah. I think that he chose some bad spots to kind of land on Dark Wizzy, and obviously Wizzy got a lot of momentum early in the game with the upper and air forward air combo. Right. Yeah, but like some of Primal's, like especially like within like that first like 10, 10 20 seconds. Like Primal, yeah, he was looking good. Yeah, like Primal really was like throwing out some great options. Yeah. Give me see. This is a good stage. I think this is a great pick for from from, from from Primal. Yeah. Um, it gives you some recovery mix-ups if you're worried about. Uh, is this an edge guard flow chart? So I kind of think that that's kind of what Primal was concerned about in that game. Yeah. And Love it's that forward air yeah. jump to either. Ooh, barely. Not quite, but. Yeah. But like, I think a lot of like Primal's like neutral wins and like strong options are coming from horizontal kind of 
aerial mix-up of stuff, whether it's the, the, the Nair or the, or the forward air or land to go for a grab. And this is what Palace is so good at. Palace is good at actually being on the ground. Even more than something like that. But there you go, yeah, Wizzy holding and, 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 and waiting for the landing option, hitting the two up airs and trying to fish the third one. Yeah. For the also, something that Kalos takes out is that Wizzy on another stage would have been able to call for a down tilt up air into down air, and that probably would have killed. Yeah. Uh, but unable to do that on this stage, Kalos is a big stage. Again, yeah, 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 jumping when you're at a high percent versus Mario, you can't be doing that. This is like uh, rule one of the matchup. Yeah. But, okay, oh, one jab back here. Here we go. But I think Wizzy's doing a good job of not being too. of not fishing for that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's only going for it when he knows it's gonna hit, and he knows it's gonna work. Yeah, he's definitely uh, using conditioning very well to kind of put primal in spots where he feels like he has to jump and then go smash it. Yeah. Absolutely. But I mean, they're keeping it pretty even. I mean, pretty even percent, two stocks. Yeah, love that jump back corridor. Primal able to keep advantage here. Gonna find a dash dance grab. I love Primal's movement right now. Actually holding advantage very well. Unable to get the ledge trap, but still has stage control. This is where you want to be. Right, oh, he's gonna find the dance. Double oh, dance. Primal is up a stock against Dark Wizzy. This is interesting. This is and, and like has like so much, like so much like extra percent as well to play with. Like like Wizzy needs to make some plays to even get him to to, to kill for something. Or just that. <laughs> Yeah, getting hit by that, that that's a perfect percent to get by back air forward air. But I mean, we're at, we're at last stock. I mean, let's see. Primal's been playing like, very well. I think the cow's kind of been so well. Yeah, okay, great spot dodge there from Primal. Able to get Wizzy off in just a second. Wizzy finding that down air. I don't like Primal going for the shield grabs either. Something that you have to just kind of assume. Uh, top players will assume, uh, usually you can assume that they'll be safe on shield. So I kind of would, you know, different out of shield option. Be something like, uh, I do think it's interesting. Dark Wizzy is not throwing out as many fireballs as I thought. Yeah, you can't, I, I, I just don't think that Roy's going to give you the space usually to throw out fireballs. I see. Very fast character, you know? Yes, it's like, it's it, it, very committed. You throw it out, you miss. And you yeah, you just get whiff punished, and it's just, yeah. you, you, you eat a bunch of damage. Okay, I love yeah. that back air. It's something that Wizzy has been doing really, really well, which is the, the one thing that Mario has, is that he's been outboxing uh, Primal very, very well. Able to use these back airs, able to use the nares and jabs. Kind of to get Primal off of his case a little bit. Another shield grab from Primal. Take the dash attack, getting it should the, be it. the flood. Yep. There we go. Dark Wizzy taking it to 2-0, moving on in the top 64. Primal though, like really put yeah. a, a, a really, really, really great fight. The biggest thing in that matchup was that Dark Wizzy was able to get kills kind of at like those 60% ranges, yeah. where you really shouldn't be losing stocks at those percent. But his combo game is so like, uh, he, he knows his percent so well it's that very he was like, able to just like, okay, I hit the backer, it's, bam, you're It's dead. very like refined and held back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dark yeah. Wizzy's very precise. He's only going for it, going for combos that he knows are gonna work, and for yeah. that only he's comfortable with. He's not overextending. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, also yeah. not underextending. He's going. He's like, I know I'm gonna hit these things. And very I'm confident. For... Yes, very, 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 very. And that's something I see kind of other Mario's maybe struggle with a bit is oh, that overextension, going for that extra upper, trying to go for that extra grab, or who knows, you know? So great, great, great set between the both of them. Dark Wizzy yeah. moving on in the top 64. I mean, third seed, you know, to be expected. It's gonna be interesting to see how he plays throughout the rest of bracket. Yeah, Primal somebody who I would say is, I would say is a lock for top 32, uh, based on the way that I've seen him play. Uh, he is somebody that I think has a very good base game plan. That is something that like not a lot of people are ready for. Uh, yeah, no, I could definitely I could definitely tell he plays Roy in 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 a way you wouldn't expect. Somebody yeah, just like super neutral heavy neutral and like a lot of dashbacks. I would even like very like I don't know if this makes sense, but like very goblin esque, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah on yeah. like the two sides of Roy of like of like Cola Goblin, we're on the goblin side of which much more kind of pulled back and precise compared yeah. to. He's run. not just like running forward. He's not like mashing buttons. He's not like fighting his demons in his sleep, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. So gonna be interesting to see. Oh, here we go. We got we got Doctor Curb and Palatipus coming up on stream. Platypus okay. is one of my goats, by the way. Best Palutena in the region. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think he's on... Is he on Sora now? I believe so. I believe he's kind of going back and forth. We'll see. I will have... 
happily, as a Sora main, I will happily take a Sora on stream. They got Dr. Curb, who's uh, who's Falco. So, I yeah. Think, yeah, Falco. As a, uh, I think Falco, Palu is like, it's it's okay for, uh, pa Palu obviously has like, you know, uh, decent options in that matchup, but I actually think Sora probably is a little bit better, honestly. Absolutely. I mean, what, what do you think about the Sora Falco matchup since you're a Sora player? Um, I think it is annoying for all parties. <laughs> Um, okay. But I think I think Sora has it, especially because um, it depends on the Falco and the, how the Falco plays. Yeah. If the Falco, it's really annoying and really hard if the Falco is playing like excruci excruciatingly patient. Yeah. Like doing laser spam, going for for down bees, and just like really like playing the long game with it, it can be really tough. But I think like if Sora really knows, it can get a good understanding of what Falco's gonna get in. It's it's pretty it's pretty hard to come back because like. Um, because of the floatiness, Sora is kind of hard to combo at times with Falco. And along with that, like, you can't get any, like, Falco loves to jump off stage and get, like, forward, full air, like, um, edge guards and stuff and go for off stage. And Sora just can go anywhere he wants. So it's really, it's really tough. Also, Sora really, like, invalidates stuff like side B as, like, a movement tool and a combo tool. Um, that's something we see a lot, especially, like, uh, Masa do a lot, which is, like, side B, side B into, like, back air to get, like, a kill from, like, Sora's very good at, like, keeping that as just a non-option. And then what do you think about the way that, like, because you, you explained that, like, there are different kinds of ways that Sora can play based on the way that Falco plays. How do you think, oh, we are going to be getting the Palu, okay. Okay. Uh, but what we'll... do you think of the way that, like, uh, Dr. Kurt plays in terms of the way he plays Falco? Because he's, he's also Ohio, I would assume. Yeah, I, to be honest, I've actually, just uh, being real, I've not seen much Dr. Dr. Kurt play. I'm very interested to see. Yeah, he was seated very like. highly from this event, from what I understand. Yeah, yeah, like, he's seated, seated like, above, like, fair. Yes. Yeah. Um, obviously, I mean, top 64 qualifiers. Again, Three, really good. Two, They'll be interested to kind of see him dissect yeah. as the set goes on. But if I just had to take a guess based off like the region and stuff, he's keeping playing pretty carefully. You know, Ohio is a very, a, it's a, it is a annoyingly explosive region. You have snakes and and, 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 and and brawlers and stuff all over the place. So I'm expecting her to play just a little bit pay, more patient. But getting these steps, like getting these steps, like down airs and stuff, like. Yeah, if Dr. Kerb is doing anything but playing Clayton right now, honestly, he is holding advantage. And gonna find the side B to backer, and Lucian backer is gonna just be crazy. Just like nothing. Like, yeah. nothing. Might have looking for a Tomahawk there. Able to find it. Ah, uh, yeah, these juggles are just very difficult for uh, Palu to get out of. Yeah, Palu is like a very, like, perfect, like, wait for, like, combos. And especially, like, the like, big burn of pillar stuff. That like, yeah, that's not a real move. Yeah, that, that, that's not a real move. <laughs> oh, dude. I was talking with uh, me and Farrah playing some friendlies earlier, and I was like talking to him about it. We were just like kind of both laughing at how bad auto reticle is. It's it's impre it is horrible, and it's somehow better than the Smash Four version. Yeah, that's that's a funny part. <laughs> it was even worse before. Oh. Dash attack, not quite gonna kill that. The next one will though. So what do you think Platypus needs to be doing to kind of like kind of tie this up a bit? Right now, it just seems like it's Dr. Kerb's world. Well, unfortunately, this is kind of one of Palu's uh, few weaknesses, is that she can actually struggle to kill if she can't find, you know, back air. And uh, the way that Dr. Kerb has been moving, he's not giving Platypus back air. Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah. Dr. Kerb has just been... I like yeah. the Osmash try was going to try and hard read Illusion. Yeah, I think that was going for like if, if, if Dr. Kerb went... Because Dr. Kerb went to like last time, so like, yeah. he was still lead on trying to recover. Something that Platypus could be doing better is uh, Dr. Kerb has now multiple times kind of done side B in front of his shield. And you yeah, can just shield grab that. Yeah, you can literally like 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 shield snub it out and just get a grab. And yeah. Ah, oh, that won't kill though. It will okay. Ooh, no it will, yeah, that was pretty I think there could have been better DI. I don't think that kills from like center stage usually. Probably. Yeah, down or out of shield is the only thing that you got there. I, I will see. I will say, Platypus has a little, as a player, a little bit of an X back. Just a bit. Like, like they, they have been known to clutch it out from time to time. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see. But like this seems so hard. Like, like this seems like such a hard matchup to get. Into. There you go. Yeah. See, that, that's that's the shield guard that you're looking for. Gonna find out from back air. Oh, auto reticle landing. It worked. <laughs> it not only it worked, and it still put Doctor Kerb in a good position. <laughs> But like we're not seeing the big, the big like nair combos that like Halloween is built. Yeah, you don't really get those at like you know anything post 50. I maybe even post 40. It's just a zero percent thing. Oh, good counter. Fire! 
Oh, that's a regrab. Ah, down smash. That like wasn't quite ready for because dash attack. And now you're above Falco, though, specifically where you don't want to be as pilot's Hana. Getting a little bit of spaghetti here, which. There you go. Yeah, there you side go, yeah. B into up air. Dr. Curve putting on the hurt. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of experience in this, in, in this, in this matchup. And, and yeah. It seems like, like, like. He knows what Palutena wants and knows exactly how to deconstruct it to not get any of that. Just give me two cc. Now, will we see the characters? No, we're sticking with it. Okay. You need to go Battlefield here if you're Platypus. If, if Battlefield's up, and it's, it's by far Palo's best stage, I think. PS2? PS2's not that bad. Yeah. I mean, she has no bad stages besides that. I think. Yeah. And I don't, and I don't think Dr. Kerb wants to go to FD either. You know? yeah, uh, yeah, that is true, actually. Falco also kind of sucks on FD. <laughs> You know, GG shake hands for that going there. Yeah. I oh, love God. that up till. Uh, just, you get a lot off of it in front of these rounds and get these up tilts to be cool matches. It is just hard to, to maintain that advantage. I mean, also because Falco has such great, like, tools to get out of this advantage. They like neutral air in general. Like, yeah, fastball neutral air is something that is with punishable, but it is also quick, so you have to be ready for it. Yeah. Okay, like the warp cancel there to get a disadvantage. And like besides back air, like the Palutena doesn't have like the Palutena like is that one for the attacks, you know? That oh, should be gonna death. Make it back? Oh, okay. Nah, Falco's recovery. People who complain about Falco's recovery are actually ridiculous. There's actually like no way he made that back. Put on the pressure off stage, getting getting the up tilt, should re grab. Oh, the laser didn't connect there though. I think but if the laser connected up, the up air just killed. But I mean, that was a great thing about the play. The great thing that Dr. Kirk that just did was do the up air, do, do the combo, get the back air. But then wait and wait for Paolo to land. Yeah. But there you go, get the up air. This is still like, like this feels very much in Dr. Kirk's favor, but I mean, Platypus able to keep it tied up. I like the presence of mind there from Platypus, knowing that you can't get Nair Nair there. Gonna go to Nair, Nair dash attack, Nair back air. Love that. Oh no, dash attack or down air forward air was the was the option there. I don't know about you, but if there's a move that can score for me to watch get whiffed, it's Palu dash attack. Or, or no, dash grab. Palu trap dash grab. I don't know why. Just like, was, yeah, because you know three years ago it would have landed. <laughs> Absolutely. I think in the Rafflo Mia set at Genesis, I think he missed it like four times. And, like, <laughs> I feel like every like but every Palu is like at one point uh, like oh this dash or this this dash grab will land because you're used to the old one before the nerfs. Yeah, but I mean Palu still being competitive, you know, still making happen even after the nerfs, getting the back throw. Oh yeah, still easily like a high tier so, character. Like what do you think is is, is Platypus's major kind of gameplay changes in this? Because obviously Doctor Kerb getting the up, getting the up smash, just keeping the pressure alive and just keeping the lead. But it feels like Platypus is playing a lot more and is getting off a lot more of what Palu wants. It feels like Platypus is just a little bit more confident in his follow-ups. Honestly, in game one, he kind of didn't get much going. Yeah. Uh, was able to get like a few conversions here and there, but is still down and you're still kind of in that range as Palu where you're not killing for like another 30% here, honestly. Oh, the great in the, in the spot though? That's insane. Yeah. I mean, but that is, this is one of the nice things about the matchup is that like up B, like, like, uh, that's horrible that guy. Um, Palutena is like a puppy. It's very down air from Clearly a temple. Yeah, it is possible to two frame it. You just need to be like really on point with your timing. Oh. Okay, okay, you're gonna find air out of shield there. That's Here the first go. big damage combo that we're gonna be seeing, but only 35. I feel at home. <laughs> okay. Again, just letting it rip, letting, letting Dr. Kirk get the combo. Yeah, I don't like the uh, options that Platypus has been using when, whenever he decides to press the B button. Usually has not been a, the best option, but yeah. able to... He was able to do a little bit better in game two, but yeah, Dr. Kerb was just like, able to hold advantage job. pretty much every single stock. But yeah, but good stuff to uh, Platypus as well. Yeah. Very much an old guard uh, old guard legend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very much. So great, great still seeing him out here in... You know, obviously, he still has a run to make yeah. after this. So, and yeah, like you said, very good player will probably make top 32, can even see top 16, like even top eight if right. he has like a really good run. Right. Absolutely. So we'll see. But yeah, no, Falco's scary. <laughs> Falco is scary. That matchup is. Uh, you, you can talk to like somebody like Drill about it, or like the matchup is actually like really tricky for Palu. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm surprised that we didn't see Sora in game two. I feel like also you can like.
kind of get people with matchup inexperience sometimes because who plays against that character? Right. Like it's Palu not a popular character, even though it's a, it's very, a good character. He's yeah, not like like Sora is very unpopular, very like in 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 um in Ohio as well. I could see Platypus maybe holding because because of the the cornball of it all. You know, there is a very good uh, Cubus um a sore by the name of a uh, poor ball shout out he's coached me once um you know so i can understand uh platypus maybe reserving that but also i mean if you want to talk about matchup experience politana <laughs> yeah everybody has a palu in their region and everybody has that matchup Ev kind of down pat everybody's had a character crisis everybody's picked up palu for two weeks it's a universal experience <laughs> yeah I feel like that's one of the reasons why she's kind of fallen off a little bit in, in the meta. Like, obviously, she's, like like I said before, she isn't, like, the top five character that she used to be, but yeah. she's still pretty easily a oh, high-tier yeah. character. Uh, it's just, like, like, I feel people at this point kind of know her base game plan, and also her game plan isn't really what fits the meta right now. Yeah, it's definitely, like, um... I don't... It's, it's odd because it's not anti-meta but it's also not meta it's like lukewarm. yeah it's just like <laughs> the things that's like strong right now is just like being able to get one hit and kind of uh, convert that either into like a good advantage spot or into a stock and Palu being kind of struggling to kill without like specific setups it can be uh i, I think it's kind of like the big reason why she's struggling right now yeah but we'll see i mean raflo over in france is making yeah. Making work, the Louis money, Chase, Chag, like, like they're. I uh, even Luis is playing like Rob now. Yeah. Uh, like uh, in like locals and stuff. Rob and Roy. We'll see if, but uh, you know, those are locals. We'll see if that actually transfers. No, nope, I mean, no matter what, Louis money is the goat. So it's it's whatever. <laughs> I love that man. Uh. To see what we get up on street next. So what what are your thoughts a bit about like the whole bracket as a whole so far uh, at at this at this event? No crazy upsets, but a lot of really interesting matches. Um, I think, like, I'm actually watching this Primal set right now. This is actually, like, a sick game, yeah, though. We're, yeah, just, we're watching I'll, this uh, I'll Primal's and, up against, like, this K-Rule player right now. I'll go ahead right and shout now. this out. Um, over on Oof, uh, over on the on, on Oofko's Twitch channel, one of the TOs that um, was running this event, there's a quad stream for this event, so if you go ahead, um, I believe the link has been put in chat a couple times. Go over there, there's a, more sets going on. We have, like, Primal versus um, IX and other stuff that's going to be happening. Things we can't just cover here on the primaries. But... Yeah. You know either of these players, by the way? Softy or Knockout Joe? Take your... I know... I know... I know they, they are friends of friends. <laughs> uh, They're friends of friends. Okay. But not particularly. But hey, that's just... That's just... Who smashed the beat scum. Yeah. This is uh, kind of something that I uh, kind of struggle with when it comes to commentaries. I don't know any of these players. No, it's okay. <laughs> I, know, we, I know the Louisville players, so that's about it. We, we discover it via the games. I'm really interested to see how this is. Now, the interesting thing is I want to know how both of these players are not here. Both of these what? Because this is, a, this is a top 64 qualifier. Yeah. And in most of the top 64 qualifiers, it's been one really highly seen player than the other person that kind of makes it. It's been, it's been playing out as quote-unquote intended. Um, so it's interesting to see for like a big top top 64 qualifier. I'm shaking my head at R jump. <laughs> oh. Any L jump gamers? Yeah, that, that, that's the way to go. Yeah, it's Co Cody Schwab in chat. <laughs> at least he's GameCube controller. Love me some GameCube controller. I am such a pro controller hater. I play pro controller. I'm a hater. Agree to disagree? No. Okay. I, every single, I tried a, to literally it. every single tournament, there's somebody uh, at a setup who did not disconnect their pro controller, did not go to the options menu after the stream and hit disconnect all controllers, and it frustrates me to no end. As somebody who used to TO, that is like, it like at least holds up the bracket by like 30 minutes to an hour. Is so, getting is getting the pro controller players to so disconnect their controllers. This is our this is our our, our uh, PSA. Yeah, and, uh, pretty, and pretty, don't pretty just pretty hit the power button to disconnect your pro controller, because when you turn it back on, it connects to the same setup and can actually, like, interfere with games. <laughs> oh, my God. We've seen that used, like, kind of maliciously, too. There was a set. Uh, it, was a, it was a Chag set. Chag was playing versus somebody, like, a Kazuya player on stream. And, like, as a... I think, I, I think a Kazuya player was mid-combo. Somebody did the pro controller. Three, so, anyway, two, we have Big D one, and Sky J at home. <laughs> Okay, wait, can we get, uh... Can you do, like, production to, like, tell me who's who? Hey! Who's who? Fonte 
Oh, oh right, so we got the knockout Joe's okay. All right, thank you. I think it's in correlation to Stein and the thing. So he's getting we're actually in the game. Okay. Yeah. No. So we're here. So Softy, Softy playing, playing. Matchup in particular is very like tricky for yeah. for I will say Sky for Incineroar. Um I mean you have like landing air that can break probably have darkest darkest lariat sometimes. But this seems like a, a, a perfect matchup for Icy's to just be able to get their hand off and just rack up damn knock out Joe getting the side of the off of ledge. Icy's loves to play against rap based characters if you can't really grab Icy's, it's not a thing that happens. Yeah. Oh, I guess not until DC at least gonna get the oh. smash afterwards, not quite gonna kill, but only 32% on knockout Joe, and he is just putting the hurt, able to take that stock quickly. Yeah. This is just a complete blowout right now. Yeah, so far, I mean, I, I mean, if you want to talk about like, matchups and what you need to match up experience for ice is like the definition of that. I mean, like, side B. Yeah, like, I mean, side B is nice, like, most, most like, like, uh, you hit the primary climber, the Nana gets the second but if you miss and hit Nana, then you. Then can, the, yeah, the Popo is just punished. gonna hit you. Right, but we're, but we're at the Sopo, so we'll see. I mean, we'll see if, if Knockout Joe can close it out with Sopo. I mean, it is a very classic yeah. Ices thing to kind of have is, is you get to your cell phone and you're like, actually, I'm just gonna play the greatest neutral known the man? Yeah, and th this is the crazy thing too, because this is the best game. This is gonna kind of sound weird to say. Sopo is the best in this game than in any other game that has had ice climbers. Oh, yeah. Like, Sopo is not trash. Actually, that's a lie. He's really bad. But he has, like, stuff like that, where he has, like, a really good yeah, up tilt, really good, like, tilts on the ground, yeah. and box. Like, in comparison to, like, Sopo in Melee or in Brawl, it's like. He can act like like he can actually make some make some work there, but also the ice players themselves, it's like they they enter like a yeah. focus mode and they're seeing everything yeah. in slow motion. We'll see. Softy getting at the grab, so taking the stock for yeah. the board, but I mean knockout joke getting Nana back and now it's now is this game plan of up tilts, down tilts. Okay, that can neutral be there. That is probably your best move to split up the climbers, which you know it is the same in all games. That's kinda how you want to approach the matchup and find your best move to split them. This matchup definitely becomes significantly easier. And what I even said, dare I even say, like, ever so slightly favorable for for Incineroar if you can get, if you can get Nana out. Yeah. See, this is a big part of the plot. Where's the forward air does Softy and she has got to be bad about that. Let's the climbers get back together and the upper is going to seal it. Now. That's yeah. something the Ices has been good at in every game pretty much. It's just their jump is uh, best. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, like, up air is insane. Up air's been good in every game. Up air's been good in every game. You have up tilt. You have just a constant thread of like a yeah. hard read up B to kill. Like it is. There's all sorts of stuff. You yeah, can yeah, do. yeah. Um. But yeah, knockout Joe getting game one. Honestly, I don't know if uh, Softy has a secondary, but I like. I actually like don't know how Incineroar plays the game in this matchup. I'm not even kidding. You yeah, know, it's interesting. Oh, we're seeing the Marth. Seeing the Marth. Okay, that's something no, I like. No, a lot I understand. Okay. I understand. No, yeah, that just seems like a hard matchup for. Incineroar, so you know, respect going for but you see, I feel like. Yeah, we are gonna close the melee. Three, um, two, one. It's gonna be interesting. Marth's a much different character in this game, to be fair, than in melee. Icy's not so much. I, I heard this first thing, I love him in, in Ultimate. Just because, like, it's the first game he's ever been in that, like, he's like an underdog. <laughs> this is actually like a, this is like a naughty hot take, but I don't think Mark is a bad character. I think people can play too much about him. Oh, probably, I agree. I mean, it, it's just hard with the comparison of Lucina being right there. Oh, yeah. but he's the down air! Oh. I love the use of the down air so far. Actually, could have found a kill on Nana with, or on Popo, seems to be down Already, getting that, getting that turn, yeah, this already feels so, so much better. You can get, like, down air forward. This just seems like so much, this just is so much easier to be able to split up the, split up the climbers and one yeah. very stable neutral. I think the, you know, the biggest adaptation, Santi, she's actually able to play the game this yeah. time, which is really not, <laughs> you want to be able to play the game when you're playing Smash. Right? Oh, yeah. But yeah, no, she's, uh, in, in actuality, she's been using downers a lot better, but yeah. Uh, there you go. Uh, that's what, forward throw forward air there? Yeah. From uh, Knockout Joe, easy kill confirmed. Yeah. It happens pretty even though, all things considered, but yeah. Uh, I feel like Knockout Joe kind of caught a little off guard by the, by the character. That's, a, that's an interesting character pool, you know? Yeah, Marth and Sinner are not. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Softy got hit once, and that's like from 20% to 87. That's, that's gotta hurt. Especially when you're playing neutral 
so well, but this actually could be the death of Nana here. Santi gonna contest it, but not quite. Wanted to go, probably wanted to go for some sort of crazy edge guard forward here down here, but so, uh, but yeah. knockout Joe doing a great job of, of, of mixing up two recoveries That's at it. the same time. And there you go, Get, getting hit by the icebergs. Yeah, the desynced icicles is gonna take stock from Softy. But I mean, like, like that's the interesting thing about Marth is like these tippers, like 41, like you can make some magic happen there. Yeah, something like tipper, like S smash or tipper neutral be might kill right now, but it's not something that you're gonna be like really finishing. And it just seems like Knockout Joe is like really adapted to the, to the, to the, to the bar. Yeah, like just kind of gets these side side views out like it's nothing. Ah, yeah. uh, no out of shield option there. I don't know about that. Soul is gonna find Knockout Joe on the ledge, but able to get out with the desync. Not quite gonna. I think he was looking for a footstool there, like a footstool air dodge down, but unable to find it. Oh, I saw an idea there. He's trying to go for the crucial B to get a shield break, but not quite. Knockout Joe takes it too much. Oh, boy. I'm not gonna lie, that might have been the least competitive set that we've seen all, all, all that. And it, it's, it's kind of rough, right? Like, when you're playing against a character like Icy's. You're not really like sure how to approach a matchup if you've ever played against a character. Before. Absolutely right, you know. But hey, good stuff for Softy. Interesting character pull. I want to see. I want to see more from her. Um, especially, especially the Morph. I think was working really. Well. Morph was doing a lot. So. All right, and it looks like that's going to be it for us for the time being. We are going to be going on break and coming back at six. Yeah. So thank you so much again. I um these have been some fun sets. I'm MBU. Um, check me out on Twitter. MB a lot of letters. MBU SSBU. You can see me post about a mango. Oh uh, yeah, you can find me anywhere at uh, HK underscore Gotti. Uh, Want to see some NBA Twitter stuff? I don't know. <laughs> Not really posting about Smash these days, yeah. but uh, yeah, that'll be uh, that'll be it for us. Thank you so much. Yeah. Catch you later. See you later.
everyone and welcome back to chill out to drip or drown we are now in the top 64 part of the day all right so oh, oh and there's the, the announcement, announcement for it to start right now i'm the mage as you saw earlier and i'm blue skies also saw from earlier. <laughs> also from earlier <laughs> so what do you we think we're gonna see first past. oh All okay, right. so I actually really like watching Beast Mode, Paul. I love Hero as a character. I wish I was good at him, but I've never actually seen what Beast Mode Paul looks like, but I love watching him. Yeah, Pete. Paul, of course, you know, top 100 player in the world. Oh, yeah, now. absolutely. So and good. Hero is just such an entertaining character to watch. They because, are. like, out of anybody in this game, he is the only one that is truly random outside of, like, Game & Watch, like, 9. But Hero it just has so much, like, gimmick to him. Yeah. But, like, it's a different kind of gimmick because, like, with, for example, the Miis, the gimmick comes from your, what moveset you pick. With Hero, it's just, let's see what happens. So I'm very interested in seeing this Hero play because top-level Hero is an insane thing to watch. It's, I mean, yeah. uh, if you know the player, Akaka Kisu, Learning English just to read the menu for our tournament, and they got, I think, like ninth place. That's awesome. It's insane. They got the winter crowd behind yeah, them. Yeah, I'll say that's Cincinnati cheering if you can hear them. Winter, notably having the most intimidating aura out of any player in this game's history. Someone is a. Well, shout out to Small for making a picture of Winter, and it's just <laughs> the most evil like profile picture. Okay, I'll have to see that because yeah. I've I, uh, Winter is another player who I don't think I've ever actually like seen. I'm very curious how this matchup is gonna go. I'd assume Hero does. Winter is well. who does Winter play? Winter plays Krom. Okay, I was I knew it was a sortie. I was, I was gonna say it's Sephiroth, but I'm like no, that's Wyvern, not Winter. Yeah. I, okay, that's Too right. Too many Ws. Too many, yeah. Come on, Ohio, and your Ws. Think of a creative name like Get Paid, Get Laid Gatorade. <laughs> that's my favorite melee player right there. I, uh, there's a, so I like sending, my, a friend of mine that I have, uh, not into FGC or Smash, like, at all, but is really entertained and amused by, like, specifically FGC tags. Yeah. And so anytime I come across one, I'll send it to him. Uh, like, uh, I'm really big fan of, like, Hispanic at the Disco and uh, 30 Seconds to Marth. What a I love puns. Puns are my favorite. One Tribe isn't signed in is my favorite Bowser Jr. player. I love that. Also, I think, like, uh, Big Tobacco is a plug much <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Big Tobacco. No, it's I Stand with Big Tobacco. That's what it was. Wow, about. okay, that's a tag. <laughs> All right, they're getting into this. Um, All right. So, I'm very curious to see uh, some of this some special hero tech that I found out recently. Like, well, Kentucky it gets doesn't have to a lot it. of heroes. I think it's just ramen, isn't it? What? Kentucky Whoa. really only has ramen. Yeah, that's it. But and, let's uh, get into it. Let's see. We don't really have a Krom either. No, he Hero's a very rare character, all things considered. Yeah, it, which is honestly weird for DLC, but here we go into game one. Good old PS2. Nothing. Oh, missing the grab. Good whoosh out of shield. Yeah, that up be surprisingly good as an out shield option, especially on Town and City. You can auto cancel it and go on the platform. Ah! But, uh, we got the cycle already. That's pretty like psych up and accelerattle. Accelerattle. All right, the juggles coming in the full four, 61%. I was going to say, and just like that, I was going to say, each one's kind of taking turns trading blows, like getting their own little combo in. And it's still pretty much an even game. Okay. So I think. At, at, you know, he still might be beating hard. I think one of the biggest. Uh, contributors to this matchup is going to be recovery because Heroes is fantastic. Kroms is just Ike, but Kroms is Kroms. Yeah. Like, I feel like as long as Winter can stay on. Oh, wow, Magic Burst. 
I mean, we take that, and also yeah. he's at 100, 118%, so anything beyond this is just going to be extra credit anyway. So you might as well, and there's a cool 25% just to start off. And also gaining MP back, and now it's like it never happened. I mean, just look at all of this damage already racking up and getting the buffs started. Ooh, Flame Slash almost killing Flame Slash at with uh, Psycho. Also, Back something here. to consider that I didn't know until recently. When you are in Oomph, a hero's buff, you take more damage. Yep, it's take like more damage buster. and uh, Psych Up gives you more knockback. Yeah. Still just playing. I think Accelerado does something too, but I'm probably. Which I do like that Hero being a character that has like buffs like that, kind of like Shulk in a sense. But yeah. that they're like, okay, well here, let's bounce it out a little bit. Because I feel like it would have been really easy to just let the character like, oh, you're at 100%. You can just kind of win by pushing buttons now. <coughs> uh, oh! Oh, wow! Good. Whole thing you popped off for that yeah. one. Yeah, and ooh went over the crowd. Double spot dodge. Yeah. All right, but this hero still looking mighty scared. Kaboom, Kaboom coming out. Fantastic spell. Yeah. It's not going to take the up. There it is. And that's a game one. Pretty convincing, like, not, like, completely unanswered, but definitely very Beast Mode ball favored. Oh, absolutely. Just have to see how this counter pick goes. I was going to say, we'll see what the counter pick is, and we'll see, you know, how Winter can adapt. Or we might just go PS2 again. That's always good. Oh! Down in City. Okay. Oh. Okay. This is... This is fantastic. I was going to say, this is... Yeah. You were just talking about <laughs> auto-canceling Woosh. I wonder if... Is this a good stage for Krom? Uh, I mean... Kind of, I mean, you ha you kill off the side a lot earlier. It's a great stage for Roy. So I'd okay. assume it's good for Krom, too. But, but it's also just really good for Hero. Yeah, so we'll just have to see how this goes. I mean, uh, Winter at the start was putting up quite a fight with those juggles and those up air chains. So I think like, if they can get that going, they could have a pretty decent chance. Let's see, right there, going for the yep. conversion off of up B. Oh, get the top end of uh, Krom up B. Whoosh into yeah, the setting first up hit that tilt. It's Whoosh just three. again. Yeah, that's working out really well for Beast Battle. Good old BMP. Oh. Not going to get anything off the jab, though. That was a good setup, but not quite falling through there. I, I, I see the vision with that counter. I saw, I saw what he was going for. Bang, not quite going to do anything. Just kind of dancing yeah, just around. Yeah, dancing around. Nobody's really hitting anybody. There we go, though. That'll do a little bit of damage. Excel Rattle jumped right up into the fair. I think that was fair. Oh, yeah. and uh, top deck zoom, I think. Yeah, no, they could not have hit that conversion if they didn't get Excel Rattle there. It's very funny. Yeah. yeah Paul. Oh, dash attacking ghosts. Yeah, Paul just holding center stage. Kaboom. So. Good. That is just such a good move. I detest Kaboom. I love Kaboom. <laughs> Zoom, getting back up for free. But we're also almost out Ow. of MP. And at 125, gonna make it back. I mean, you are center stage, so it makes a little sense, but still. Zoom again. I mean, and like, in case for those who don't know, if you're off stage, you have a higher chance of getting Zoom. So, like, recover. Like you were saying, recovery in this matchup is very big. And one character gets to recover for basically free, or yeah, has a mix up to get back for free. Meanwhile, oh, the other is and Krom, that's, and that's crit. dead! Yeah! Oh, and Zoom again. It's a crit too, but I don't think that matters. I was, it, he was dead anyway, but yeah. <laughs> the crit just gave us a yeah, It just added a little salt on the wound. It just guaranteed. Oh, and that's it! Wow! That's nope, not it! That's it though. Now it's it. Wow, what? That was good. That was a good game. And it's solid 2 0 for Beast Mode Paul. Quick reaction on like just seeing, like, oh, hey, do you think that. So, do the platforms move on a timer or is it random? Do you know? Uh, it's on a specific timer. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, so, do you think that Beast Mode Paul knew that the stages were, the platforms were about to move, or do you think he just maybe? Said, oh, well, this but is at convenient. the same time, I think they just did upbeat and position themselves good. 
and then just kind of adapted from there. <laughs> just said, oh, hey, well, that's convenient. And we're going right going back. back. Interesting choice from Winter. Kaboom. There's 32. a cool 32%. <laughs> Wowee. Uh, Sui Mama, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> I love Sui Mama. Whoosh out of shield. Getting a lot of mileage out of Whoosh out of shield. The, like, Heroes out of shield game goes from pretty okay to excellent on this stage. Like, it, is... so it looks like they're in good sizz off stage to get back, but quickly push back yeah. off. I do think it might be in uh, Winter's best interest to start leading up to some potential homicide angles just Wasted. to get things out. Wasted. Yeah, no no MP remaining on this hero. But there's a cool 27%, so... And, yeah, yeah there we're back up to 50. And a heal! Heal will only appear once per stock. Oh, really? Yep. Not Learn something new every day. I but, love uh, learning. Not gonna go for magic first again. Just gonna chuck him off stage. Good fares, yeah. Good. Good read. Oh, dude, what if? There's a universe. There's a timeline where that killed. Air dodge through the kaboom. Wow! Makes it the stage. You had a good recovery from winter. The amount of just shenanigans you had to go through to get back. That was honestly incredible. I died in every interaction there. Shielding the snooze. Yes, yeah, still needs to find a kill confirm of some kind. All just taking a little bit of chip damage. It is adding up, but not and helping. Wow, with the up tilt. That stages. is such a good option for hero on this stage. Accelerator. Got Nair one. Not gonna get Nair the one, but yeah, damn, no follow up for it. Good, not going for jab three. Still got punished in the end, but it was good. Cell rattle again, making it back to stage, but raw back air. Fair. Cell rattle again. Not gonna hit the snooze. Ah, that would. What if we got another? So all I'm saying is, Paul, if Paul does a Kamikaze, they're not a real one. But they not don't try for one Kamikaze kill. Oh yeah, like there's no shot that Winter survives a Kamikaze. No, no, they die on the spot. <laughs> okay, we're getting the chip though. Oh. So this is very scared to be in. Pulse control over that little corner with the platforms is very commanding these past two games. We are running low on MP, which is, I mean, that's really Winter's only chance to, like, oh. fight back. Edge guard? That might, no, bang. That's it? That's a stock. Wow, this is still doable. All right, Winter, you have one, one more chance to bring this back, but it, this is the start. You can take a stock, you can take a game, you can take a game, yeah. Oh, wait. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Waiting for the air dodge, gets punished. And clean three up for B Smoke Ball. And a good set, though. Like, that was really entertaining to watch. Absolutely. Psychot and Fair. That's what? Cloud Banjo? What do we got going on up here? Yeah, that was a good set. I, a hero is such a fun character to watch because you never know what's going to happen. Because, like, most char a lot of characters have, like, a, the flow chart. Yeah. And so, like, oh, like, I play Ness, so like I I get grabbed at low, or I grab you at low percent, you know, down throw into fair. But like with Hero, you never know what's going to happen, and I think that's the most amusing thing about it. Yeah. So I think we got some Eli chance going on. That's what's happening. Okay. Soup seems to be. Ah. Oh, it's Soup and Ploopy. Loopy soup. No, th this could be an insane potential for an upset if Soup is able to clutch out. And I will say, their record against Rob is really good. So, how many how many Kentucky Robs are there? I mean, it was really just it just eggs, isn't it? Um, uh, Eric. Oh, that's right, Mr. Eric. And also, like, Pneumatic will go Rob occasionally. Okay. Not into Soup, but, like, it, it's still on the table. 
The Nomadic goes a lot of characters. I've played. Yeah. Oh, we got the pocket. Able to barely live. <laughs> oh, it's going to get it. All right, uh, Look at me commentating another set. You now, just can't even see. If you want to watch and see this, it's on the quad stream. <laughs> oh, Super's getting robbed right now. <laughs> Literally. And there it is. That's going to take it. Floopy's up to uh, uh All right, we're just, just, gotta, we're just waiting for Psychod. Yeah, we. This should be very interesting. And fair play always has been. Fair play, you know, top like 10 in Kentucky. Repping the bear and the bird. <laughs> Best bear and the bird this side of the international date line. Just because of fair alone, we've had so many banjos pop up in Kentucky. There's foul play. There's oh, fair play. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, why is the camera sideways? <laughs> I can see myself wave on the camera. Because <laughs> really? where Fair is sitting oh, this yeah. way, I thought that like the camera was turned. But uh, when Fair moves out of the way of the camera, I can see myself and wave. That's fun. What a good day for Smash Bros. Uh, but going into it, we're so thankful we can have something like this so close to home. It's awesome. And a much better venue than uh, Yo, last fill out. I don't know how many times it's been said today. Big shout out to the TO team. Big shout out to Kevlar. This is his baby, and I know that he's having a great time with it. We're all having a great time with it. But shout out to the TO team. Also, shout out to the commentators, shout out to the players. If you brought a setup, shout outs to you as well. Shout outs to Collision for streaming. Shout us. outs to Collision, yeah, for letting us use their stream key, so. Support your local TOs. And there's Psychod coming up on stage, so I. So we'll see how this will go. <laughs> Kevlar and Tio dancing very cheerfully. Love, oh, he's I love I'm not sure how fair fares <laughs> against uh, a lot of sword players. I haven't really gotten a chance to see him versus a bunch of them. I, was um, say, I, I mean, I assume he plays against Krispy Kreme a lot because both definitely. Will, so, but like, cloud, we don't really have many clouds in Kentucky. Oh no, there was a period where a bunch of people were picking up cloud. Then they stopped for whatever reason. I don't and know now why. It's really, just character. Kev. Yeah, that was just Kevla. Soul rep for the character in state. Psychot, of course, coming from Ohio. Oh. Uh. From Ohio and. Here. Where are we? I know we've got people from West Virginia and Tennessee. Yeah, all over the place. I want to say like there's a couple people from like Kansas City, Missouri. So you traveled out here? I think he's my Paul from like Florida. Whoa. Yeah, Paul's a for Florida. Yeah. Paul the is either Floridian or Alabama. I was gonna say it's Florida. one of the two. The, the flag is basically the same. Yeah, it's Florida. Sorry to Florida and Alabama. Anyway, here we go. Game one on PS2, of course. So I think that Banjo has better range options, but I feel like Cloud has better boxing tools. I don't know. I think it's a bit of the opposite. Well, I mean, that's think so? massive. I mean, the main issue is like how is uh, Banjo going to get into this? But I will say... Uh, Fair has shown off their set play very well with these grenades, and I think with enough pressure, they're able to get in and start. I was gonna say Fair is really good. Best. Yeah, really good with grenade. Really good with Regal Blaster, like using it to its full extent. Because I mean, we all thought that it was a really bad move, and then Japan said, "No, wait, this is actually goaded." Missing the, the cross slash limit entirely. Finding the smaller one. Not gonna just kind of dancing around each other. Psychot and it's only sitting at 49, well, 68 percent. That's much closer than it was three seconds ago. Yeah, but still taking a decent uh, 
the hard way. Mostly just like from good position back kickers. Yeah. Welcome to Cloud. Oh, oh. kick hit with the late hit. Yeah, it hit on the grenade and was able to go off. Spike just off stage, but he's gonna punish the down air with F tilt. Slash, what's I love hearing that? it before I see it. Right, just the gonna, get, just gonna back here in place. Not get oh get punished a little bit. Yeah, especially against these bears. Like, what are you really supposed to do as manager? You kind of just have to sit there, and, like just take it. I feel and by that I mean shoot. I feel like Fairplay just kind of cheated a little bit. I definitely saw the feathers, but it got canceled. I feel like that should have counted. Hitting the fa fair, hitting the fair. Stalling on time, able to burn limit. Having a burn limit, but able to get back to stage. And honestly, I mean, like the idea, just yeah, that good, good, good idea. But I think Psychot knew that that was coming. Oh, uh, this and another one. Those are not. You can't. You don't have a limited amount of those. I mean, you're at 100, percent so you might as well. But you're I mean, a stock behind. I mean, I would expect. That if I get a parry, I should be able to wonder wing. So I understand yeah. the sentiment. That's gonna kill, yep. Three stock lead at 150%. That's almost is that max rage or is 160 max rage? Alright, that's a kill. I, yep. And now I mean still has an entire stock lead, so we're still just in extra credit. Gonna find that oh, there's what if that it is? Off, just able to just do little pokes here and there. It's just pretty, pretty one-sided game, but Psychot just being really good about playing patiently, waiting for Fair to come in, and Fair just kind of struggling to get in. I say that, and then, ah. Oh. Uh, I I like the setup a lot. I was to say it, it was a really good idea. It was a really smart move, but it just didn't pay off. I don't know if it's because Psychot knew it was coming or just reacted to it, but it was a good idea. Back throw. Oh, wrong, wrong way, I assume? Cloud's almost got full limit. You don't want to see full limit right now if you're fair play, I feel like. A fair good shot. air dodge and drift back to avoid the, down, the turn on down tilt. Bear's got a bit of a mountain to climb, and not many wings can do it. By that, I and mean no wings. even win. stocks. So now, you know, if Fairplay can take one more, then reverse three stock. It's not off the table. There's a cool 26%. All right. Two not frames. able to get a dash attack. 153. This bear is heavy. <laughs> it's he's got a bird. It's, there's two characters. There's a bird and a bear. True, double the weight. But uh, very scary situation to be in, well, especially when Cloud has that tag. 153% with limit, using the no grenade limit. to block it. And this time it worked. Okay, it is not over. Oh. 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 Off the top, Star KO just barely. Oh, I hate to see it. Awesome. That is that heartbreaking, was the longest. ladies and gentlemen. That was the longest amount of time for a kill. I ever. was gonna say it was just because it, for uh, or because it, it was behind the, the scoreboard, so we're just like, ah, is he gonna make it? No. That's true. But Psychot takes game one. I didn't see what stage we're going game two. Just hopping right back into it. No changes. We're just running back. Okay. I feel like. Fair knows that this is definitely doable and wants to do it. Not approaching. Ooh, good punch. Oh, not. And that's Ooh. not. That's not gonna kill. Nah. Yeah, no. Panther's recovery is too good for that. It was close though, like any other character would have died there almost. Except for like, Sora. Villager, uh, yeah, Villager I probably Sora. could have made it back. Uh, 
uh, Luigi. Uh, I think Luigi Pikachu. could have made that back. <laughs> yeah, Luigi could make that back. Jump up B, go so far. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, Ness could make that back with if he still had a jump. Hey, but, but anyways. <laughs> All right, we got limit on deck. Very scary situation, of course, fair, but, you know, they have weaved around it pretty darn efficiently so far. And, like, as we saw for the last game, the momentum shift was happening. I say, as long as fair play. Oh, and there, it, there is. it is. There's stock number one going to fair play. Very good setup by fair play. I believe that there's a little bit of rage on the bear. Only one Wonder Wing left in the stock, though. Parries his own grenade. That's good. But I mentioned this briefly earlier, but once again, the fair play set play with the grenades has just been phenomenal. They, they, they just always have something going on, and it just applies so much consistent pressure. There's even stocks. It's like I get a, bit, a little bit of free charge. Oh, using the uh, grenade to pause the uh, the hit animation. All right, gets Punch. a fair. That's one egg away that's, from an edge guard. There it is. That's yep. That's a dead cloud. And now, now anything that Fairplay gets is extra credit. Pretty much with well, almost had a full stock lead. That is a very interesting interaction of Cloud Fair being active that long afterwards. Yeah. I was going to say, and he's just kind of using the grenade to extend his hitbox, and Bear keeps getting hit for it. I called dibs on the phone if no one else claims it. <laughs> Anyways. If you're listening, if you're at the event and uh, didn't hear, there's a phone in the bathroom, so that's yours. And if you don't claim it, it's mine. <laughs> Blue Skies will take your phone. But taking a, speaking of taking this set, or taking this game, Looks like, you know, only one more Wonder Wing for the stock. Wall Cloud has full limit. Listen, at this point, you could just chuck it out. I mean, but you still have a whole stock to go five more weeks after that. This is almost max range banjo, so I think, oh, excuse me, I'm tired, long day. But I feel like right now at ledge, a Wonder Crawl Wonder Wing kill. Parried, but getting the up tilt. Oh, using the, ball. the grenade to stop it. And there, there once again, again, using the grenade to extend the hitbox, the and fair play gets punished for it. Bomb giveth and bomb taketh away <laughs> so, so <laughs> easily. Cloud really just gets to push buttons out of shield, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's, a, he's a cool guy. <laughs> he just gets to up me out of shield. The climb hazards are ridiculous. Uh, uh, out of shield option. Not committing to the to the downward swing on that one. All right, gets and bombed for limit. the trouble. Goes for Wonder Wing, but still at ledge against Limit Clouds, a very scary place to be. And already burning two Wonder Wings, just trying to make it back to a neutral position. Gets Ooh. up special, 69%. One good, clean interaction away from dying. And Psychot has just turned this around, and it's now a fairly, it's now an even game. Can he clinch it out? He's or back there. Or say, is Fairplay going to close this out? Or? I do like the option of using Wonder Wing to get out of the situation. Because either uh, you you just stay and get back here, or you get out of there. It's just uh, try to reset. It is a shame. And there the it is. They're not going to kill the Wow. Like I was going to say, it is a shame. Oh. Mr. Stripe has been bulking. Back air will take it, though. And fair play, it evens up the set. 1-1. One, one. What I was going to say is it's, it's a shame that Banjo's Barry isn't very, or that he doesn't have any good follow-ups to it, like that aren't confirmed. Like Rob, Game of Watch have guaranteed confirms on Anakin Barry. Lucas has really good confirms out of Barry. Banjo just doesn't have consistent ones. That's Lucas? Look, uh, I think it's Lucas down throw. I don't think, does it have Barry? I've never I'm, noticed it if it does. I'm pretty sure Lucas has Barry. I, I'm not sure. I could be wrong, but I think so. Maybe it is. You're making like me temporary. question. You're making me, I was so confident. You're making me question it. Now I'm really scared. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, Lucas has a barrier. And I'm like, hey, does he? 
Making me second guess. What we got going on up here? It looks like Death Spade is up against Zero to Hero 1 0. Uh, Toasted Art. Worry, that'll be fun. Lorem Ipsum and Mini Maxify and Jin and Oofgo. That one will also be a fun set. But we're going into game three. All right, I didn't see the stage. Probably a run back. Yep, yep, yep. Listen, you gotta you gotta acknowledge fat players are as little as possible. It's gonna be PS2. Just gotta make that assumption. All right. Prefer a small battlefield myself, but PS2 is not a bad stage. It's no. I just I am tired of seeing it. <laughs> no one lets me go to it. Well, yeah, reason. I'm not gonna let you go to PS2. Why not? Because <laughs> you have Thrupper. Yeah, and... It's also why I'm not taking you to Battlefield. But anyway, big punch. Dodge through the grab. These fairs have come out to play. Almost getting punished again by using the, the hurtbox extension, or hitbox extension. We got the limit on deck. I will say, limit hasn't been playing a super major role so far. It's been mostly caught. Uh, wow! Does not get stage spiked as uh, Tycon uh, was hoping complete, for. Sends him to the complete opposite side of the stage. Cloud's going to survive that as well. Good air dodge. Yeah, just holding that grenade and shield is just such a good trap to hold on to. Punch will take it. It's almost like Ganon fair. And up smash, just raw. Sometimes you just gotta do it. I mean, when you're Cloud, you can get away with it. But we now have an even game. I love hearing, I hear the game just like a little bit faster than I see it on the monitor. And I think that's really fun because yeah. I can hear like Cloud like hitting cross slash. I'm like, oh, what, what's gonna happen? I know it's coming, but what's the full context? And then I get to see it a second later. Down tilt, going through. Bomb squad coming out. But still not completely whiffing on the play on the limit of the beam. Neither of them are really taking that big of an advantage right now. It's just kind of a little chip here and there. I will say, in this kind of battle, I think it's better to be Cloud in this instance, as it usually is. I mean, it's usually better, yeah, it's, it's yeah. usually better to be Cloud in most situations. Banjo is fat, though, so Banjo it doesn't really have to care all that much. The thing all about right, Banjo is that Banjo, I feel like it's a, a big matchup check. Definitely is. I mean, they play very strangely compared to most. All right, gets the cross slash. Not gonna break shield though. Almost gonna break shield. Yeah, cro limit cross slash. If in case you don't know, just has mix to it regardless. Follow up because off the of leg. But that it will is. take it. And now fair play is got almost max rage and up a stock. All right, neutral air. Forty-eight percent already. This is a very big chance for fair play. And but back here gonna get punished for getting a little bit greedy off stage. But 50% is, or 60% is still a pretty decent lead to a stock. Oh, absolutely. Fair play sitting in a pretty good position. Oh, oh miss Wonder Wing, but is still able to get out of there uh, relatively unscathed. Good follow up. Yeah, it's not going to be enough to already. kill. A bear. Into Nair. Yeah, these bombs are going to be extra scary. Fairplay looking for any kind of Wonder Wing conversion they can get. So, 130%, one clean fair away, honestly, for just uh, fighting the Both dust. Both characters die, like, next hit. They do, and it's going to be fair play. Fair play is up 2 1. Going into game three with the lead against Saika. That's got to be. Obviously, you can't, like, start slacking off now, but that's a good, comfortable place to be. You've got two more games to play with. So. Yeah, no, fa they're in a very good position right now. Obviously, I'd rather be up 2-0, but 2-1's still good. Oh, we're seeing Psycon switch up to Ike. 
Honestly, I I do know Roger has given Fair some trouble in the past, so you know what? Why also, I feel like Roger just built different. All right, 55% on Fair Play so far. The juggle begins. I've always thought the Cloud was just kind of a better Ike anyway. Well, there are a few things that Ike has a pretty decent advantage in, such as the up air. The up air, is, I think in this case, would be a bit better for juggling uh, fair play. Because for one, you don't have to deal with grenades nearly as much. Clouds is a little bit closer to him, so there's a risk for explosion. Meanwhile, Ike's is like the size of the Great Lakes, so <laughs> yeah, don't have Ike to worry about it nearly as much. that big sword. Swing him. Also, recovery's a big factor to play. We didn't see it much, but Psychot has to recover in very particular ways to not get down tilted. That's true, and Ike does have much better horizontal recovery than Cloud does. Horizontal and vertical, more importantly. But, let's see if they get out of the corner. They do with the Wonder Wing. Psychot gets back, almost for free. No follow up. Again, I do love that Fair Play is using this as both a disadvantage yep. tool and right there, just throwing it because why not? Yes. It's still not quite out oh, the Ike dash attack. And yep, right, there's there. the stock. So now, again, back to an even game. Oh, they're just chipping away, getting these very so these small conversions, but they're out to go. Piling on the damage. Fair still hasn't been touched this stock, and it's got a cool 84. There's Wonder Wing. It being a bit loose with them, but honestly, you kind of can afford it in this position. Yeah. They have to do something. Say so you've got yeah, you've got to do something. Yeah, still hasn't been die. touched, by the way. No, At it's still going. It's this. <laughs> it's so oh, true. there it is. There it is. Yep. Yeah. That's what I was gonna say. Are to death? Not quite. Up smash will definitely kill though. Only 21% on fair play. This is a very good position to be in. You've made your opponent bring out the secondary and you've got to stop. Yeah, I mean, you are sitting super comfortably. <laughs> but just big F smash. Honestly, it might not have killed. <laughs> knowing I. Yeah, I was going to say, at that percent, I don't think so. No, but it I mean, still would have hurt. Tinder. Fun fact, Ike Tipper is weaker for whatever reason. Yes, uh, yep, and then we're going to see the up, the up air. The fair play just playing this so solidly right now. <sighs> Ike back air is such a good move, but it's such a, you have such a narrow margin for error to hit it. All right, that seals the deal. And there it is. Both immovable force and an unstoppable, or unstoppable force and an immovable object. And the bear wins that one. The bear wins. Let's see, what do we got going on up here on the rest of the tournament? Looks like Mini Maxify is up at 2 0 against Lorem Ipsum. Jin is up 1 0 against Ufgo. Uh, Toasted Art is. Uh, Worry is up 1 0, and that's, the, that's a monkey battle. That's DK and Diddy Con. That's fun. And then Squiggles and Feffel. Uh, that game, it looks like that set just started. All right, we got. Looks like we, we got, got a pop off for Min Maxify. Looks like we got Dark Wizzy coming up on stage. One of the best Mario's that I've ever commentated for. The other one being actually the first tournament that I ever, the first DGT I ever attended was when Master Mario came into town, and I had to oh. do solo comms the entire <laughs> tournament, knowing nothing about the game. <laughs> Gosh. I knew my the information that I have gained since playing Smash since Melee came out, but I was new to the competitive scene and I commentated an entire tournament by myself. So Master Mario was a what were they Kentucky? No, uh, their friends. I think it was Fred Fredberger, and came to visit, and I just happened to also show up that day. Yeah. And Goldstone invited me. Shout out Goldstone. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. Let's go.
Oh, we get uh, Dark Wizzy and Wyvern. Okay, so that's going to be Mario and Sephiroth. It's just like the trailer. Mario dies. <laughs> in the Mario trailer. got skewered, except he didn't. It was just his overalls. Uh. I will say, between the two, I probably think this is a very good Mario matchup. I mean, the floaty characters in general. Mario the problem loves. with Sephiroth is that, by design, it's really cool. He's really cool in theory. It's like, oh wow, he's a faster character that plays like a heavy. That's cool. But it doesn't work because he's so light. So, like, he has so much end lag on most of his moves, but he, like, he dies super easily. Like he does very, get one wing, though. He has a very precise character, and he does have a lot of specific, like, anti-air tools, especially. Like, he's very good at that. But, yeah, in practice, he just, just kind of struggles against a lot of the top tiers. So we'll just have to see how this goes. Oh, oh <laughs> We gotta catch it. <laughs> I feel like that's a joke that, I'm not, that I don't get. Oh, have you not listened to uh, Kedrick? Oh, I haven't. Probably not. Yeah, that... I've seen... I, I've heard bits and pieces of the new songs, and I like what I've heard. I just haven't... I've forgotten yeah, yeah. to sit down and actually dedicate time to listening to it. I like Hendrick, but I'm very bad at keeping up to date on current music. That's very fair. Side streams. Yeah, Toasted Art going down 0 2 against Worry. Worry's up 2 0. and Bethel is a very close match right now. Stop the oh, here we go. Oh. So I know that they're both from Ohio. Do you know if they're from the same region or the same sub region, rather? Uh, is Wizzy from Ohio? I thought Wizzy is Michigan. Pretty sure on the PR graphic you said it's in Ohio, or not the PR graphic, Maybe. the uh, the top the uh, top 32 graphic. If so, I don't think they're in the same region. Okay. Wyford, I think, is uh, Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Yeah. See, I thought that Dark was he. I, I know he's not Cincinnati because I've seen or had mutual yeah. friends. So, but I'm pretty sure he's from Ohio. Good old Ohio. High in the middle and round on both ends. Ohio. Did you wrong? Stepping off the stage right quick. Then a little bit of a delay going on. Hope you're all enjoying Chill Out too. I know that this has been a labor of love. Something's happening. No kidding. It has been absolutely like... like I see other, I see other TOs and Gaitlis commentators reacting to something. I don't know what game it is. Oh, hey, look. There's another uh, Sephiroth. Duello and Dr. Curb. Nice. Best of one? Is that what that says? No, winner's round one. No, the, the screen before I thought it said best of one. <laughs> Everybody said five and I just can't read. Either way is possible. <laughs> I, was say, I don't see best of one. I just see winner's round one on all of them. Joker's not going to die to that. I think there's some headset issues going on with uh, uh, the side of the setup. Looks like we're running it. All right. Play the feud. Stop the battle. PS2, of course, to start. Dark Wizzy versus Wyvern. Mario. I love when uh, people, even who play two different characters, play like the same color scheme. Like I love because I play the Bumblebee Nest, so I really like when my opponent also plays like yeah. their characters black and yellow skin. Like ah, that feels nice. You have good taste. Right. And right, right game one. This. Mario being kind of your everyman here. I, I feel like Sephiroth is simultaneously carried by and hampered by his range. Because he has such good range, I think it's the, the longest melee range, not counting Belmont. Uh, but the problem with it is that the moves like back air are very kind of like Ike back air that are really hard to hit or they are just really slow. 
It's definitely, they are definitely very slow moves, yeah. And I will say, one thing that Mario has as a little advantage in this Smash Up, Mario's pretty short. And because yeah. of that, uh, Sephiroth can't really do uh, mix-ups for how they want to land their areas. And so they kind of have to just land it the same way, which allows for carries to happen a lot easier. As you I saw a little bit at the beginning. You see Dark Wizzy ducking a lot. Yeah. Just trying to keep that low profile, because, yeah, if you can keep a low profile, then Sephiroth can't really touch you. Yeah, like right there, little crouch and back air was not an issue for the moment. Not quite getting the, the plumber kick out. Yeah, in the corner versus Seth. Ledge traffic is their specialty. Absolutely. And there's one wing coming out. Extra jump, better speed, and more attack power. I've always thought it's so cool that uh, Sephiroth forward air like sticks him to the stage. I think that's so cool. Absolutely. Oh, well, gets a down tilt. Getting on the re-grab. Up air will hit on the backside. No grab. Just duck. Yeah, look at all of this like movement. A lot of crouch, I get a lot of shielding. Wow. Just to make sure they get out of the range. Raw up smash, just gonna take it. Mario is such a good up smash. Oh, so, whoa! <laughs> Here we go! There they go! Oh, gosh, it looked like a sunshine tech right there. Well, there's a... There's a Didn't realize why for speed range. Not gonna get a follow-up off of it, though. Dark Wizzy is doing, Wizzy doing really good at just staying just outside of Wyvern's burst range. Like, oh, absolutely. he's just stand, he's just standing there, menacingly. Up air still not gonna connect. Wyvern needs to find a kill yesterday if they wanna mm -hmm. still be in this game. But still, Wizzy fishing for parries right there, but not gonna quite get the timing. But once again, just you can see like pixels of distance between. Footsel out there, out there air. not hitting. It's gonna be bad, good, quick recovery. Not quite gonna get anything off of it though, but it does make it back to stage. Yeah, it almost gets the almost gets the S smash. That would have killed. I oh, absolutely. Like. Especially with Tipper. Does Mario S smash have a Tipper? I think so. Yes. Huh. I guess part of it that's near his palm, and then the fireball itself is way more powerful. That makes sense. I feel bad not knowing some things, but there's like 86 characters in this yeah, game. I, the, there's so I don't have enough actually. time to learn everything about no. all of them. Alright, again, something started with this one wing. All not right, gonna get a follow up off the side beat, though. We'll get a little something off a of grab, just racking up some potential edge guard. Stock to go. Just getting these little flips here and there. And yeah, suddenly having a little stock advantage into this first game. At this point, yeah, you really all just need to be focused on just doing damage. Yeah, because any. Uh oh! Yep, yep, yep. Gotta love. Also, in case you have noticed, uh, this time has been uh, ticking down at the top right corner. Oh yeah, Don't we are at two going... and a half minutes. This has been a much longer game than other sets that we've seen so far in top 64. Yeah, I don't think this will be going to time. It definitely won't. But yeah. Neither of these characters or players, to my knowledge, are the time out in camp type. But neither one really wanting to commit to anything. Uh oh. Oh. SCI'd in. Very good job. Very smart. Part. Mario's just trying to find these ladders. And just getting these little flicks. This one, there's the final one wing. Oh. <laughs> Pushed the wave down from down smash. Very ballsy right there. But still, this Ooh, just barely out of that, out of range of that F tilt. 
It is neck and neck right now between these two. There's just literally 2% between them. In this stage of the game, it is incredibly tough for Mario to get a little bit of a lead. Just and because... Harry up smash Ooh. will take game one. Gosh, what a first game for White. What? Yeah, that's, I mean, you took Dark Wizzy to almost, I mean, you almost beat Dark Wizzy. So that's just, uh, makes the small little adaptations push. I feel like, what do you think Wyvern has to do? So I think one thing Wyvern could do a bit better is just, I think incorporating a little bit more grab. Like grab was, whatever they did grab, it was working out phenomenally. Or like working a bit, or like Wizzy's just very comfortable with building everything still. Mm. So to be fair, except for us, grabs aren't Yeah, you don't insane. get a whole lot off of it. Game two, we got Smashville. Seems like a pretty solid Seth stage. I mean, you control so much space off the dome. I was gonna say, just, I mean, Sephiroth's sword alone. Sephiroth's burst range is almost half the stage. Yeah. Which is a really good thing for Wyvern. Also, smaller blast zones mean, well, smaller blast zones also mean that Sephiroth will die sooner. Getting the getting the early lead oh, and still keeping going. it. His advantage is still going. <laughs> but even then, like Wyvern's still behind in percent. Yeah, to this drop get at the last moment is very unfortunate. But still, a lot of damage already racked up. This is absolutely within Wyvern's wheelhouse to get the job done here. Back air, gonna. I mean, Sephiroth, you kind of have to respect Sephiroth at least. Yeah, I don't think Mario really has the tools to, like, challenge no. him, especially, like, in that way. Some characters do, Mario, and there's the forward there, and that will, that was, yeah. Well, uh, I've heard taking the first stop, but still, this is, look. Yeah, you, Ow. Sephiroth's going to make it back from that. Yeah. Back throw, not going to quite kill. Fireballs adding up a lot of chips, but even so, Wiper like, just getting as much as they can in before Wizzy steals the stock. Backer's not going to be enough. Blood Still trade coming through. Going to make it back just fine. Up air up will air. take it though. Never have seen that move kill in my life. Honestly. No. Let's see him, but then there's Dark Wizzy taking the lead. Oh, pushed out. This just is scary. Out the... Fair. Yep. Yep. Ah, uh, forward aerial. Yep, that's the Mario way. <laughs> You're getting laddered, and it's either going to be a forward air or it's going to be an up B. Take yeah. your pick. It, listen, he's called the Mustachio Mishima for a reason. Like, he, tu he touches you. You're probably dead. I look like Luigi's Good more the Mustachio Mishima. Both of them are, honestly. Fair. It's just a matter of how. Yeah. But also, Wyvern pulling this back very quickly. Good use of cape to stall in the air just to uh, wait out the fully charged Octa Slash. Ooh. Reverse up Ooh. air there. And there it is. Oh, raw. I l do love me a good spike. Also, Wyvern is putting up quite a fight. Yeah, Despite putting up a fight, but just getting, just getting Mario'd. Dark Wizzy said, I'm going to do the Mario. <laughs> Wait, your cops from some. Actually, Never copyright. Mario. We can't do that. Yeah. We cannot do the, the Mario. Not on stream. Game three. Are we going to see. I didn't see the stage. Okay, Smashville again. If I'm Wyvern, I don't know if I pick this stage again because I feel like game one was closer than game two was. But also, you just can't let Mario do do the Mario thing. No, no. You can't really let any character do the character thing. Well, obviously, yeah. <laughs> but, like, if you're trying to counterplay. All right. Well, I've heard just taking their time slowly, trying to kind of click their way in. Not quite yet. Yeah, not really pressing buttons, just kind of 
giving it a second, taking a second to breathe and just waiting it out, maybe for an opportunity. There's one wing already. But Mario only with 40%. I've noticed that, yeah, I haven't seen Wyvern using a lot of neutral beam. When normally I see Sephiroth use that a lot, which I'm guessing it's because of Cave, but you'd think I, you'd at least see the mix up on it because you can cancel it. Back throw. Down air, not quite gonna kill. Just take it just absolutely as slowly as possible. One wink though could make this a bit more even sided for Wifer. But still, oh, that's back bad. there should be enough. Yeah. yeah. Sephiroth is light and Mario back throw is surprisingly good. Yeah, another reason why Seth isn't all that great. You're light and you're tall. That's a yep. very bad That's combo. a very bad combination. But there we go, we have an even game. Commentator's curse, I suppose. Oh. Oh, oh clutch flood from Wizzy, but gosh, unfortunate. I oh my uh, god, dude, it almost happened again. Almost happened again. That would have been heart wrenching. Side piece just coming out there, I think. So, Wizzy in a very, very good place to be. This is, yeah, this is Wyvern's like winter side stock. Absolutely. Mario there just wants this to start. Hit. Nope, not, but not gonna get the follow through. But it is just, it, all it takes is one opening. Through the water. That's the off air. But still, not gonna be enough to kill. Dark Wizzy not, like, overextending. Doing really good about not overextending. Making it back. One tool at Wizzy's disposal that I think he does better than any Mario. Flood. His flood is immaculate. Mm -hmm. But flood as positioning tool is very underappreciated. Because when you have the lead like this, you could just push some away and yeah. just keep chucking fireballs. And I think that it, I, I feel like most people only use flood for that flood purpose for that, of yeah. just oh you're off stage, but you can absolutely abuse it while you're on stage like that. Because otherwise. Sephiroth would have gotten that dash attack. And oh, that's, that's going to take it. it. Yep. yep, and a clean 3-0 from Dark Wizzy moving on. Now they're my dad's house. I only brought the I only brought the the couple. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Starbucks is open. Oh, did they really? Oh, well, never mind. I'm a liar. <laughs> now, who are we getting next? Looks like Uno and Roger. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be tight. That's for sure. Haven't gotten to see Roger play anything outside of doubles in a while. I do believe this is loser's side. Oh, is it? Yeah. Huh. Or is it? Am I tripping? I can't, I'm not this sure. This is top 16 qualifier though. Here, let, let me check this so I'm not <laughs> spreading this. Say, let's look at bracket real quick. As much as I love to spread misinformation, now's not the time for it. <laughs> Save that for the locals. <laughs> this is a region. This time we're actually gonna fact check ourselves. Also, while you're at it, look up and see if Lucas has a berry, because I'm still really nervous about being wrong about that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna leave that open to interpretation. <laughs> we'll see who gaslit who today. Who's Uno gonna go? We're we gonna see the wolf or we're we gonna see the game and watch? We are I'd gonna say see the wolf, because game and watch does not like that. That and also Sorry, Roger game. has a game and watch, so I feel like Knowing what the character wants makes you more effective at playing against it. But Roger, both of these players being uh, PR in the state right now, I believe. And so, yes, I was very wrong. This is winner's side top 16 qualifiers. Okay. So we're still winners. I was going to say, I'm like, I can't imagine that both of these players are already in losers. No, no. 
and Roger already just going for the raw F smash and gonna eat some percent for it. Actually, wow, that it's amazing what that whiffed F smash cost. Oh. Not quite gonna kill that one, will though. I up air. Yeah, the, these two right now are number two and three on the KYPR. Okay, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. I knew Roger was number two. I could not remember where. He was. Yeah, but Uno is number three right now. And both of these players have been putting on quite a show, both in and out of state as of late. I was gonna say Roger's been traveling a lot lately, going to Momotan and having a great showing there. Gonna miss that up smash. Also, Roger doing a really good job of just hyping, or hop, hyping, hopping over, uh, over the blaster, and, sorry, the side beam to nothing. Short yeah, circuit Roger for a in second. Very good control of this uh, stage so far. I mean, just these dares coming out with nothing in response. Up till... Not gonna get a follow through on it though. But I mean, already you pretty much have an entire stock lead. And Ike with Rage is scary. Yep, Ike back air will take it. We're up 3 1 for Roger. Yeah, we'll have to. I'm not sure what these wolf flashes are for. I'm guessing to escape. I was gonna say, maybe positioning? Urgent. But yeah, that's, I feel like those are costing. Who knows? No, no. Ooh. Yeah, 31. Very good idea to go for the counter there. So. F2 will take that, though. Yeah, Roger would be very dominant right now with this display. I was saying, you've got a stock to play with. You've got time. You don't have to do that. You've got time. Puppy spike or you're not real, Roger. <laughs> Okay, we got, we got the train started. Throw forward air. Oh, the trade. I was gonna say, I feel like if Roger didn't get hit, that would have been it. Ah. Oh. Good get up attack, not falling for the tech chase. And there, just like that, Uno ties it up stock-wise. Still with 114% on the board, but that's not out of the realm of possibility. We could be looking at a reverse three stock, but Uno's gonna have to lock in and clutch up hard. And I there get it. Is. Game one goes to Roger. Big momentum shift for sure, but still, it just was not enough in this case. So Roger just came out of the gate swinging, had a little bit of a little bit of a little stumble there towards the end, but still managed to pull through in the end. Yeah. And we're running it back character-wise. There's Beast Mode Paul. And we're running back just running it back a full stop. Cool 50%. The bear train. Oh, wow. Out. And there's a 54% of Roger's own. Right back, yeah. And. No, I'm gonna jump out of it. Good. Try, I guess I'm just get to not stale up there in that sense. But uh, still, Budo in a pretty. Not ideal state. I was gonna say this is they're I mean they're just trading blows going back and forth, but this is definitely somewhere where Roger wants to be. Good use of a uh, blaster to laser to not and wow that killed off the top. A good use of laser to prevent Ike from just charging neutral B for free, because that if that two frames that means Ike is or Wolf is just dead. Back air is gonna take it. Oh, Wolf back air, what a move. 
I feel like Wolf is a really honest character outside of that character. Uh, I don't know. I think they're honestly very good. <laughs> Listen, that's what I'm Ruben saying like is that, that, like, Wolf is just a good, honest, well-made character, except for Back Air. Back Air is really good, and it shouldn't be that good. Cow Smash is also there. Yeah. Also, one of my favorite things that uh, Muno does uh, when you play against her but if you die to something or like with a punish, she will say like how plus she was in that situation. Oh, I, wow. <laughs> there was nothing you could do there. I was like, I was, I was plus seven on that. Yeah. But also Roger at 171. This Ike is raged up to the max. Dodge, spot dodge through the dash attack. But we are at max rage and who knows? Spot dodge the grab. Dash attack will take it. And now Uno's the one that's in the lead and gets to just kind of hop around. And Wolf definitely beats Ike in mobility. But I got big sword. Yeah, but 200 pounds. Yeah, fact. People are popping off for something over there. I'm not sure what is going on. I'm not commentating those sets. Not on the tech chase. Up through, or up. A bear. Yes, yeah, so that's 68% of the back all the way. There we go. Just get a little bit of chip. Ike Nair is just so good. <laughs> I love Always Ike. has been. It is a good shield. Been an old guard of. Smash Ultimate as a whole. I think it got to a point where, like, once Ike got nerfed and Ike was a lot worse, some people just kind of forgot about it. Forgot about Ike and Nair. But still there, back still air. good. But back air might be a bit better. Just a smidge. But, I mean, that's a tie get, That's a tie set now, so we'll see if we just run it back or what Roger needs to do to readapt. Where are we going? New Pork City. They just keep, yeah, okay. Gotta pretend like, you know, well, maybe Smashville, maybe Battlefield, no, PS2. I don't get the luxury of people allowing me to go to PS2. Everyone found out about how it's Brawler's <laughs> yeah, best stage. Realize, oh, B Brawler does really good on this stage. I'm not gonna let you do that anymore. Just, once again, just trading blows at the start, waiting for a full on opening. Just random stray hits where they recan. Dude, what if Ultimate Ike could uh, quick draw cancel like he can in BM? <laughs> no, that'd be sick if you could. Ike would be such a cool character, and he would, I feel like he'd be a high tier. Not top tier, but I feel like if he had quick draw cancels, then he'd be a high tier. Probably. That opens up a lot for mobility wise. Blazer's coming out. It's a lot of damage on Roger. But, you know, very Back good. air, surviving in the top corner. I bet the air gonna knock them out of the way. Good DI, and but and still alive at 174. Back and forth. Rush or just just one out of reach. little love tap away from dying. Both of them. <laughs> uh, they both survive. I oh my still God. alive at 202. F tilt doesn't work. Oh my gosh. Wow. Someone get hit. Thank there you. There we go. Finally, first stock oh goes to Uno. That was making me nervous. Jeez. Just Roger not super, like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love getting it. I love grabbing Ike out of Uppy. That's so, it's so funny. funny. 
gosh. That's how you know these two have played each other a lot. It just, nope. Come here. It's like grabbing Banjo out of Wonder Wing. Yeah, you're not getting away with this, bud. What's that? I said, you're not getting away with this, bud. Yeah. Yeah, a little scary spot. But you're just gonna shoot her gun. And suddenly things look a little better for her. That might be a dead eye. Not quite. And yeah, there's the stock, but 117% on Roger. That's not yep. going to be easy to come back from 128 now. Especially when you're in the pair zone. It's an uphill battle, but it's definitely still doable. Dash attack. Not going to get anything out of it, though. Also, S smash, just such a lagless move. Mm -hmm. we'll and the way so that it does the hurt box just for a while. Bad here, yep. And now this is suddenly Roger's game to lose. I say suddenly. Up air, up air, up air. Up air, up Tilt. Up. And that's the end of the string. This damage is all star and it just keeps coming and it won't stop coming. <laughs> If that keeps on giving. Absolutely. And back air will take it. Uno's up 2-1. Have <laughs> we got the ABG, ABG chance, and chance crowd. And crowd. You mean ABG and Chad if you're so if you're an ABG fan. Alright. Press one if you love ABG. Press two if you don't know what it is and you don't want to know what it is. Press three if you know what it is but don't like it. <laughs> We can't see chat. And uh, press three if you want to ban Duck Hunt. Now you're talking. I think, we're, listen, I think we're, we've attacked this whole ban thing wrong. I think if we just take out all of like the mid and low high tier zoners, the roster becomes so much nicer. Yeah, There's but then so I have to get rid of Zelda. I, I get rid of Zelda. I, no, I want Zelda. Zelda, she, she's really you pretty and Ness. makes me happy. You keep Ness. Well, yeah, obviously I get to keep Ness, but I want Zelda too. She's cute. Right, we'll, we'll, Good uh, parry. We'll have one exception for you. <laughs> yeah, we're finally it. seeing a stage shift, also, by the way. Yes. This definitely does seem like a pretty solid ice stage, all things considered. Uh, good air dodge through the up air. Fair train coming through. Yeah, just looking for some kind of opening with an aerial. Now Let's Uno see. not running in, but just content to just shoot lasers from a distance. Oh wow, good like run in grab. Setting up for that to not gonna throw up it. air. Gets the up air. I love that Ike has just such a good, consistent combo throw. Absolutely. It's a, it's a very nice thing to wow. have. Wow! Let's go! Off stage. And now it's three stocks to one. Roger's got a fire lit under him. Does that mean this is his winner's side stock? The wise words of Roger himself. Stop, Stop worrying, worrying about, about the set, set count, count. Start making make the, the set, set count. count. Right Wise. now we're seeing that in Bro full thinks force. he's the thinker. 125s. Oh, yeah, it but matter. quick draw into F Smash will take the stock. But still, I mean, you've got an entire stock and a half. Oh, wow. I set up for an eruption two frame. But not so, gonna find it. Uno able to escape out of that situation and already lay down 51%, 65. We still with about the whole stock lead. Rod, we're talking about the Roger dominance, but still, this is not over for Uno in the slightest. No, both of these both of these players and the characters, honestly, can. Ooh, nope, get a fall out of it. That's fair. And back air. Yep. There it is. And now we get a game. This is our first game five of top 64 that we've seen. I think so. Oh, yeah, me. You must move forward. I love game two vibes of top 64. Right. Ladies and germs, we got a set. And it looks like on loot and losers, we got 
Soup in Cole's corner coming up, and currently Wyvern in Illusion, Wyvern with Wyvern up 1-0. We're now, our quad stream is now down to a uh, duo stream, or a bi stream. Yeah, bi stream. That's what it is whenever I decide to actually use my Twitch account. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Going into this final game here, winner goes to top 16, winner's side. Small battlefield. Let's hit the climax indeed. Thank you, man. Cool 30, 42% right out of the gate. 60. We'll say for these two players are very momentum based. Both of these, uh, well, both of them are just super, super snowball-y with their mm. characters and how they play the game. I mean, we saw that last game with how, like, dominant Roger was. It's a, all or nothing, it seems, for a lot of times for them. And, like, uh, I think Roger gets rage in real life. Like, I think he gets stronger <laughs> the more he's down by. Because I... There's no other way to kind of explain it. He just gets yep. stronger. And there, we're seeing it only 80%, which, I mean, I say only 80%, but that's... That's not a whole lot. I mean, that's like half a stock for from what we've seen, at least the average percentage that he's living to. Down throw into, oh, late hit of Nair. Oh my gosh. Almost killing. Yeah, almost died there. Very clutch recovery. I was gonna say, now we're, I mean, we have an entire stock lead, not just the stock in a percent. Good, good Tomahawk got killed right there. And up air will take it. And now, wow. once again, Roger is just up 3-1 and wants this set to be over. Because we're only a minute and a half in. I do believe right now, according to shoe stats at least, Roger is the number one Ike in the U.S. Don't quote me on that if I'm wrong. Is he like number four in the world or something? Yeah, something like that. And I think right now we are seeing that like uh, in action. We are seeing proof positive that he is deserving of that ranking. Good follow up with down tilt. Oh, the red getting the spot dodge on down tilt that time. Down throw, forward air, not quite gonna connect though, and Ike's still alive, okay, yeah. Good. Barely whiffs the tower right there. Almost getting a three sock right there, and then! Oh. Not quite, almost. Uh, reading the <laughs> roll, but I mean, you've got two stocks to play with. You can, you can go for a roll. He is feeling himself right now. Oh my lord. But still. Burn answering back with just a little bit of damage. But will it be enough? Will can she get enough momentum to take Ike out before he does her? I don't know. I think we're at F tilt central right now. Population burn. <laughs> back airs not quite gonna take it. Good air dodge cancel. Oh, what a wolf flash! Oh, oh, what a down air! And now just like that, this is anyone's game. Absolutely. The momentum is starting to shift. They say the Roger King. no longer has stocks to play with, but oh. Uphill is going to take it. And there's the set. Roger takes it 3 2. There, I will say. Hey, that was nuts. I love spikes. Beautiful positioning. Uh, yep, that Roger was going to. 16 winner side. Now we're getting Death Spade and Worry. So Diddy Kong versus Bayonetta? Uh, I think Sora, but I could definitely see Bayonetta at this point. I was going to say, either way, I mean, those are both uh, matchups that Worry gets a lot of practice in with Platt and Krispy Kreme. Oh, it, uh, I hear from the TOs that we're doing a little bit of a break. All right, so yeah, we're uh, this has been top 64 first half. We're gonna go on a little bit of break and swap uh, commentators. Uh, it's been a pleasure, and yep. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'll take care.
Yeah, I know. Put the mic up to the mouth. Yeah, very excited for this. I love watching Murray play. I'm very talented. Diddy Kong from Kentucky, and then Despate gonna be from, um, I think Kansas City. I could be wrong about that. No, not Ohio. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yes, there is true Dingus here, or Freaky Gungus right now. He changed his tag, but yeah, I think Despate was going mostly Sora in bracket earlier today, but switching to the Bayonetta for this matchup. Um, so I think Worry does have a lot of Bayonetta experience in general and just I'm playing the character themselves too, but Excited to see how this one's gonna go. We're gonna start out on the small battlefield Biggest thing that I noticed in Worry's play earlier was using a lot of the monkey flip out of the corner And so I think that can be beneficial But Bayo does have a lot of really great ways to punish that using that ABK could catch it. We're also just using like the uh, the Witch Twist out of shield could lead to a lot of damage too. The biggest thing is we're gonna see Worry playing really low to the ground, seeing a lot of like these short hop aerials, using a lot of down tilt to try to get something started. Just because jumping in Bayonetta's face is usually not gonna work out in your favor. I like the punish there from Mori, just using the back air on the ABK. We're seeing a lot of ABK from Dust Spade so far. It is a good combo tool at this percent, but um, just has not been able to find it so far. F throw off stage though is going to put Worry in a pretty sticky situation, but I like that use of just the barrels to ledge immediately, rather than just letting Dust Spade set up at the ledge and or even try to go for a, an edge guard off stage. Usually not going to work out for Worry if uh, there's like a trade situation. Oh, I didn't even know you could go that far. Okay. Yeah, I really like that there. Okay, get some down tilt into grab, some extra percent, then getting death state off stage too. Worry loves going for those banana drops at the legs, so it finds that one into back air. At um, lower percents, we might see it into down air too. Um, ooh, okay. head but still doesn't die uh, holding onto the stock at 162 and getting a lot of extra percent too might even be able to find this stock before they lose their own yeah 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 i really like that we're there from worry i think they were trying to go for a jab block but just was not able to find it but that f throw will definitely take it 58 percent on death space so that's a decent extra credit here for worry and just continuing to kind of chase death spade down which is not typically what you see in a match of like this like i feel like bayonetta is usually the one that is chasing down their opponent but right now we're just doing a really great job of playing aggressively right now damage here from death speed though just choosing to disengage hang out on that platform doesn't want to overextend and give Murray the opportunity to find a punish does not have banana right now but now does so this is a tricky ledge situation here for death speed but just using that abk back to center gonna help having those mo mobility options against diddy kong is always going to be super beneficial wow. nice that's there from death speed to avoiding that up smash yeah even the parry wasn't enough yeah. usually uh parry will get you a free punish but abk too good Okay, out, actually, Worry was right. It just didn't work out. It was like a timing mix up there. Oh, and like you said, the banana drop back there, that's going to be a staple of Worries. Yeah, the mix ups of where we're seeing the banana is really helpful at the ledge. We're seeing it dropped like right next to the ledge to catch ledge get up. Um, also, seeing it just right on top, too, is going to help with get up and attack or. Um... Ooh, okay. Or a neutral get up too, but now getting back to the stage here for worry could be troublesome, but just manages to use the barrel straight to and Oh, this is gonna be big, yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, this is kind of where okay, forward throw's gonna seal yeah. it, but 65. Nothing that Bayo can't make up quickly. For sure, yeah. Just one good hit from Bayo could definitely tie this up. So you can definitely see that we're just trying to stay out of the burst range of Bayonetta too, trying to avoid that ABK. I like that spacing there too, recognizing that uh, a lot of the time that's going to be the opener for Death Space. So just staying out of the range or trying to stay low to the ground so she can't pop you up in the air. Great F throw off stage too, and here's that same banana ledge trap, but 
Oh, Deathspade reversing it. Wait, this could be. No, Deathspade decided not to go for F, uh, four, four to three. Catching the banana too. Bayonetta with banana is terrifying. Yeah, her out of shield options are already good. <laughs> Giving your bananas, oh man, you're in banana trouble. Banana into F smash would probably kill at the ledge here, so. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I just love the use of the platform from both players trying to avoid the banana. That was so crazy. Yeah, okay. that barrel usage was crazy, but the tech in is gonna get worry a down tilt. Ends up stage control. Oh, how did he clip off the stage? What? This off stage play is insane. Oh, and the off stage chase! That was so good from Death Speed 144 on that last stock, and honestly was down that entire time and just managed to stay composed, find that perfect opportunity there to basically steal that game from Worry. Oh, yeah, Death Speed playing super confident. That's what you want to see getting your confirms, knowing your spots, and uh, making sure that you're able to convert. Worry's got to feel pretty rough about that one. You were up the whole game and uh, let it slip. I think a big thing too was like we were seeing so much off stage play where Deathspeed was able to try to get those um, stage spikes on Worry. That's the, I think the biggest pitfall of Diddy Kong is just being off stage. Uh, very susceptible recovery. It does have like the monkey flip for high recoveries, but Bayo's pretty consistent at, at calling that out. So I think just having that off stage play over and over and over again really got Worry to higher percent where that up smash actually killed. Yeah, that side for Bayo actually getting canceled off by the banana is kind of funny. Yeah. Nice combo starter. Okay, dash time. Not gonna get a ton just a forward air, but I mean, where are you playing neutral super well this game? Yeah, for sure. Okay, whipping the grab there, but not gonna eat a punish for it. I do like the mix up of dash attack too, because of the timing mix up on your shield. Um, Hot Death to be dropping a little too early, and it does pop you up in the air, which is exactly what Diddy Kong wants. He wants to. Uh, Use those back airs, use snare, use a lot of those aerials to just string up a lot of damage. But speaking of stringing up damage, we're seeing that here from Death Spade. Love that aggressive grab to throwing Worry off stage. And again, this is like where Worry always struggles, finding that back air too. Just getting off of the ledge and getting back to stage is just really where Worry is struggling. But in neutral, I think they're typically really uh, beating on Death Spade. Yeah, and, uh, and it really, it's really unfortunate because you would think that like, oh, Bayo, you know, people had the idea at the beginning of the game, oh, Bayo, the character that can't kill, but yeah, sweet spot back air, people figured out sweet spot back air, jabs. Okay, down tilt up smash from where you're gonna take up the stock. Yeah, I feel like we haven't really seen a lot of those like confirms from Mori. We're mostly relying on a lot of the banana at the ledge. Um, Ooh, but that F smash, great call out there from Death Spade, and now has a whole stock lead in this game too. This is looking a lot more rough than game one was looking for worry, so this is definitely a mountain to climb. What an interesting follow-up. Yeah. Down throw, it's a monkey flip. Never seen that one before. Oh, oh no! Yeah. I'm not, not sure like what worry this. was looking for there. I mean, probably just a miss and put. Yeah. Yeah, it just feels like every time worry... Every time Worry gets a hit, he gets like 20 to 30, and every time Death Spade's a hit, it's like 50 to death. Yeah. And it's kind of been the story of the set so far. Sure. Yeah, and I mean the smash attack callouts have definitely been in, in Death Spade's favor too. They're going to be very consistent for finding those tech chases and also just options out of the ledge too, whereas Worry's going to have to rely more on combos out of the banana. Um, so when Death Spade is playing very evasive and using a lot of these special moves to avoid the banana, then it's just a lot harder for, for Worry to actually see all its stocks. Yeah, and even like we're talking about like damage output, it's Mayo's not the easiest character to combo, right? She has yeah. like quite a few reversal tools with Witch Twist, uh, Witch Time, you know, her air dodge is really good. She's also so. really skinny. Yeah. Yeah, and just like walking down the ledge has been really hard for me. Using the ABK from Death Spade seems to be really beneficial. I think the platform layout is helping um, them recover to Siege too. So, just really struggling to find something here. Gonna be some big damage into back air there. It's kind of the first big, like, conversion where he's, I feel like it's the first big, like, you know, like, neutral conversion where he's got, like, all set, honestly. It's just a simple grab up throw of it, up throw back air. Yeah, and there's that tech chase situation again, like Death Spade could use an F smash there and catch it, whereas like Mori has to rely on trying to get grabs and is just guessing incorrectly in a lot of these situations is really yeah. costing them. And I think Death Spade's also DIing out on a lot of the uh, the down tilts at the ledge too, so Mori's not able to confirm it into anything. And they 
Bayonet is very comfortable off stage, so just holding onto that stock for a lot longer than you would typically see against a different character. Maybe Rory does it that. Yeah. Maybe it's possible for uh, Rory to try and like do some like kind of hard call down tilt, just like do a drop zone forward air or something. Yeah. But it's like rapid jabs. Yeah. No, Rory falling out of it. That's also scary because you have to worry about Bayonet and pulling you off stage yeah. too. So just a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation. Yeah, exactly. And Yes, babe, putting on the hurt. Given how the set's going, 132, where he's got a while to go before he kills Despade. Hey, looking for that banana again. Love that fall off with the up air. Still not going to take the stock, but still some decent damage here. Yeah, banana in hand. Oh, not anymore, though. And forward tilt, okay. Yeah, maybe that's something that Worry can uh, kind of use later in the set as well. I haven't seen the forward tilt yet. So. Yeah. I think that that's a good adaptation instead of using the down tilt. Like, I think down tilt definitely has its place, but just hitting Death Spade off, off stage, I don't know if F tilt does more damage, but if it does, if you're not really getting any follow ups off of down tilt anyway, it's yeah. just going for the high damage option is going to be better. It looks like it stays out longer, too. Yeah. That attack is brutal. Ooh, I love the use of the, uh, the barrels on the stage too. Bayo's not gonna have the speed to catch you there, especially yeah. with like how he's pancaking to the ground. You don't have to worry about the ABK punish. So I do like that mix up. Okay. Ah, really risky. Actually, you're like yeah. running, just worry, just running it down something and kind of giving up the whole stage. And Despain using that to their advantage, gonna find the back air and gonna find the lead right now in this pivotal game three. Yeah, great stuff there to death spade. Perfectly spaced back air, and now, um, now we're struggling to get back to the ledge. Barely makes it back, and actually taking death spade stock with them, but still kind of a rough situation off stage against Bayonetta. Goes for the banana drop once again. Ooh, That's I love the grab. That was so smart. Yeah, it actually finding 40 damage off of it, pretty yeah. decent. Basically tying the game up too. Yeah, this is the best of where he has looked throughout this whole set. And scrapping a lot more than he has in the last two games, I feel like. Yeah, this is some big damage. Drops the banana, too. And Rory has done an okay job with landing so far, but up tilt to back here. Gonna put Rory at the ledge where he has really struggled. Hey, yeah, just trying to find that down tilt, trying to find a follow up here. Oh, but the fair drag down into the. Yeah. Multi-tap gonna take it, and Deathspeed gonna take that set 3-0, despite the game one looking pretty close, too, so. Really good stuff to Deathspeed. I think um, they did a great job yeah. of finding combos, finding those early kills with the smash attacks, too, and just doing a really good job of exploiting the recovery from Diddy Kong um, and just making it really hard to recover. So, gonna move on into top 16, which is gonna be taking place tomorrow. So, Deathspeed gets to chill for a little bit today. Um, but we're going to drop down into losers. Hopefully not the last that we're going to see for Mori because I do really enjoy watching them play. Yeah, as a like you know top five-ish player in the country, I think they're definitely, uh, I wouldn't say a lock, but they're definitely favored to make top 16 tomorrow. Honestly, Great. I was kind of impressed with how Worry was playing kind of towards the end of game three. I know it was still a loss, but like it seemed like they had finally started to put the pieces together, but the lead was just a little too much. Yeah. I think it's really hard to play against Bayonetta in a deficit anyway because yeah. every single hit matters so much. And she feels very comfortable in that position of making you chase her down. She's looking yeah. to whiff punish you. She wants to hit the ABK on your jump. She wants to hit the witch twist out of shield. And it's not like you're just hitting that one punish. Like you get so much damage from that. Yeah. Think it's very like demoralizing to have to fight against a Bayo in a deficit. But I think Worry did a great job despite that. It's just kind of hard to, to get back in that position. Yeah, well, we're going to be getting now uh, one of the best players in Kentucky, Pneumatic. Well, he, I think, I actually don't remember exactly where, but I think he actually like dropped a little bit on the PR recently. But like top five still. Yeah, yeah, definitely top yeah. five still. Definitely one of Kentucky's best going up against Ploopy, who I don't know much about them. I think Kansas City. Also, Kansas City coming out, huh? Yeah, could be wrong about that. I'm not sure. I'm a fake fan, but fake fan. They've been oh, watching man. Rob. I remember. Um, mostly known for Game & Watch, but I think he's been playing a lot of Rob in this bracket so far. I've been doing a fantastic job with him, obviously, making it to this top 16 qualifier. So I think this will definitely be a good match. Uh, Nomadic was a, a Jigglypuff for a while, then switched to Wario. Now he's been playing a lot of Politina in these matches today. So 
Yeah, based on what the characters that you mentioned, Paolo does great into both of them, so... Probably be seeing some Paolo coming up from Pneumatic. Uh, obviously one of the best Warios in the US, so... Could see that as well. I'm, I'm so impressed from him, just kind of uh, the way his grounded movement is. And also his aerial... Is, so both his grounded movement and aerial drift are ridiculous. Uh, he positions himself on the stage better than I have seen any player from this region. Yeah. I, he just like always puts himself in the right spot to uh, to find like any kind of neutral opener. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean that's really important against characters like Rob and Game of Watch for yeah. sure. Uh, especially Rob, which I think we're probably going to see the Game of Watch, but if we do see the Rob, like, stage positioning is so important because of a lot of those kill setups that can kill you super early. Um, but I, I'm a big fan of the pneumatic Politana. I feel like we need more poly representation. We don't really have a lot of, yeah. We have like Chase and Chag and Wampy. Luis. And, of that. and Luis too. I mean, I guess we have four, but she's just so cool. I want oh, more. Oh yeah, she's sick. I love her. Yeah. Her movement's so cool. Her combos are cool. I think people complain about her too much on Twitter. I don't understand yeah. it. Like, am I, I I don't know. I feel like uh, compared to a lot of the like uh, newer like DLC characters, she works a little bit harder. Yeah. No, just a little bit, not not a not a lot. I mean, harder, don't get but... me wrong. Like getting hit by or however much percent is very tilting. But I mean, once you get to that co percent, you feel like she kind of struggles to kill. Yeah, she... It's like if you don't find back air, if you don't find up air, like you yeah, know. she has very specific setups that she's yeah. looking for. She can get straight hits to kill, but it's not going to be nearly as early as it would be like a lot of the DLCs, like you said. So. Yeah, you're not getting hit by like, I don't know, like a uh, minecart into forward air by Steve yeah, and just dying yeah. at 40 for it. Yeah, oh, for great. Sure. Awesome. Uh, just like you said, the Mr. Game & Watch coming out. Polytina as well. Yeah. Uh, w green skin? I don't know about all that. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think the, the purple one's the best one in my opinion. Or like the default white is very cute default too. White. I use uh, the black skin. Okay. But uh, Black Palo's great. I Loki would main Politana if she had an ult that didn't have green. If she I had it all, she hate the, you hate the color green? No, I green love hater? the color green. I just don't like that it looks like seaweed. Oh, okay, you know what? You know like a uh, Roy's green ult? Yes. Yeah, that's a banger green color, like the dark yes, green. For sure. That's my yeah. favorite color. Oh, okay. There you go. It's uh, emerald green. Not it. But... Even though Politina's hunter does not slay, gameplay can definitely slay in this matchup. We're seeing that so far, seeing a lot of damage here. Just see straight kills typically working out in the Maddox's favor, but this is going to be an opportunity for Pookie to get a lot of damage here. Landing as Politina is going to be hard. We might see like a teleport to the platform if yeah. he's able to teleport cancel, but even that's like really risky against a character. This is a stage where, so if you warp cancel onto the middle of the uh, either side platform, you can also just get a free warp cancel to the ledge. Not every stage gives you that opportunity, and so the uh, platform layout of small battlefield can give you that option. Rapid Jab is not going to do it. But a lot of damage, though, just able to keep Polo trapped in the ledge. I like the recovery there from Pneumatic. I don't see a punish from Pneumatic just yet. You can see that Pneumatic's kind of scouting for these high recoveries. We're seeing a lot of jump from the ledge from Pneumatic. Send back off again, and then I think we're seeing like the lower recovery because of the down tilt and the up smash of the ledge from Politina. But we are gonna take the first stock with that, and now the map is just looking for this kill, and this is the exact situation that we were talking about here off the platform. Oh, barely kills them. That had to be wonky DI, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know about that one, but now even I mean, stocks here. Go ahead. Yeah, and Game & Watch, I feel like, as a character, when you're on the ledge, I feel like that's where Game & Watch is at his best. Obviously, you have, like, the bacon uh, set up with, like, the bacon into the chair. And, um, oh, man, you're mad at having a really tough time landing. I think in this matchup, it looks like Luffy's going to be at his best when he is keeping Politane and Jungle yeah. on these platforms with the up airs. It seems like she has a really hard time. I wonder if she could recover it, but if that would be, like, too middle. Oh, my gosh, so scary there. The down smash from uh, Game & Watch is definitely not to be slept on. It's such a strong move that can yeah. form into the up smash too, and the super early up smash as well. All of uh, Game & Watch's smash attacks are really super strong. And they kind of have the same air in a way, where you're trying to string it together and get a lot of percent off of it, but he needs to find this first stock. There's the down tilt into back air, but not gonna find it. 
You see that walk that Pneumatic did kind of towards the center of the yeah. stage? Oh, that's kind of what I mean when I say his positioning is, is crazy. Yeah, just taking your time to set up accordingly and try to uh, catch the recovery back to center stage. Oh my gosh, potentially so much shield damage there, but now we're in the same situation where Pneumatic's getting juggled a lot, and able to use the teleport to get back to the other side of the stage, but still just really struggling. Yeah, Ploop just completely taking uh, control over this game. One and... Oh, Aeronaut, yeah. Eric. American Air Dodge, you hate to see it. Wasn't it called like a European Air Dodge at some point? Then it got changed to the American Air Dodge, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I remember asking on Twitter why is it called Dodge, but I have the memory retention of a fish, so I don't remember what the answer was. Stop battle. Into game two. I also have the quad stream if you guys want to check that out right now. Good names over there, not a few, a lot of good names, uh, of going on on that stream, but right now, getting into this game two on small battlefield. Yeah, I feel like, ah, uh, man, those backers that Pneumatic is doing at the ledge are just a little bit missed time. They need to be a little bit later. I do like that Pneumatic's kind of doing the same game plan that Pluto is going for, using a lot of those up airs, but I yeah. think the, uh, the up air from New from Poopy rather is going to be a lot bigger and easier to catch Politano, whereas uh, Pneumatic has to pinpoint where Game Watch is going to be. Yeah, and you can see that that plat chop up air is like kind of gross because it just leads yeah. it to itself. And it's just like, oh hey, Game 25, nice, good job. Yeah, a lot of damage here from Poopy so far. Big thing is up the out of shield, but great punish there. There's that down smash into up smash from Poopy to take that first stock. Um, I think that so far, pneumatic spacing has been pretty decent, but that's something we've been worried about. Just landing into Game & Watch's shield. That up is going to lead to a lot of percent, just being able to combo things out of it as well. Grab is going to be quite a bit in. Oh, no, never mind. Okay. Would have been quite a bit of damage, but that second air whiff. I was expecting the judgment or whatever. The, uh, oh, yeah, the judge. Is, yeah. <laughs> honestly, I, that's honestly a pretty good idea. I mean, like, if you yeah. the, uh, the upside is so high. Pneumatic able to find a stock though, like you were talking about with that up air. Probably being Pal Palu's, one of Palu's better moves in that match, in this matchup. Yeah, because we're spending so much time in the air, so being able to fish each other out of the air is yeah. going to be like, basically what their neutral is. I do like that we're seeing Pneumatic use a lot more of the short hop landing fair to poke at Again, Ruby just kind of running away with the damage, making it really hard for Pneumatic to land. Yeah, even covering the warp cancel, it's not something that you see a lot of players be ready for, but oh. Pneumatic bonked his head. A little unfortunate there. Teleport is a little wonky. I like that attempt in the down air. Not going to work out for Pneumatic, but that could seal a very early stock of the foot. Pneumatic back into this game, so going for those tricky um, kills. Definitely respect it right now. Yeah, their juggles have just been completely immaculate this set. And also, looping, uh, lapping, excuse me, Pneumatic damage. That's not a real move. It can be helpful sometimes, but not when there's a... How is it a sitting bucket? there with a bucket, yeah. yeah. Just not worth it. A little scared there with the get-up attack, too. I think if Ploopy spaces the down smash a little bit farther back, it can catch like, anything that Pneumatic's going to be using out of the corner. And um, again, just lead to a kill, especially at 90% here. Yeah. It's unfortunate, because Pneumatic's actually been doing a really good job at forcing out here. It just hasn't been able to be heard. It's kind of what you like right there. Yeah. There's that bacon at the ledge, but just not fully committing to it. Letting Pneumatic get back on the stage, but still just struggling to get back to center. Love that use of the dash attack, though. Gonna have that yeah. armor on it. Um, so, gonna be a, a great tool to use, but is pretty punishable, too. Yeah, the down smash is great, but calling out a lot of grounded approaches from yeah. Pneumatic. Gonna take game two here for Ploopy. And it's looking a little rough for Pneumatic so far. Yeah, the spots that you have to be in versus Game & Watch when you're at high percent is so... It, like, you have to you have to be at such a precise, precise spot because if you are above uh, Game & Watch, you gotta be ready for up smash. And the up smash, you know, uh, the helmet's uh, got a bunch of weird properties with it. And then if you're on the ground, oh man, be ready for uh, down smash because that, that also safe on shield, so yeah. it's kind of hard to run up and block. So you have to be in that really weird spot where you're like up and uh, like almost, almost diagonal uh -huh. to Game & Watch. It's, you know, it's difficult. Yeah, I think the floatiness of Game & Watch is making it really hard for Pneumatic to combo as well. Whereas, obviously, Gloopy is not having that problem just getting these up airs together. Um, 
Fnatic's having to go for a lot of like these straight hits, a lot of yeah. these like two piece combos at most. Oh, oh you're dead. Gosh. 70! Man, that's oh, that might be a. I don't like calling sets early. Oh, and he goes for judgment. Uh, yeah, this is a bit rough. Finds yeah. a nair, is able to get nair up there. Omu goes for judgment, but gets a one. How unlucky. Yeah, this is kind of rough too. You can kind of tell that Omu has like a big momentum shift here as well. Trying to use the judgment, using that down smash on the ledge. Yeah. I think if that one would have hit, it would have killed too. Whereas Palutena doesn't really have like that BS factor. She's kind of looking for specific ways to kill you. And I think Ruby's very aware of all of those ways. Of Good job. Oh, oh my an oil gosh. panic. It's not gonna kill because it's uh, it's not it doesn't take the final hit of explosive flame, only takes the first few, but it's still a lot of damage. Yeah. Okay, we're seeing a lot more fair from Kluby too, trying to just automatic in the air, fish him out of the air. And just going back to ledge there too. I like that patience there from Kluby, just not trying to force his way back to center. Ooh, double dash attack, shout out to in a pretty bad position here and has to deal with the uh, bacon at the ledge and back air too. Just so many hitboxes being thrown up by Kluby. It's kind of like a bullet hell to get out of there for Pneumatic. Even when Pneumatic uh, has angel platform visibility, yeah. there's still three up airs. Oh my gosh. Okay, whiffing the ground, this is an opportunity for Pneumatic with that dash attack. Gonna be a little laggy, but the pushback on it was enough to save him from that punish. Yeah, no rage just means that back airs, uh, back door, excuse me, is not gonna kill. Same thing with the dash attack. Maddox's gonna have to work still. Gonna find the backer, gonna seal out the stalker, but having a whole nother stock to get through when you have been the one that hasn't been able to rack up damage is it's gonna be pretty rough. Oh, oh five. We haven't even seen a nine whiff, it just hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Saving it for last. It's gonna be the kill screen. True. <laughs> oh my gosh, three down smashes in a row. Maybe trying to go for the fourth, but Nomadic gonna get a grab. Not gonna get a ton off of it though, and again, just really struggling to land against these up airs. Gosh, so much pressure here from Poopy with these smash Ah, packs. that's not a real move! And down smash into nine, just like you said, the last one? Yeah. So Poopy gonna take that 3 home over Pneumatic. Honestly, I think Pneumatic was playing pretty well. Just the up airs were super clutch for Poopy getting a lot of damage, and it just felt like Pneumatic wasn't able to find a lot of those combos that we typically see from Politano. Like, we talked about the nair, nair, nair. Um, with... Game & Watch being kind of smaller and being pretty light and having the uh, a lot of air mobility just felt like we weren't really able to see any of that. So Matic was just having to uh, just find one or two pieces and it just was not comparing, especially when you're dying so early to those smash attacks. Um, if, I think it also felt like just, uh, especially in that game three uh, after the first stock, Kloopy just felt like he was comfortable, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was playing around like it was like a friendly pneumatic is like over the gamer leaning like a... Yeah. Uh, Kind of sweating it off, but I mean, and, uh, I feel like once you kind of have that like calmness go over you, it's so much easier to play the game. Yeah. No, as soon as he started going for judge, I was like, okay, he's feeling he knows himself he's right gonna now. Win. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's in a pretty good position, up a whole stock um, with a zero to death too. Like that, that is exactly what you want to see if you're a Bluebee fan. So we'll be gonna move on to top 16 tomorrow. Next, it looks like we're gonna have Squiggles versus somebody. I can look it up real quick. But... Yeah, I'm not quite sure. What? Uh, actually, should check and see if there's any like cool losers matches, losers matches going on too, because the top 32 especially has been all bangers pretty much from what yeah. I've seen. So people that we have in top 16 so far, we have Beast Mode Paul, we mm -hmm. have Roger, Danny, okay. Loopy now, and then Wilds versus Squiggles is going to be our next set in winners. Oh, going um, against number one in Kentucky is going to yeah. be uh, pretty rough. Do you know much about Squiggles? Yeah, so Squiggles is a this dual main right now. Um, going to be Lucas. Actually, no, try main. Lucas, me brawler, and then has been practicing wolf a lot. So it's a crazy trio. Our trio yeah. Is so really the uh, the wolf is relatively new. I think he was trying to just play wolf for a little bit to practice it up, but now I think he's more comfortable with playing all three of them. Uh, I think for this matchup, he's probably going to go Lucas. Yeah. Uh, just trying to use like the Zare to space around. Um, Kazuya, the biggest thing is if Kazuya is able to use that electric, it could just go right through the Zare and just kill the little guy. But, um, yeah, Squiggles has been ranked Luke, in Ohio. Oh, I'm not sure if he's on the PR this season, but very strong player. Um, 
really, really great at finding combos with Lucas. Um, and edge guarding, I think, is going to be a big thing too. Just trying to find kills off stage against um, Wilds as soon as possible. Oh, but immediately yeah. gets to grab it. 57 off of one hit is not what you want to see, especially when you're trying to play that nickel and dime game. Okay, and there's that Zer coming in clutch. Using PK Fire can also be beneficial. Unlike Ness, uh, Lucas is just going to go in a straight line regardless, so it's going to be a good zone. It's going to kind of space around um, Wilds. So we're going to see him approaching the ground a lot more using a lot of like air to try to set him into something. So if you're able to stuff him out with the, the fair, the Zer, and the uh, PK Fire, that can help, but it's not going to matter there. Nice confirm there from Wilds getting that backer to seal that first stock, but Squiggle's still in a pretty decent spot right now. 95% on Kazuya. Still just needs to find an opening to find the stock because Wilds, with that Kazuya, is just so strong at finding a lot of these hits that lead to a ton of percent or even death, especially yeah. when you have Rage online right now. I used to actually give him a, a bunch of stuff for, because uh, he used to not really, uh, he used to be, like, his, his neutral with Kazuya is really good, but he used to actually be very weak. His combo used to be very weak, and so I used to give him a bunch of stuff for it. Uh, but yeah, he's gotten so much better at it, and it has been like the number one reason I think why he is the best in Kentucky now. For sure, I have to watch out for back throw here at the ledge, but it looks yeah. like Wilds is aware of that. Trying to pull back to center stage, he gets the parry on the PK fire. He doesn't have her squiggles, just immediately gonna fire back with that fair. 44% still in a pretty good position here. Just needs to find a few hits to tie it up, and is doing that right now. But here with the PK fire. An electric through the second yeah. one. You hate to see it. <laughs> I'm like seeing nightmares of like back here spiking wild super early. So I think that's definitely why Squiggles is playing a lot at the ledge. It's also not giving Wilds the stage space to work with to get a lot of those combos. Okay, gonna find a back throw. I wonder, can you magnet through the, uh, the laser? Is that absorb it? I think probably. I mean, it looks like it's like an energy based thing. Yeah. Maybe we'll find out. Okay, up he had a shield, not quite gonna work for Wilds. Does have the uh, Rage Drive available if he opts to use it for this stock. Definitely would kill right now, too, but the forward tilt from Squiggle is gonna take that away. Aggressive. Yeah, I love that PK freeze there. We see Squiggle sees that a lot where he makes it land on top of him, so you get punished for trying to hit him, but that back throw gonna put Squiggles in the lead here with the. Another stock, but at 109, and Wilds is definitely looking to find it right now, so it has to be really careful with the ledge, trying to get a lot of damage here with these combos, though. Maybe even leading fair into back here could win Squiggles this first game. Oh, and they're just... Funny okay. enough, you would think like, oh, you know, Lucas is a zoner, I'm just gonna go scrap with him. Lucas's frame data is actually ridiculous. No, his ground is... So he's so good strong. at boxing. Yeah, and like his, uh, his down tilt, too. Like at the ledge when you're in these scrap situations, you see Squiggles do like a down tilt into back throw because it's just so quick. I do really like the adaptations that we're seeing from Wilds and the way that he's dealing with the PK fire. We saw him parry it, we saw him electric through, we've also seen him roll in when the PK fire gets thrown too. Oh, there's that back here, but not gonna hit. Not gonna get the strong hit, but Wilds just really struggling to get out of the corner here. Yeah, Squiggles has to play perfect, though. One hit could be a stock here. I hate saying that at 35, yeah. but it is true. It's true. Okay. Love the drag down yeah. there from Squiggles. That was so smart, using the up throw to find that stock and take a deep one. It's so hard to react to the up throw, too, because he just throws you up so quickly. Yeah. You're, you're already dead by the time you're like, oh, I got to DI this. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you like, see the game, and you're like, oh, wait, hold <laughs> Wait, <on."> what? <laughs> yeah. Do you think that Wild should be picking, uh, can't pick no platforms against Lucas, right? That's gotta be a that sentence. Um, yeah, because I think the platforms are helpful for getting around PK Fire. PK Fire, okay. yeah. So I like this pick. Kind of a little bit of, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, killing off the side too, like, we saw a lot of the stocks yeah. from Lucas killing off the top, or at least with that up throw, so I think killing off the side is going to be in Wild's One. favor. Go! Um, but both of them just not really struggling to kill as characters in general. I think having the uh, the flatter stage is going to be beneficial for Kazuya just getting those combos. But if Squiggles manages to keep Wilds trapped in the corner, he get a lot of this damage by the ledge. Uh, that seemed to work game one, so it might work game two as well. Yeah, gonna fight. You know what we haven't seen a lot? Actually, Electric Wind Godfist. 
true. I've not seen a ton of that move. Gonna find the back throw though as well. That move gives you just stage control for free. Yeah. I think the biggest thing is like Swiggles keeps keeping him trapped in the corner and you need the space to do the input. So yeah, yeah, if he yeah. just keeps him shoved there and like pushed in the locker, then he can't really do anything about it. But Wild's taking an early lead here, still at 76%. Recovering could be a little tricky, but I do like the way that he's using the upbeat very high to avoid the PK fire. And it seems like Swiggles isn't really able to. a lot of damage. Not going to kill as the up smash. Man, the, what a reversal for game two! And it, you know what? You know what? You know what the adaptation was? Wild guy, one hit. Yep. <laughs> but he's gonna get the up. Three stocks to one now is Wilds, and this is a complete opposite of uh, game one. Yeah, I think in a lot of these scrap situations, using that up out of shield can be beneficial for Wilds. Getting 58% off of that one hit. Tries to use the up smash at the ledge too to catch the ledge drop from Squiggles, but still just in a really good position here. Oh, and the laser calling out the PK fire too. Yeah, that's definitely in there with a three stock in game two for Wilds. Yeah, Squiggles has got to just, okay, the game basically, you got you to think about like, okay, basically that game didn't happen. I'm in a mental reset here because uh, letting that panic set in, like, oh my god, I just got smoked game two, like, that could uh, lose you a set very easily. But I also think that stage pick is, like, really important when you're playing yeah. 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 specifically, so yeah, yeah, it's yeah. pretty easy to shake it up, especially when you have best of five to work with, too. So, I'm excited to see what Squiggles can do in this next game. Looks like we're going to Smashville, which I definitely agree with. Yeah. I think that Lucas, in particular, does a really good job of controlling that middle platform with a lot of his aerials. Um, and I think he can use it as well to like drop through with the PK fire to stuff out a lot of approaches from Wilds, but you also don't have anywhere to run away from causing it too, and we're seeing that right now. Wilds getting the throw off stage, but Zare is super clutch for just grabbing the lunch. You oh, can't. there it is. Uh, that's there we go. 20? That was actually crazy that healed 20. But Ooh, the pulse up? Oh, gonna get the uppy, not quite gonna kill. Ah, the downer's gonna do it. The wilds are big in game three or game four, excuse me. Yeah, I was gonna say game three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four throw and suddenly I I like blinked and he's lapped the damage? Yes, yeah, I mean that's the thing about Kazi is he just has great damage options. He also has um, really strong kill options too. I think the biggest thing is like capitalizing off of having him at disadvantage. You can see Squiggles trying to do that now. Uh, but yeah, that recovery from Wilds was so strong too. Squiggles finally finds that fair in the left. Still looking pretty decent here. I mean, again, Angers are just really strong for getting a lot of damage. Tries to string some upbeats together too, but he can't overextend because Wilds is just always ready to fire back with that upbeat out of shield. Yeah, I gotta find the up throw or the. Uh... Okay, yeah, four throw from Wilds. Don't throw a laser. Yeah, no, I, I hope Wilds learned his lesson. Yeah, he threw two lasers, and that's the reason why Squiggles, I think, still has a stock. Yeah, for sure. No, like, it seems like it's 20 damage is 20 damage, but, like, in situations like this, it can help you hold on to your stock for a lot longer. Is he supposed to reverse that up? I don't know if he was supposed to reverse that up, but it worked. Okay, ah, uh, does he get that first attack? Is this, this is a stage that you can do it again. Probably. I thought it was all of them, but I don't know. I'm not oh, gonna I, yeah. I'm Neither gonna am I. Oh, it's no Zare, no jump. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, just wrapping off stage. Everybody holding on to their stocks, though, but Squiggles still in a deficit here. There's that down tilt into the back throw, but. Okay, yeah, oh, that's okay. gonna do it. Yeah, I mean, that, like, even if it doesn't kill, it still puts you in a pretty bad position in this cause here, so. Squiggles just taking his time to get out of the corner here, but it's not gonna matter. Gonna get that back here. Still holding on to the stock, though. Yeah, Squiggles holding on to his loser's life. Finds an air dash attack. Quick 25. Okay. If Squiggles can maintain the, the stage position, keep Wilds in the corner, I actually do like his chances, but the dash attack. This is uh, it's gonna be hard if Squiggles can't find his way out of the corner. Okay. F tilts. It's a good position. Calls out the high recovery from Wilds. Just waits and finds the oh, PK, PK freeze, freeze too. Yeah. Really yeah. good stuff there. The Squiggles holding onto the stock at 146. So. Yeah, we got a game five. Kossian does have really strong stage counter picks, so I would uh, be kind of worried if I was Squiggles. But I mean, you got to feel good, you know, taking taking the game back. You know, I I don't know. I, I would feel pretty nice if I was Squiggles. Wilds worked uh, really hard. Is it game five? I thought it was game yeah, okay, four. Yeah, I keep, I keep getting messed up by this. Okay. 
It's just like, okay, the stream's messed up. Okay, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, yeah. like I'm like forgetting a game then. I'm being gaslit over here, yeah. actually. Because <laughs> there was the one that Squiggles won first, and then there was oh, the Freestyle. Yeah, and yeah then, and then there was this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then it's now it's just messing up. It's not on production, but like, yeah, it's like it's automatically updating it. Three, yeah, no, it's like two, predicting what's going to happen here on go. Hollow Bastion. Interesting, after losing to Smashville, going to Hollow. Um, I think you can move. I think you're going to have a I just like, yeah, I like the idea, especially going for a PK Thunder 2 trying to get, ooh. That's a new adaptation. We're unlocking new ways to deal with the PK fire. I feel like Squiggles wasn't using it nearly as much, and now we unlock the, uh, the counter to the reflector event. Yeah, I know that that has some, like, ridiculous scalings on it. Will that kill at 85 if, uh, if it's reflected successfully? If I'm Squiggles, I don't want to find out, though. Yeah, really. Yeah, just not able to arc the PK freeze to catch the low Still holding on to the stock despite getting hit with that up B and almost timed for sense here. Yeah, Rage Drive offline now, but Wild's still gonna find his way back to the ledge and just the raw down B is still gonna do it. This is scary for 56 and the tech chase too! 74%! Oh, get out of here! Was that up smash? Uh, DCF yeah, smash? So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not a 54. That. Yeah, but it's still a lot of damage. <laughs> like, Kazi hits so hard, so we might see another three star. Oh, oh, hey, look, the scoreboard's right now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> there you go. Love to see it. Okay, so what's your prediction? Is Squiggles going to win game five, or are we going to see another three stock from Wilds? I think we're going to have a banger game five. I think it's going to be really scrappy. I think we're going to see a lot of spaghetti. As you usually, as you usually do, as you usually do in game fives, yeah. Both players are just sweating it out, super nervous. No. We'll see though. I I would like to see Squiggles. I we, we haven't seen as the uh, uh, from Ledge Squiggles doing the like uh, double jump cancel in snare. Yeah. And I know that that's like an option that Lucas has. That's like pretty strong off the ledge. I just have not seen it at all. I'm afraid that Kazuya can just kick you out of it though. Just like do the uh, yeah, kick that sends you at the terrible angle. Which if you have your jump, you should be able to make it back to Lucas, but it's definitely not a position that you want to be in. Yeah. Carry, but not even to no Why punish though. Yeah, his defensive play I think is kind of underrated. Honestly, yeah. he is uh, because like like I was talking about before, how his like versus used to like not be amazing. Like you kind of have to learn how to like have good defensive play. Oh, edge guard, disgusting! And he's gonna live. Oh no, never mind. Down smash. Oh, we're back. Oh, stalls with the laser too. Oh my gosh, that was crazy from Wild. Yeah. And Rage Trap 56. Loki, he earned that. He fought his way back to the ledge there. Back throw gonna do it though. There's that nice little trick there from Squiggles again. 56% just off of that one interaction though, so that can be a little frustrating to deal with. Uh, be out of shield gonna be super strong for Wilds too, so now Squiggles kind of in a bad position. He needs to get out of the ledge and try to find some extra damage here on Wilds to tie things up. Okay, just like hit him with the stick. All right, you got okay, it. Go off. <laughs> it's a, okay. a nice call out, I guess. Ooh, yeah, the up airs too are gonna be a great way to get a lot of that damage, but just gonna spike. He should bang his back. There's no shot. Yeah, what? Lucas's recovery is ridiculous. I think that it would be like S2, where like you hit someone, you bonk your head, and you don't have any other distance, but still being able to make it back, and that's a ton of percent to 111 on yeah. Wilds. Suddenly, so uh, Squiggle's gonna probably be able to find his way to take the stock without taking too much damage if he can just keep Wilds in the corner. That Nair is going to do a lot of help in terms of doing that. And sweet spot border. Okay, last stock situation, game five. You were right. Who's got it? it? I gotta see some spaghetti still. So we're seeing falling Nair here from Wilds trying to get a combo started. We're seeing a lot of Nair from Squiggle's too, just trying to control that airspace. Falling up here, gonna give him the open that he needs though. 40 damage, actually pretty good conversion from Squiggles. Able to keep center two. Forward tilt's been his bed and butter for this whole game five. Yeah. Oh, but that scary Wilds finding the Nair, but just wasn't ready for it. Gonna see the back throw off stage and how Wilds recovers here is so important. Okay, gonna go high. I like I like this from Wilds. Ah, uh, gonna be forced back on the ledge, but be careful, there's rage drive. 
Yeah, Wild's just immediately jumping from the ledge, but it seems like Squiggles has got a oh, green on that. Nah. Oh my gosh. Oh, he he's so he's so and that's actually so risky to go for, too, because if Squiggles is ready for it, ah, you're not in kill percent anymore. That's 20 damage yield. Yeah, that was crazy. That was like the one that he didn't absorb. Yeah. So Wild's going to take that 3 2 last stock, like you said. Um, really good stuff there to him. I feel like. Even playing on his counter pick too, like um, saw that Squiggles was really confident on Smashville before, so to win game five on Smashville too, um, yeah, just really strong play there from him. I think his defensive play, like you said, was really what won him that set. The yeah. recoveries, getting around, like all of the projectiles that uh, Squiggles is throwing at you, being able to hold on to your stock for really long off stage. Uh, I I love his decision making, just like, okay, this is last stock. I'm just going to try and focus on getting down. So I'm going to go high. Yeah. Uh, avoid the PK freeze and try and avoid just staying on the ledge because he really struggled on getting off of a ledge actually. Yeah. So just kind of negating that as an option, I think was what, what got him there at the end. Yeah, because Squiggles was finding a lot of like the fares too. Okay. Um, he was finding a lot of like the fares from the jump from ledge on Wilds too, whereas like the, the higher recoveries, like he might like a few up airs, but it's not like we saw an up smash call out or anything like that to, to catch the landing from Wilds. So. Yeah, good stuff to Wilds. We're going to be moving on to our last set of today yep. for our top 16 qualifier. It's going to be Jin versus Dr. Curb. So Dr. Curb is a Falco from Ohio. Really strong player. Also just really sweet guy. Um, I think he does a lot of this stuff. Oh, oh. we un unplugged the switch. Uh, oh, yeah, Jin's got a plug in his pro controller maybe i'm not i'm not 100 sure gotcha. but Jin, obviously one of the best players that kentucky has ever seen um obviously not ranked as high or actually not ranked at all uh he's kind of taken a long break from uh playing smash but has been playing a lot more recently and it's really been refreshing to see him back he is one of the most fun players to watch in this region his advantage with aegis is ridiculous yeah so we're gonna have aegis versus um falco, aegis versus falco yep which honestly, I feel like hypothetically, it sounds like Aegis should do really well in this matchup, but I feel like Falco has a lot of the tools to give her and kill her super yeah. early off stage. So um, I think Jin actually had a lot of trouble with Legacy 07, Legacy 06, I always forget what number it is on the end, um, in winners and managed to win that set, but I think was really struggling in the matchup and it, it went a little bit back and forth. Um, well. It's so, good that he got the experience right now, yeah. so he should be ready. Also has played against medium quite a bit, so yeah. he does have the Falco matchup. There are, there are a few Falco, other Falcos drill as well from uh, Kentucky, so he does have the like a little bit of the experience. But Dr. Kerb, we saw him on stream earlier. He was playing hot. Yeah, I'm a big Dr. Kerb fan. I think a very patient Falco, not really going for a lot of, like, super crazy risky combos, just always staying on stage, trying to go for the bread and butter, and so just Getting off the ledge is really scary because just one wrong move from Jin in the Austin situation where he's off stage against Falco is just yeah. very strong. Yeah, just the track that, oh! Wait. Not who I thought it was going to die. Yeah, <laughs> you you would think like, oh, you know, it's just one weakness is their recovery, right? Uh, no, oh, <laughs> apparently not. Unfair. Oh no, but yeah, I mean, Jin was able to make it back here. I think maybe for fast fell or just wasn't ready to jump over there for deficit here, but still has the tools to, to drag this back. Uh, down air going to be a great combo tool at this percent. Looking for the up tilt the back air. Oh, but Jin just putting on the damage oh right now with that. He, if he's known for something, it's his uh, it's his pyra. His ledge play, like if you're like on the ledge or if you're off the level, Jin's just going to find a way to catch you. And oh, board smash. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, the play from Jin here is crazy. I really like it on that uh, last stock that we saw using the, the neutral beam to kind of make you feel like you're safe, like, oh, I avoided it, and immediately firing back with that finger, too. Uh, just the ledge play has been too really strong for Jen. Still up two stocks to one right now. Like, they're really hard for him to approach, which is uh, one of Falco's, like, biggest problems that he has. He can use the skill to approach. We're seeing a lot of lasers from to just be very patient, but this is an opening for him. Tries to find that fair. Again, they cost him his first stock, but nothing yet. Oh, love that. The reverse chroma dust from Jin. I would say that Jin needs to start watching out on his air dodges. Dr. Curb is already starting to call them out, so Jin's going to need to be a little bit more careful in the future. But finds a down tilt into the forward air. I mean, advantage is still looking fantastic for him. Yeah, 
Yeah, the, uh, the Firebird seems to be pretty slow, so it gets Jin plenty of time to react. And the down air... I hate that kill screen. Why yeah. does it, why Why do you kill screen there? Uh, that didn't make any sense, yeah, because I was like, <laughs> he's like, he's like, like clearly stage. above the stage. Yeah. Okay. Sakurai just assumes we're going to be DI'ing out on every spike. Yeah. He yeah. just has not been able to find the, the down airs off stage on the recoveries from Jin. Multi Jack going to send across stage, not going to kill just yet, but I love that dash attack there from Jin. It's a great way to like, call out people recovering high to left. Um, which is what we're going to see a lot from Falco, just because he doesn't want to have to use that fire It's pretty slow. Acromodus was really smart, actually. Yeah. Just trying to do the fox almost. Ooh, yeah, but they... Yeah. I forget the name of that. I, yeah, you, okay, you were, we're on the same wavelength here, because I actually I literally forgot. played Pyramithra. How did I forget? I, I was thinking about, okay, okay, so I forgot that one. What's Bayonetta's called? I forgot Bayonetta's too. Uh... Bats Within is Bayonetta. Bats Within, yeah. Hold on. I'm going to figure it out before the next game starts. I believe in you. We're not going to a lot of time. I don't... Uh, Foresight? Foresight. Oh. We did it. We did it. Got the it. game didn't start. Let's Huge. go. Huge. All right. That, that's a moral victory right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Foresight is a great way to, uh, to find a lot of openings as Jen is showcasing immediately here in game two. But up tilt going to be a strong combo tool for Curve. Just not going to get a lot of percent off of it. Uh, I think it's a great way to call out landings, too. But it's a good opportunity here for Curve. Yeah, going to put on a little bit of extra damage with that back air. But Jin able to make his way back up to the stage. Up throw is interesting because Falco's landing options are actually like pretty decent, aren't they? Yes. Yeah, I feel like landing with aerials is always a really strong option for Falco. I love that call out that we almost saw Ooh. from Jin. Again, there's another charge smash attack. We almost saw a charge up smash too. Um, and I think just like trying to catch curve landing with those aerials and then using it like, oh my gosh, so strong there with that up air too. But using like the, uh, the pullback that she has on a lot of her smash attacks mm -hmm. too can help you kind of catch curve off guard. Yeah, 34 already on. Dr. Curb, okay, Foresight not gonna convert into much, just a down soul. Not really, what do you want to be? Okay, they're mashing. <laughs> I mean, you can. These are two characters that really benefit off of these, like, scrappy mash situations. It's just one of them has a move that puts you in advantage immediately. Mm -hmm. Okay, back throw from Dr. Curb. Just gonna opt for stage control instead of a combo. I actually like the decision making. Obviously, Aegis' weakness is... Oh, that's not it, is it? Wow, that's brutal. Yeah, we keep seeing Curb go off for that down there, and it just has not hit at all. So I think trying to go for a different aerial that's a little bit longer lasting mm -hmm. and a larger hitbox could help him in situations. Because um, I think finding those offstage kills are really what are going to put Curb back in this game. Okay, not gonna get a conversion off of the Nair, but honestly, any damage that Jin gets on right now is just icing on the cake, isn't it? Okay, another confirmed Nair, finding the double back air into up B. Some decent percent there for Jin. Up tilt in the back air, not gonna kill at center stage, but still putting Jin off stage, which is where Curb needs him. Oh, I love the parry on the blazing end into the down smash. Dr. Curb, uh, presence of mind is actually like coming in. That was really smart there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He was waiting for Jin to air dodge, which he did do in game one, but Jin not giving it to him. He adapted quick. Yeah, I I think just going for the extra percent there. Helpful. Somebody's popping off or something. Who won? Ooh, it looks like uh, Wagner just took set over. Over fair. fair. Oh, that's an upset. Game five. Fair is not going to be happy about that. <laughs> Oh, back air. Yeah, yeah that back air is so strong. Yeah, I don't know. It just feels like the uh, the slow start on the arrows from Pyro don't really matter because of the way that Jin is spacing them and using them for whiff punishes as well. Yeah. Um, Jin just really in control so far in this set. Jin also just kind of putting himself in spots to where it's very easy for him to uh, find hits, right? His uh, Just kind of where he is on the stage making sure that he's always in the right place at the right time. We're not running it back again, right? Oh my god. <laughs> Look, there's nothing wrong with PS2. Pokemon Smash Ultimate, I swear to god. <laughs> I'm a PS2 enjoyer. No, I am too, honestly. I can't even hate that much. Uh, 
Yeah, just not finding any of the combos here from Hooker. There's some decent damage. Okay, it's gets a laser. laser. I like that pent up extension into the down air, but just still not able to find it. I just got a raw dog in forward smash. I'm not sure yeah. if I uh, enjoy that one. Okay, so back grabs. throw, and uh, yeah, oh that's, there's gosh. a 50-50 there. If you, you can either dash attack to call out no jump, or you can forward air to call out a jump. Yeah. And Jen just really in the driver's seat. Still has 94% on him, but doing a really good job of trying to lap this up. Yeah, I'm gonna find another falling up air too. Oh my gosh, that switch was so aggressive. I was expecting like a an F smash or another dash attack again, and that recovery is so smart. Yeah, Jin's recoveries with this character are just, like yes, Aegis has a uh, not not a great recovery, but Jin is so good at mixing it up. And having the ability to switch between them too, it's like a, another air dodge yeah. that you can work with. It gives you extra momentum trying to get back to the ledge too. So love the way that Jin is utilizing that down tilt. Okay. Down tilt into up air gonna work out. Um, down tilt is a decent kill move at higher percents for Falco, but not really gonna see it super often in this Ooh, matchup. Ooh, down air, down air, up air is gonna find Jin the stock, and this is looking like uh, could be a 30 and a handshake here. Yeah. Herb trying to capitalize off of this opportunity, though. High recovery there from Jin. Don't know if he has his jump. Oh, and okay, Jin gonna find, oh, oh he th wow, he saved it all that time, and he's gonna find an upbeat as well, 32 on Dr. Curb. That was so crazy, he smixed everybody with that recovery. Oh my gosh. Hey, get up attack on shield, gonna give Curb an opportunity here, but still just not being able to find anything, trying to play patient, doesn't want to overextend. The knockback on Pyrus moves is so strong. Oh, just a little bit too far there is Jin. Burned his double jump, but just gonna. Okay, you know what? Yeah, Kobe, land, land down forward smash. All right, you know what? No, you got it. I love that. Just like come on the small platform immediately, F smash. Yeah, screw it. You got invincibility. Why not? Yeah, so um, Jin going to take that set 3-0 over Dr. Curb, moving on into Top 16, which will take place tomorrow. So definitely mm -hmm. tune in for that. Unfortunately, that is our last set of the day today. But uh, I had a lot of really fun, a lot of fun commentating and uh, hanging out and watching these sets. So definitely tune in tomorrow if you want to see more of this hot action and the Top 16 players for this bracket as well. Um, sign off real quick. Uh, yeah, you can follow me uh, anywhere, I guess. Uh, HK underscore Gotti on Twitter. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know. You want to see some NBA Twitter or something like that? Oh, yeah. You can follow me on Twitter at RealLifeSamus underscore. Um, also, follow Cincy Fear on YouTube if you want to see a lot of our new content that we're coming out with. Um, if you want to learn how to play Bayonetta like Geist or play Pokemon Trainer or CSS like Doorstop, definitely check out the channel um, and like and subscribe. But that is it for us today. Definitely tune in tomorrow. Do you know what time it starts tomorrow? I want to say 1. 1. Hey, do you know what time Top top 16 starts tomorrow? Sometime. 1-ish? Okay. Just keep the... Keep the yeah, just keep it on overnight. Up. We yeah. love Lurkers. We'll, we'll be here. We'll be yeah. waiting for you. Okay, let's check it out real quick. Let's see. What's it say? 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Oh, one is when top eight starts. One. Okay. That is when top eight starts. But if you want to yeah, see Yeah, you want to watch top 16. Yeah, you got to get the whole thing. Everybody. Yeah. See some more of Jin. So, uh, oh, we love Jin. Yeah, that'll be it for us today. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.